Oh baby, time. We're back with more Sucker for Love. This time, Date to Die for the sequel that we mentioned was coming out, and then it came out, and then we didn't play it for like three weeks after it came out. That's fine. Uh, I see we have a nice goat lady this time. I think that is the main uh, love interest this time. Time. We're gonna try to woo this lady of the woods, it seems. If she has upside down cross earrings. Well, yeah, because she's spooky scary, you need to be afraid. Also, she has see through body, it seems. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was about. But we played Sucker for Love the first one a while back. That one had three girls in it, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I don't know if this one has multiple or if it's just this one. I think I read that this one's a little shorter, mm -hmm. but I don't know because I, I didn't want to look too deep into it and spoil anything. So as far as I know, there's at least one, obviously, but there's some more side characters. and I think you go to more locations, whereas in the first game, you're just in one apartment. It was literally just the apartment. Yeah. So it might be a little more expensive. It might be a little longer for all I know. Time, are you ready to fall in love? I am. I'm ready to get the smooch meter up for... Oh, I forgot about the smooch meter. We got the smooch meter <laughs> filled up, everybody. Are you ready to get the smooch meter filled up? Yeah. Here we go. New date. Well, that answers my question. We apparently <laughs> have a... a buzz. Why are they all wearing, like, animal masks? Oh, because, because she's, like, of the woods, I think. Yeah. I'm like... trying to remember which one that... In Lovecraft, there's one god that's like the, the goat the... of the something, something goat. The, the goat, yeah. Which I think this one's based on. Okay, so there's four chapters, like in the first game, and each one has a true ending, and we're going to have to get that to get the uh, Nyan Lothotep uh, entry over here, it seems. <laughs> it's just Nyan Lothotep again. <laughs> just again. She's like, I've been thinking about you. <laughs> I wonder if we're playing as the same character. Let's find out. The thousand versus the one. Oh my god. I feel like we're probably not because he like got stuck in Eldritch dream space or whatever. It'd be funny if he was like the one setting Eldritch us on our gods. adventure this soon. Cosmic <laughs> horrors. Things beyond our understanding. To merely gaze upon their form is to abandon all hope. They are sequestered to the stars, appearing only through challenging, failure-prone rituals and unutterable incantations. Their twisted, fanatical followers require no such invitation to commit horrors beyond belief in their stead. It is then when the boogeyman lurking in the shadows is in an obscure, imperceptible shade but a tangible madman, that the vague prognostications of the stars become empty threats before the undeniably material. The simple hatchet in their hands. Oh my god, time, I didn't know this was a scary game. Spooky. Ow. And we're dead already. Well, that's been Sucker for Love, a date to die for. I guess we filled out part of that title. Did something scary happen? Oh my god. Oh. Me. In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Just eldritch stuff, it's fine. Oh, just a strange dream is all, I'm alright. Oh. I'm sorry, this might sound strange, but can you tell me where I am? You're in my bookstore, in Sacramento. Oh my god. Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> Sacramento. No, no. <laughs> oh no, I think I know where I am now, thanks. I'm wherever the hell Sacramento is. Uh, it's in... <laughs> I've been having odd dreams lately, waking in strange places with no memory of how I got there. Starting around the same time, folks began vanishing from my hometown, Sacramento. I'm sure those have no connection at all. Oh, look, they've been growing whole fields of Gatorade here. <laughs> oh. Despite the small size of this backwater town, dozens have gone missing this past year, so many that the trains won't even stop here now. I also noticed that my cursor is this lady's hand. Oh, yeah. Got your purple, your nice purple uh, nail polish. Purple's the color for this game, everybody. I don't know if you've noticed yet. I don't know if you've noticed that purple and green might be colors for this game. <laughs> Worried locals say they've spotted angry spirits prowling the woods, animals with too many features watching. Outsiders can't shake the feeling of being watched by the town folks. Unblinking purple eyes, the Sacramento stare, they call it. Um, that inn's mouth look. Th they just Did all have purple eyes? That, that's just th a thing? We'll confirm that once she opens her face. <laughs> And she opens her face. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep you here late on my account. No, no, it's fine. I'm glad that you enjoyed reading my books. But it's starting to get dark outside. With all the disappearances lately, you'd better hurry home. Oop. <laughs> beep, beep. beep. Up. <laughs> home. My family fled this place long ago when the disappearances started. 
but a letter imploring me to come visit appeared in my apartment earlier this week with some flowery ass uh, what uh, part what what is what's special stationery that's what they call it stationery uh, stationery right? yeah fancy paper that is very flowery fancy paper Hey, Stardust, Mom's still pretty shaken up about everything, so I'm taking care of her at Graham's place. If you come by for a visit, I know it'd cheer her right up and help her feel better. We miss you like crazy. But I... Did it just say that their family left, though? Well, I don't... One well, time, maybe she's insane. We have a spooky, scary game. Stop trying to guess <laughs> the plot. Good. Time to spoil the whole game. Time. <laughs> This is definitely my father's handwriting, and only my parents call me Stardust. Impossible. Mom, Dad, I know you're not really waiting for me. You've been gone for over a year. Could you really be in this town? <laughs> I see we're doing a Silent Hill, yeah. But whoever sent this note obviously wants me to come poking around, and I aim to find out why. Remind me to check this note throughout the game. <laughs> yeah. Or you could ignore the weird, creepy note from somebody sent from your dead parents and not go to Murder City. There's something strange in Sacramento. The dreams, the stare, the spirits, it's all connected, I'm sure of it. Whatever darkness has settled in our neck of the woods, I'm putting a stop to it. And I might fall in love along the way. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I love you both so much. I'll get to the bottom of this. Okay, so it sounds like uh, Mom and Dad were some of the ones who disappeared, maybe? They're probably cultists. Yeah, probably. They're probably wearing masks at the start. Thanks for letting me doze off. I promise I'll come back here real soon since I have nowhere else to sleep. Thank you for stopping in. Take oh my care. god, look at this anime character. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you don't have enough light to do that since your entire rest of your face and front half is in shadow. The, this seems like a weird pose to be doing the ominous glowy gla glasses thing in. She doesn't seem that threatening right now. I think we know the real reason why she's leaning forward time. <laughs> yeah. The warm glow of the bookstore fades behind me as I step out into the dusk. Sacramento, oh, we've entered the other world. A world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. <laughs> oh. This should be my hometown, but it's become unrecognizable. Everybody splashed purple paint on everything and I just can't figure it out now. <laughs> They've turned on the purple filter uh, over the whole town. It's like when you look at Mexico and everything's yellow. You just know where you are. <laughs> when it's purple, you know you're in Sacramento. <laughs> you go to Sacramento and it's purple. <laughs> Is that ten whole dollars for one package of uh, candy cigarettes I see in this sign over here? <laughs> the streets are overrun with dense foliage and missing person posters that litter every surface. They call this missing person lane. Okay, wow, this happens a lot here. <laughs> Desperate searchers put up posters here before vanishing themselves. Oh my god. I can't believe it's just me, the librarian, and all these missing po people posters left in town. <laughs> Th this seems like a good street to be on at nighttime. It's the, uh, ever since the G Gatorade aerosolized, people started going missing. I don't get it. <laughs> it's the only path left and leads straight to my Graham's house, but something feels off. The familiar landmarks of my childhood are nowhere to be found. Have I gotten turned around? No, I've walked in a straight line, yet nothing looks right. Oh, silly me. It turns out I went to the wrong town. <laughs> oh, it's Sacramento, not Sacramento. <laughs> oh. See, I thought it was weird that the the purple and green were like switched around and Sacramento, it's uh, the, the walls are green and the mist is purple. Blue grass and green skies, kid. <laughs> Stay calm, I pick a direction and jog, searching for anything familiar. Nothing changes. I double back, check walls, and the address is still lost. M -m 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 maybe if I check the note from my parents for the address. Well, I don't know. Oh, if only I knew how to read. <laughs> this is a back in receipt. Oh man, could you really be in this town? <laughs> a grocery receipt? Impossible. I just had their letter. Yeah, I even kept my pockets empty so I wouldn't lose how small was that letter. Uh the, the size of a grocery receipt, apparently. Chicken curry, $11. Fried chicken, $10. <laughs> cheeseburger, eight. That's actually cheap for a cheeseburger these days. Eight bucks. Beer. Well, it was... Ketchup was a dollar? That was two cheeseburgers, even. What was other? I need to know what other was for the lore of this <laughs> entire setting. I just went to the restaurant and ordered some other. I can't believe that one unit of ketchup was a dollar. <laughs> Wait, this receipt has the exact dimensions and folds as the letter, does it? Could I have imagined the whole letter? I guess that did get sent to me as like in a matchbook. <laughs> it's just this restaurant just prints their receipts very large. Oh, it's for people who can't read like me because I'm holding a sideways <laughs> going, what? I can't figure out this. This is nonsense to me. 
No. Impossible. I checked the back and then double-checked the front, but the receipt remains just that. Something is very wrong. I have to get out, have to run, have to- hey, ow! Uh, are you, like, blind or something? Watch where you're going, Klutzorama! Klutzorama? Klutzorama? <laughs> Look at this mean girl we found. <laughs> yeah. I slammed right into a mean girl coming the other way. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, are you alright? I should have been more careful. Well, she's really pretty. But what, is this just going to be an actual dating sim this time? <laughs> it's just a normal <laughs> dating sim. But what on earth is this girl doing wandering around Sacramento at night? Don't touch me. Oh, she's a trendy girl, it turns out. She's Trendy M Girl, that's her full name. Yep. Trendy Mean Girl. <laughs> trendy Mean Girl. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to smack into you like that. I know it's not an excuse, but I was just in a rush. <sighs> oh yeah, I know. You gotta go run off and steal my boyfriend, right? Yeah, it's whatever. Totally cool. Save your breath. I already know how this goes. Oh, we're around the corner from the insane asylum. She got out again. <laughs> she just says to anybody she finds, you're trying to steal my boyfriend, aren't you? And she pulls a switchblade. <laughs> oh, where? Oh. She starts like tossing it between her hands, trying to take my boyfriend again, are you? Well, well, I guess uh, missing person lane is as good a place as any to be uh, stabbed by a crazy person. <laughs> Missing person lanes is start, starting to make a lot more sense than I thought it would when I was thinking about it. <laughs> Wait, uh, what, your boyfriend? Yeah, you heard me. My boyfriend. Buck is mine. Well, you can have him. <laughs> Who the heck is Buck? Where are all these accusations even coming from? <laughs> who are you, even? <laughs> well, I know who you are. You're wearing a name tag on your right titty that says Trendy M Girl, <laughs> so I know who you are. I don't know anyone named Buck. Huh? Really? Oh my oh. God. You don't know who Buck is? That's normal. Are you the go lady? You're not like. I think this is town. just normal okay. Sacramento things, maybe. The stare, it's real. I turn my head down and briskly walk past her as I blush. She starts walking alongside me. <laughs> hey, look at me. I can't survive another glance. I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I can't let her see my eyes, no matter what, she'll notice I don't have the Sacramento stare. Uh, oh, so the glowing purple eyes literally are just a, a thing that they all have here. Oh, that Sacramento look. <laughs> you can tell me. <laughs> are you from here or what? I mean, I think the lack of glowing eyes should have been extremely evident, like from the first time when you looked at me. No, look at my hands, purple, purple, purple. I'm here, I'm purple, I'm one of you, purple. Here, look at how purple my, uh, my, my nail polish is. Beep, boop. Beep, boop, bop, poke, <laughs> bop, jab, poke, poke. poke. <laughs> <laughs> I live here. Oh, yeah? Look at me really quick. No, I'm too bashful. I'm shy. <laughs> Eye contact makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't handle it. This is bad. Even if I make it home, she'll know where I live. What do I do? Look at me. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> completely <laughs> normal. <laughs> completely normal behavior for Sacramento right here. I freeze before I know it. I'm already staring straight at her. Yep, you're from here, she says, turning off her light bulb eyes and leaving. <laughs> Bucky, hi. Got another one for you at Missing Person Lane. Oh, good. It's with your ancient cell phone. <laughs> I like her tiny blood-stained yeah, knife, knife charm. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I break into a mad dash, running my hardest. Everything is a blur. My heart pounding in my ears can't dull out the sounds of whistles, shouts, and unidentifiable commotion coming from all sides. Panting and dizzy, I feel my body slowing down, but the image of my face on the next missing persons poster kicked my legs into action once more. If only I hadn't gone to missing person lane. There, a clearing up ahead. If I can break their line of sight, I might find a chance to hide. As I near the turn off, my exhaustion makes itself known. If this is a dead end or it's too dark to find my way, I won't have the energy to turn around and start running again. <laughs> Rounding the corner, I gasp. It's g, -g, g grandmas house. Thank goodness. <laughs> I dash off the path and burst through the door. And there's a bunch of them inside already. Oh. Oops, I didn't mean to skip that. I tried to click this because I thought it was a secret. <laughs> Whatever that said, the pounding footsteps pass by outside. I'm safe for now. Wow, a lot of people left their nasty muddy boots just like lying around here. 
And they all throw up. This guy hit his head, <laughs> his face, the wall first when he did it. <laughs> huff, huff. Hey, what's? I may just be standing at the entrance, but I can already tell something feels off about my home. Like the warm, familiar place I grew up in is long gone. I can't put up my finger on it, but... This Dread X collection, why do I feel like I need to sneak around my own home? Is someone here? And then he opens the door and they go, Oh my god, Grandma, what big purple eyes you have. <laughs> They're holding a meeting of the, the missing persons club here. They're the club that makes missing persons. The greater good you hear from the other side of the door. <laughs> the greater good. The greater good. Hello? No response. Well, if you're gonna ignore me, that's just rude. Bleep. A butterfly caught in a web. Strange, but don't see a spider around. Wonder how long... Am, am I dying? Is my health bar low? <laughs> well, that's just your ringtone. You're hitting a call. On my flip phone? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long the poor thing's been trapped? What? Map. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh. There's like three floors in junk. Wow. So I get to listen to this blink blink away as I have it open as well. Great. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We keep our snowflakes in the fridge in this section. Yeah. We eat our giant spaghetti o ring in this room. <laughs> uh, we watch television here. You can tell because we put TV on it. Yeah. Uh, we don't talk about this room. <laughs> what does the, the zero, zero floor mean? Basement, I assume. I guess. Well, it would have to be if this is the first floor and you go down, then that would be the basement. Yeah. Whereas the second floor is up. Are we working on, like, European rules where zero floor is the floor, like, the ground level, and then first floor is the first <laughs> level up? That's wacky. Stop doing that, Europe. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Just stop doing that in general, Europe. <laughs> If you're doing it, Europe, just just stop. Yeah, all of Europe. <laughs> this is where we take uh, our baths, and this is where we uh, steep our people. <laughs> yeah. We call it the steeple, because we steep our people. You gotta steep your people somewhere. Gotta steep our people somewhere. Can't just do it outside. People get, like, really bashful about it. They start blushing. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize I was playing a heck and frictional game. <laughs> oh, do it. Oh. Oh, oh, this is a frictional oh. game. It actually is a frictional game. <laughs> oh my god, this is much more in depth than the first game. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Art. That's scary. I hate love. Oh, I remember when I drew that on the wall as a child. I don't know what Genkin means. Or Tatami. Time help. Tata Tatami is the, like. Time help. Please peruse your weeb knowledge. <laughs> it, it, it's like the the kind of mats that oh the floor god. is made out of. Time guest appearance by Bucket of Blood. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm shaking with, oh, I'm excited. I'm such a big <laughs> fan. Get their autograph. You can tell when they're around, just be around, because they leave a bucket of blood just wherever. <laughs> it's their calling card. Remember, kids, if you see a bucket of blood, it means bucket of blood's playing somewhere near you. Get high. <laughs> uh, our family photos look off, like somebody scribbled all over them or something. None of them have me in it, and my siblings, their faces seem unfamiliar. What are these weird symbols doing here? What did you say Tatami was? What is that, some kind of dessert? T Tatami is like the the name for the kind of flooring they have, I think. Why is it called a Tatami room then? Why do they specify the type of flooring? Is this a Tatami room? They don't know. How am I supposed to navigate if they're all just called Tatami rooms? I guess I have a map, but I mean... According to Wikipedia, a Tatami room is a room that has Tatami flooring. <laughs> Thanks for specifying where I'm going, game. <laughs> I gotta go in this Tatami room, that Tatami room, this Tatami room, that Tatami room, the spaghetti -o room, or the snowflake room. Or this Tatami hallway, I suppose. Oops. How do I close you? Oh, I can get, get used to be doing that just like a Dead Space 3. I always assume escape closes thing. I'm going in here because it has blood on it. This house seems oh. a lot bigger on the inside than it looked like it was on the outside. Look, God damn it. I always start the theme, then I forget how it goes. <gasps> and the one time you do it and there's a thing there. Oh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a quick peck and then close the door. Ooh. Well, this is the most normal part of Grandma's house so far. <laughs> yeah. I'm used to this, especially this. She got hungry and ate a bird again. <laughs> oh, oh, Grandma. No, oh, she didn't pick up her paper towels. She probably just tried to flush them too, and the flood didn't cause this mess the first time. <laughs> I can't 
can't inspect anything in here, it seems. Boo. Except this birdcage, probably. The birdcage where my gram gram kept her fences until she got hungry that night. It's been destroyed from the inside. Oh, maybe the finches are the ones that got hungry oh, this no. time. Uh, they'll be attacked by finch before time. <laughs> no. Why well, imagine not? Because they're not very big and probably wouldn't be good at it. It sounds horrifying. Gram Gram, is the spaghetti already? <laughs> ah. Whoops. The the traditional uh, hanging from the ceiling sleeping bags. Damn it, somebody got to the spaghetti before me. It's gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, they, oh, wait, no, I see it there, Connie. You see that ring of spaghetti over there? You see that? <laughs> Just steeping in that, that gosh darn VA juice, that Clamato in there, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> green meat. Oh, it is green. Mmm, radioactive. Fresh dripping meat. I should avoid counting the number of legs. Why? Because uh, I don't know how to count, and I get embarrassed when I try. <laughs> the blood in the bowl is an odd color. I'm a bit relieved. It's probably not human blood, but then what's on all of these bags? I like how I can't inspect the hanging bodies. Yeah, yeah those body are... body-shaped things, but I can look at the meat and the bowl. <laughs> can I have some of this delicious tea? How do you know it's not human blood? Uh, well, uh, the, the, shut up, time. God. They probably just start saying that because they don't want to think it. I guess. That'd be scary. Do you have any backup ghetto rings in here? <laughs> oh, this room looks normal. Look how noticeable this is compared to everything else. <laughs> yeah. Unusually pungent spices, pepper, nutmeg, ginger, and cinnamon. That's like witchcraft. Somebody's been doing spells in here. Now I'm scared. I'm scared of anything that's not salt. But is it like sea salt or table salt? There's a difference. I'm scared of one of those. Just, just, it's just table salt. Don't worry. Oh, okay, it's, that's fine. Safe. <laughs> I say snorting a lot of it. <laughs> the air is almost suffocatingly thick with their scent. Suffocatingly thick from those tiny jars? Yeah, they're really strong spices, kid. That's like the name brand stuff where they just added more oils on top to make it smell better. <laughs> I don't know if they do that. I just made that up right now, but it wouldn't surprise <laughs> me. I don't know if they... Yeah. <laughs> Never heard of that. You can buy our cinnamon sticks from the store brand where you can't smell them and they're very bland, or you can buy the cinnamon sticks from this name brand that just puts a bunch of cinnamon stick oil on top so it smells really <laughs> strong. Mm. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I guess all this lets is this uh, container of bleach. It looks like cooking oil, except it's in a gallon container and it smells like burnt hair and sulfur. The color is black as soot, too. That's normal. I like how I was complaining about people pronouncing OO words as rut, and I just did soot without even thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Shows what I know. It's fine. <laughs> I guess because suit just sounds kind of silly. Yeah, I guess. Like when people say rum. Rum. When I say words, they're correct. So whatever I say is correct. <laughs> just, do, just do whatever I do. What's that terrible smell coming from that fridge? I can't bear to open it. Ah, uh, did Grandma unplug the fridge again? Just open it, and there's like... Half a container of Oscar Mayer bologna. It's like, oh, that's the stench. Oh, I recognize that horrid smell anywhere. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, gee, oh, when, when was this made? Recently, <laughs> ugh. Terrible. I guess I'm done here. I have to navigate this maze of tatami rooms, everybody. Give me a second. I'll figure it out someday. I probably could have just taken the door that was in there to this side, but I forgot. Probably, yeah. Uh... Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure I saw a card game on the floor. Can I play this little pig uh, stuffed animal in the card <laughs> game, maybe? Yeah, but he's a lot better at it than you are. Why wasn't this called, like, uh, toy room, sleepover room, uh, girlfriend party room? Because. Tatami room doesn't exactly tell me that this is the one that has all the beds and shit in it. It doesn't tell you anything, actually. The triplets room is what it should have been. The triplets toy room, or just toy room. Looks like the triplets' toys have been mostly untouched ever since we left in a hurry. So you are a triplet, then. Uh, as far as you know. Ngawa. What does Ngawa mean? Is that some kind of sushi? I don't know. Time to look at a... Cripes, watch your mouth. What a mess. The place has been turned <laughs> upside down, but nothing is missing weird. In traditional Japanese architecture, an Ngawa is a covered corridor which runs around the outside perimeter of a building. Okay. Neat. It, you can put the educational tag on this video. <laughs> I'm certainly learning something that I'll forget once we're done. <laughs> well, this is the uh, mattress room. We keep our extra mattresses in here. Our extra blow-up little pillow mattresses. <laughs> A lot of extra mattresses. 
Hmm, that's odd. I could have sworn we only had the one futon downstairs. Where'd all these extra beds come from, and why are they all laid out like this? This is the worst fort I've seen since I tried last night in my house. Oh no. Uh, oh no, did Grandma start a cult again? What do you mean, start? She is the cult. <laughs> no. No. Maybe. No. That's scary. But maybe... What special names they have for pantries? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just a like tatami know, again. I don't. I think it just. That's so weird. Again. That they're they're really just weren't they just weren't they just call them rooms like? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't get it. Do they specify that in Japan or did like an American make this be like we have to make sure we say tatami? <laughs> we have to specify to show that I know what that is. I have no idea. Fuck you, Sasuke. You are my Nakama. <laughs> There's nothing in here. There is nothing in here. There's. I'm leaving. I'm done. I couldn't interact with that broken bottle if that's what you're talking about. You are my Nakama. <laughs> Nothing's ever gonna chase you, son of a bitch. Whatever it is. <laughs> that's definitely a hundred percent what he says. <laughs> well, it's the joke is it's a fan translation versus official translation. The official translation mm -hmm. is just like. Screw you, Sasuke. You're my friend, and nothing's gonna change that. <laughs> and then the fan one is, the... "Fuck you, Sasuke." Oh, <laughs> I don't remember that being here a second ago. Somebody dropped all their purple drink on, on the floor. Purple drink. Also, it might be because I looked left instead of right, so it probably was there. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, purple drink. You are my Nakama, and I'm gonna slurp you up whether you want me to or not. <laughs> Upstairs. Oh, spooky. I like how most of this is empty with nothing to look at. Yeah. Damn it. God damn it. Why does escape not just close the map? <laughs> oh, I've been turned around. Which way do I go? Oh, oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna go this way. I think this is the way we haven't been. Purple drink. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. I don't well, know. Well, no, that's opposite from what we saw earlier. Oh, yeah. So maybe there's something in this tatami room. I keep having my <sighs> hand on Wazi like I'm gonna need it. <laughs> is there anything in this was the room? Looks. This is a good room. A completely empty room. I'd be annoyed if I had a house that had just nothing in half of it, <laughs> but I had to navigate doors and corridors to get there. Is this normal in Japan? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm assuming this is like an old house because most people in Japan can't afford like a house unless they're, they're in a the country, you know, otherwise it's just those little tiny apartments. Yeah. Which I would be fine with. I'd appreciate a tiny apartment. I don't know. I'm not big on space. Whatever. I just need room for a computer. That's it. That's all I need. Yeah. Dream also has nothing in it. Um, there's nothing in here. I gotta make sure I check them all, though, in case there's something for the secret ending. <laughs> Hello? TV? Oh. I got a fancy TV. Up top. Good. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm lucky. <laughs> Because that uh, little fortune cat is my bro. Yeah. Fortune cat. Bro, fortune cat. Uh, me and fortune cat go way back. Hey, you hear that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the music from the first game, kids. <laughs> is there anything else in here? Looking like a big old nah, dog. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to let you keep playing so that I can just hear you in the distance, like through three walls, just <laughs> softly playing in the background. I'm gonna run up the electricity build so hard. Am I just a shadow? I can't tell what I'm looking at right here. Ah, uh, somebody got nuked in this room. Oh man, they got hit really hard. Oh man, they did get blown up really hard. <laughs> Whoops. They got taken out by a micro nuke. More hearts. Right here in the center, you can see the blast wave. <laughs> yeah. A very micro one. It didn't take out the walls or anything, but it hit the furniture, the people, <laughs> and this mirror, the picture. They kind of cracked this wall a little bit, I guess. Is there anything to find here? I guess where our goal is upstairs. Is, is there anything to like, find, though, for funsies, or am I just going to have to... I'm going to speed run the rest of this floor because there's nothing here. Seems, yeah, there's not a lot to look at. Nothing here. Oh, there's something here. Oh, there's something there's here. Sequence yeah. break, sequence break, sequence break, sequence break, <laughs> sequence break. <laughs> well, obviously we have to go down there. You're not supposed to find the final boss this soon. I'm supposed to go upstairs, but I'm going to be a rebel and I'm going to open this door instead. Never mind. This is where you came from. It probably was, yes. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just go down this spooky hole. 
I'm definitely not going down there unless I have to. What, boo? I told you to, you mother hacker. God. Go in there. Remember when games used to do what you tell them to? And now they just they got like a mind of their own. They're like, you can't tell me what to do, player. The having to manually open the doors thing seems kind of annoying. It seems pretty unnecessary, but we'll get used to it, I guess. I'm assuming there's gonna be mechanics around that where I have to like peek to make sure there's not something on the other side before I go. Yeah, probably. The bathroom. Anybody in there? That's not a bathroom, that's a tatami room! Lie to a kid! <laughs> Slams the door shut. Slams the door nice and quietly. What the how big is this house? <laughs> Gross. I guess it's not that big. Like, I'm getting like a bit of a fisheye lens. I don't know why they have two different toilets in it, though. They have, yeah, in, like, separate little rooms back there? Well, I mean, whatever. Everything's small in Japan. I guess. Various beauty products left on the counter. None of these are mine. Why would you expect them to be yours? This little tiny one is mine, though. I like to crouch down on my knees and pretend that I'm still a little kid. I go, yay! <laughs> yay! When I brush yeah. my teeth, I go, yay! <laughs> A strange, slowly writhing plant. I feel sick from the smell. Gross. When am I gonna get attacked by cultists? That'll be funny. Why does your bathroom have a balcony? Uh, in case you want to just walk outside and be like, man, that was a good one. <laughs> and here we have another bath. But this one's outside. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess they want I mean, it looks like they're surrounded by wilderness. Sometimes they want to take a bath outside. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. It's not like they have neighbors out there, apparently. I guess. Sometimes you want to have people sit here and watch you take a bath outside. <laughs> it's like a show, you know? How do I get out of this bathroom? I'm scared. Oh, this door is very different from what I'm used to. Oh, spooky. Oh. Oh, spooky. Do it, oh, it's got mm. <laughs> glowing eyes on it, too. <laughs> it's got that Sacramento look, kiddo. <laughs> I just throw myself out this window and be done with it. Land in like a cushiony bush outside and be like, well, I guess I'm out of the house. The house was kind of spooky a little bit. <laughs> Time to, to sneak back uh, and go around uh, uh, missing person lane. Finally, my dressing room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's where I need to maybe, go. You know, <laughs> maybe that's the wrong dressing room. <laughs> no, I think this is the co-star's dressing room. They're stinky. I don't like it. Oh, did somebody grease this one up? Oh. Oh, oh. oh Grandma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this must be Grandma's room. This must be Grandma's room. I can tell because of her old issues that she likes to hang up on the wall. <laughs> Is there anything in here to look at? Why is there nothing ever except for uh, the you posters, can I guess. The posters. Some creep plastered my little brother's room with smutty posters. My, there's, some creep came into my little brother's room <laughs> and then without his consent plastered a bunch of posters on the wall. <laughs> Definitely somebody who wasn't your little brother put those there. <laughs> Whoever did this is getting a fist in their face. <laughs> Apparently they came in here and they just kicked this while I stumbled out drunk or something. Uh. Mm, punch this wall. <laughs> That's the noise people make when they kick things and punch things. And then, and then angrily put smutty posters on the wall. Whoa, just let this be less. Whoa. Oh. Oh, it's blocked from the other side by something purple. In this town? I can't see clearly no. through the keyhole either. Well, I guess I'll come. Oh, look at these sunflowers. Oh. I guess I'll come here after I figure out what's going on in that bedroom. Some nice wall art there. Oh, oops, walked right past it. <laughs> but what's in here? Oh my god. In our bedroom. Oh, my dressing room has been vandalized again. Uh, oh. My room, what on earth happened here? Oh, look, it's the first level. <laughs> At least they left my statue of Baphomet here. Cole, hey, what, how's it going, Baphomet? I say fist bumping him. <laughs> it's a cold nonsense. Someone has, has someone been living in my house? <gasps> Well, I presume Graham Graham. Yeah. Unless Graham Graham's dead. We might have missed that detail. The candles are still lit. Whoever's responsible was just here. But who? Why? Did they throw themselves out this window? This book isn't mine either. No title, no author. And it reeks of death and decay. With trembling fingers, I opened it to a random page. Opened it? Are you, are you like, telling the story to somebody way after the fact? You're using past tense. I guess... 
But it says this book isn't mine either, and then it says I opened past tense to a random page. It, it, it's fine. Seed the Black Woods. Instructions on how to corrupt the soil of a forest by using remains of a goat and the beating heart of a human. Oh. Well, I got one of those things. <laughs> the beating what? I read and I reread the passage, but it's plain as black and white because it's written in black ink on white paper. The beating heart yeah. of a human. I reread again and again, my disbelief washing away more and more each time. This isn't a joke. It's not going to change just because you reread it. To see the black woods, something, the seed mm -hmm. of a fruit bearing tree, the offal of a goat, and a beating heart, and bury the mass six feet underground. The black woods will continue to grow and grow until the. It's probably about to read it to me. Yeah. First the stare that only the locals have, then the disappearances, then the supernaturally overgrown woods, and <laughs> now this. The truth dawns on me. That looks like a smiley face. It does. <laughs> the, the truth, truth dawns, dawns on, on me. me. Yeah, I get it now. <laughs> Sacramento has been overrun by cultists again. Oh, no. God dang it, Grand Grand. I thought we fumigated for those. <laughs> All those missing people, my parents, they haven't been spirited away by angry forest spirits. They've been abducted by angry forest spirits, and I'm next. What? Why, why was spirited away by angry forest spirits your first thought? Because that was the, like, urban legend about this place, is that people go missing because the woods eat them up. I guess. Remember that? I guess, yeah. There must be a way to stop this. I flip desperately through the book's pulsating pages. Pulsating pages? Searching well, for anything mm. that might help. I, f I flip through the book's <laughs> throbbing pages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a magic spell to bring back all the people that got uh, kidnapped. How convenient. Neat. Well, that solves this. <laughs> Summon the All Mother. It didn't read the thing like I hoped it would. Whatever. No. I could probably flip through later with bigger text. Yeah, would you actually get the book? Summon the All Mother, a ritual to force the dark deity behind this madness to physically manifest before me, binding her in a form that can't directly harm me and perhaps titillate me a little bit. <laughs> this is it, my chance to end this nightmare once and for all, to face the sinister goddess behind Sacramento's madness and put a stop to her evil, whatever the cost. Yeah, I just, I'm just gonna summon that god up and punch her in the face. It's gonna work great. For the sake of everyone who suffered and died, I have to try. I'll bind this all mother to a physical form and destroy her. Looks like I already have everything I need to try. <laughs> you don't even have a weapon. I have this guitar right here. Well, how are you? Oh. Oh. I'll just clank her over the head with it. It'll go. <laughs> blah, blah. And I'll be like, man, that's a good start to a song. She's like, I'm no, I know, right? And then we'll start jamming. That's how it starts. Here we go. See the Blackwoods combine the seed of a fruit bearing tree, the off of a goat, and a human heart, and bury the mass six feet underground. This will fail if this page is burned by uprooting. What? Okay. The Blackwoods will continue to grow and grow until the host planet is completely rooted. Oh, baby. The host planet. The Blackwoods cannot be exited once entered. The roots of the Blackwoods spread into the minds of those who enter and cause drastic changes in behavior. Those seeking to destroy the Blackwoods instead become compelled to worship it. Well, I see where this is going. Well, we appear to be doomed. Is it they seek to destroy it, but once they get a glimpse, a glimpse of the goddess, they're like, well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, do we really got to get rid of it, though. Does it have to go away forever? <laughs> this ritual will bind the can this objective please heck off so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> this ritual will bind the black goat to a physical form that can't harm you. However, no contact with eldritch gods is completely safe to summon her. Do the following douse any lit candles. Ensure there is an idol of the black goat present somewhere in the room. Have a plant mi mister with you with a little Have squeegee a little mister. spritzer bottle <laughs> drawn on here. Just uh, just printed in this ancient book. Little little spray bottle. While facing a tree of the black woods, chant her name. Roxanne. So <laughs> Roxanne. <Roscura. laughs> Click and drag from the first letter to the end of the phrase to chant slowly. I know how to play this game. Whoa, I'm getting hit with weird lag sometimes when I'm playing this. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> I have four heartbeats, three aren't mine. Hmm. Why don't we need to look for it to get the true endings? Yeah. Why can't I go home? Why can't I sleep? Why can't I die? I can feel the roots like a thousand spiders on my skin. Everyone is rooted. Everyone is rooted. 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 Why have I gone? I can't make heads nor tails of this map. <laughs> 
the... I would appreciate a you are here, you know what I'm saying? I hate it when they leave out the you are here. Not even lined up right. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, whoa, there's Cthulhu upside down. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's like, you're probably wondering how I got into this situation, record scratch. <laughs> he looks like he's having a really good time. I guess Cthulhu's real. She was a lot prettier in the first game. <laughs> Whoops. This is just they accidentally spilled ink and they didn't have any, enough left to continue the book. Like, oops, well, this is where it ends, I guess. Oh, we got some nice pictures of flowers on the other page, though. This was the next day when they hit up that stationery store, you know, when they went to Office Max, picked up some more ink. <laughs> and just glued that paper in there. The woods fatten themselves on us. The dead feed the woods. The living feed the woods. Whose blood is the tree bleeding? Okay. This looks like a metal album cover. It does. Whoops. What is this made out of? Uh, normal, completely mm. normal paper that isn't human skin or anything. Mm. How come these pages look like they're made out of different sh <laughs> Yeah. This is like a regular, this is again more stationary that you'd write a letter on. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, this is pretty. We're getting oh. to the coloring book section. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. It just has a... It's just a paint by numbers in the back of the book. Oh, I did it. I followed the instructions all by myself. <laughs> uh, douse the nearly candles. Ensure there's a black idol goat. There already is. Have a plant mister with you. I have to find a plant mister and chant this. Okay, so sh shut up. Plant meister. Now oh, there it is. Oh my god. Now I can win those quick draw duels that we're going to be getting into. <gasps> <laughs> you, flam you found the plant, mister. At certain times in a conversation, this icon will appear and you can spray the speaker with water by right-clicking. <laughs> this will interrupt whatever they're doing or saying. Well, we're going to be using that throughout the entire game. <laughs> just just the eldritch god, like, proclaiming, doing unspeakable rituals. You just spritz them with water. No. No, we do that bad. outside. No bad. <laughs> This feature was primarily included in consideration of players who dislike being hit on by older women, eldritch abominations, but it has other uses too? Hmm. Why would you play this game if you disliked that? The whole game's built on being hit on by older women, also known as eldritch abominations. That's the whole point of the game. I mean, every woman in this would be older than you because they're eldritch, which means they're like a gazillion years old. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, can I spritz you, statue? It looks like an idol of a goat, only it has too many legs and too many eyes. It weighs a ton, too. How'd this get up the stairs? How is it sitting on my uh, tartar floor, whatever it's called? <laughs> Tatami, I think it was, right? Yeah. yeah how's it? Man, oh, wouldn't it be breaking? This game's stupid. Hey. Mm -hmm. uh, while facing a tree of the Blackwoods, chant her name. Ensure there's an idol of the Blackwoods. Have a plan. Okay, so I guess it's just chant now. Uh, you need to face the tree. Bam! God, whatever, fine, I'll get the crosshairs on it. I don't know. I, I don't know how, like, close it wants you to face it. Roxanne Silva Oscura. You dare summon me again? Have your pathetic lives not been extended long enough by my gift? Have your lusts not been sated? Must you continue to torment your goddess so? I like your weird, like, goopy... Monster mouths. The darkness from the comic The Darkness. <laughs> yeah. Boop. Boop. You look at a little hard nose. <laughs> <laughs> you summon her and just immediately boop the nose. Just de completely de escalates to when She's like, oh. <laughs> My heart pounds as an immense towering figure materializes before me. My head is splitting open. I can't think. I can barely breathe with this weight crushing down on me. Do you have any idea who I am? I'm Roxanne, the Black Goat of the Woods. And you will rue this day. Yeah, Black Goat of the Woods, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. <laughs> Madness given form, shredding my sanity with each second that passes. It's evil, ancient and endless, peering into the deepest part of me that were never meant to be seen. You tread on dangerous ground, little lamb. Know that each time you summon me, my wrath grows. Look at my wrath meter. It gets bigger <laughs> every time. Oh, no, that's not the smooch meter. Oh, no, it's the opposite. That's like the smack meter. I don't like that one. <laughs> or do I? Or maybe? I will make you rude 
each second of agony you've inflicted. Now, choose your next words carefully. What more could you possibly want of me? Speak! Now spray her with the spray bottle! I don't know how. <laughs> I think it just said there would an icon pop up. I have to banish her to send her back before there's nothing left of me, but the words I need won't come. Did I really think I could face a power like this? Stupid, stupid girl, stupid girl, stupid girl! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think you could just summon up a god and beat it easy? Oh, I never tried before. What if I did it and it's like, oh, this is a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. I guess it's just the fear of attempting that was keeping me from doing it. <laughs> have you ever summoned a god before, time? I didn't think so, didn't think so. <laughs> no, have you ever summoned a god before, Cable? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. That's privileged information. Become a subscriber now and find out. It's <laughs> a special. A five million subscriber special, I'll tell you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Three seconds long. Starts. No. Stops. Starts. Maybe. Ends. <laughs> <laughs> With the last shreds of my will, I cling to the thought of why I came, why I dared this folly. I swallow bile and terror, straighten my spine, grab a candle from the floor, and speak shakily. I am here to stop you from hurting another soul. I am sending you back to the darkness you crawled out of one way or another. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I like the bad. I like it's like a downward arrow on this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I thought this nightmare would never end. <laughs> They're all reasonable. Just like when, uh... Yeah. What was her name? L L L Loretta? Is that her name? Uh, L Lynetta. Lynetta, that's what it was. Lynetta, when she shows up, she's like, eek! It's like, whoa, it's so easy. Just immediately, <laughs> whoa. Uh, aren't you supposed to, like, try to stop me or something? No, I'm into this. Oh, baby. Get me out of here. <laughs> this is what I've been into. Nobody else... No one else tapped into this kink I have. <laughs> I like being banished away. I love it when you banish me. Banish me slower. <laughs> <laughs> My brow furrows as I stare at her for a long time. <laughs> Wordlessly. Isn't she supposed to want to, you know, spread madness and whatnot? You're confused. Mm -hmm. In more ways than one. <laughs> a little bit. Well, yeah, you want to be exercised. Banished. Yes. I'm rooted to your planet and cannot be removed without a human's aid. I hate it here. You're all so smelly. God, you're all lame. <laughs> it's like if you were stuck staring at an anthill all day, you just don't get it. It's so... so you know, some people like that. They keep them in their houses. That's why you guys are f***ing weird, she says. <laughs> it's so boring. I can't watch my shows. It's so boring, and some of you, like, celebrate that boredom. It's pathetic and weird. <laughs> I don't understand. You have so many followers. Followers that just tried to kill me, I might add. Can't they free you instead? Things have gotten... messy with my cultists. Messy in a bad way, I mean. Oh, I hate these breakups. They never work out. <laughs> with all of my cultists, I broke up with them. My followers have turned against me and are abusing me and my woods' power to kill outsiders indiscriminately. Why do you care? That Because it's boring here, she says. She reiterates, it's boring. <laughs> That that seemed like it was what the book wanted us to do, though. Your pink fur is much shinier than your black fur. <laughs> Have pity on this old, tired goat and banish me so I can't trouble humanity any longer. Please. Oh, this is going to be really easy. Help me. Well, now that you, like, you're into it, I don't know if I'm committed to this anymore. <laughs> Just, uh, I mean... It's like, I thought I'd be banishing an evil spooky demon, but you're like, okay, cool. And I'm like, well, now I don't feel like a hero. <laughs> now it just feels weird. <laughs> now I just feel kind of bad for everyone. <laughs> I rub my temple. This is tricky. On the one hand, I came here to banish her. This corrupted force is devouring this town, and who knows how much further it'll spread if nothing's done. On the other hand, I have serious reservations about helping an Eldritch God do anything. All those missing people posters, she's responsible, and she and her cult are pure evil. But for now, we want the same thing. Her gone. <laughs> Alright, tell me how to do this. Do I just grab any old knife and... Your mortal weapons can harm me, child. But they cannot stop me. But that book you carry, it holds the key to my banishment. Perform the rituals in order until you arrive at the uprooting ritual. That one will banish me for good. 
Is this kind of a fun idea where it's all like, please get rid of me, and then the antagonist <laughs> or the cult is trying to stop you from getting rid of her? <laughs> trying to, no, stop trying to unsummon our god. Ah. Please unsummon me, I hate it here. <laughs> Just in the background, <laughs> please. <laughs> first things first, you will need a partner. I am a goddess of lust, so many of your rituals will require you to be in the presence of your ideal mate, your heart's desire. Perform the spawn partner ritual in the next page. <laughs> oh, you can just cast a spell that does that, I guess. So you're asking me to use one of my spell slots for Unseen Servant today. <laughs> spawn partner. Light the ritual candles. The color of the flame does not matter, so please choose a color you find comforting. <laughs> Have your choice of an aromatic herb on your person. Pick a scent you find pleasant. Imagine oh. your ideal partner. If it exists, it will appear before you in a cloud of smoke. If it does not exist, it will be created. Do not imagine something you can't put back. <laughs> Chant Theranak Yamagep. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we gotta go get the herbs. Oh, so that's, what, that's the spell that they were casting in Spyro. They're trying to cast a partner or whatever. Is it? I thought I had to go to the scent rack. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought we had to go get the Aww. herbs from downstairs. Hey, hey. It's gonna be okay, Roxanne. <laughs> You'll be okay. We'll get you out of here and back to the Eldritch Dimension. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Rosemary, Rosemary. lavender, mint. What do you like best time? Mint, lavender, or rosemary? Mm. I don't. I can't off the top of my head remember what rosemary smells like. I also can't remember what rosemary smells like. I like mint and lavender. Yeah, I also like both of them. Um, lavender's yeah. usually in perfumes and stuff, though, and I don't like perfume. I think perfume smells bad. Yeah, mint, mint is nice. Mint? Okay, we're gonna go with mint. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna summon our companion for the game. We change these to a color that we like. Uh, what colors do we have? Oh, whoops. Snuff. Red, black, green, blue, pink, purple, yellow. Hmm. Which favorite color time? Hmm. I do like yellow. You like yellow? Yeah, I like yellow. Time was simping after the king in yellow in the last game, kids. <laughs> yellow. What is your favorite color? Um, it alternates between, like, blue and, like, green, I think. Yeah. Just whatever my mood is that day. <laughs> blue's pretty cool. Yeah, blue's nice. I like green. I like fresh ass green. Like if you look outside and it's like, man, things aren't dead yet. <laughs> That's some good green out there. <laughs> some good looking green, mister. Light the ritual candles. Have your choice of aroma aromatic herb. Imagine your ideal partner if it exists. Uh, well, time. I hope we're on the same wavelength because we might not be able to <laughs> change this. It says we will not be able to put it back, so. Oh. Theranak Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Wait, I can explain. Go ahead. <laughs> well. I mean. Your pink fur is very shiny. It's very <laughs> shiny. I've got nothing. What is wrong with my taste? I like the music There's right no now. All oh, the speech music is here. Especially after oh. all the time you spent playing coy. Oh my god. In view of the circumstances, perhaps I will allow you to be my partner. <laughs> oh, Roxanne, your horns are so big. <laughs> really? And that's okay with you, even though we just met? Well, it's sudden, and it'll be a long, long time before I could ever trust a human again. But... I'm not exactly the god of taking things slow. Oh, baby. I'd like it a lot better. <laughs> I'd like it a lot better if people summoned me more often for dates rather than to destroy the world, actually. Well, she, that probably makes sense. She is the goddess of lust, as she established. Yeah. Besides, I already have a thousand children. <laughs> There's no harm in a thousand and one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? Taking <laughs> Wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> I thought you were talking about just being my girlfriend. <laughs> you thought the two definitions of partners that a fertility goddess was referring to the platonic meaning? I mean, girlfriend isn't really platonic. Look at this Unless it's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> her, her hands, her fingers have like little hooves at the end of them or something. 
What is this thing that they wear where it like hoops around one finger so that it covers the whole arm? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. There's three meanings of partners. What's the third? Cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still joking around while standing so close to me? You should be melting with desire. Being anywhere within a mile of me should amplify your lust a thousandfold. <laughs> I like how one pair of your eyes looks surprised and the other pair looks pissed off a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's an easy one. A thousand times zero is zero. <clears throat> Are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. So, I take it you haven't had children yet? No. Nope. And you, you aren't with child now? <laughs> No. You're going to die here, and there's nothing I can do to help. Cool. Well, that's unfortunate. What? I thought we were trying to get you out of here. You're just not going to help me because I don't have kids. It's not that I won't. It's that I can't. I am an entity of untapped cosmic potential, and I want a big family. The biggest family possible. I want every living thing on Earth to be a direct descendant of me or one of my followers. Trying to go on that Genghis Khan spree, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's weird. Well, I mean, it's pretty expected for a goddess of lust, I think. Even the bugs? Well, whatever. <laughs> you haven't explored the cosmos like I have. There's some pretty good looking bugs out there, mister. <laughs> how, is, how is that going to work? They're like, they're all really small and you're like human sized. Well, you're not questioning the fact that you're a lady girl talking to her right now, but you're still able to somehow <laughs> have a child. You haven't even questioned that possibility. <laughs> also, there's some pretty big bugs out there, mister. <laughs> I mean, not that big, though. <laughs> yeah, there are. This is like Cthulhu stuff. You've never heard of uh, the, the <laughs> fungus of Yagath or whatever it is? The the uh, fly guys? The Migo? The Migo? Maybe. There's some pretty big bugs out there, mister. <laughs> pretty smart, too. They woo me real good, she says. <laughs> I guess there's those f those beetles in the future that take over the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to that, she says. <laughs> serve that goal. Receive a fraction of my power. I call it the pat pat. It's because I pat you. How big of a fraction? As much as a two pats worth a fraction. Oh. <laughs> pat pat. My most devoted followers are bestowed with gifts like extended lifespans, rapid healing, physical enhancement, and in some cases immortality and those followers are the ones looking for you cool now that's that's unfortunate why did it start off with three broken hearts i feel bad what have i done to you roxanne <laughs> yeah you on the other hand have closed yourself off to my dark influence and are mortal and vulnerable no kids no powers well, you better get on that real fast then i guess we better get busy then <laughs> what if I don't want powers or kids? What if I drained life from your body and then used it to fertilize my wicked soil until something that will give me grandchildren comes crawling out? Are you the one that would have the kids? Because that's a totally different story. That, uh, I'm, hmm. I take an involuntary step backwards. <gasps> I'm sorry. You didn't deserve that. Are you all right? I'm fine. Don't worry about me, powers or not. Let's move on to the next ritual so we can get out of here. Okay. Hmm. Mm. Holy moly, that was freaking scary. Oh, holy moly. <laughs> She's really taking this hard. I better go get the stuff for the next ritual. What is the next ritual? Oh, Pat, Pat, we're gonna get you out of here. Don't Aww. worry. <laughs> Don't worry. You'll get to ruin other people's lives later at your own of your own accord. Don't worry. <laughs> next ritual is. Epicurean feast. Collect the following meat from a living thing that died within the black woods. Check the meat racket. Yes, I know. I saw it. Mm. Look at baby mode. You're too stupid <laughs> yeah. to have paid attention, so you need to go look around. Milk of the black goat. Store bought 2% is apparently fine, too. It's in the fridge. <laughs> St store bought 2%. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. Blood. They meant blood. Please use blood from now on. Sorry. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is a different person who wrote it in. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> chant while facing red fire candles. <laughs> That's what that chant was, I saw. Downstairs to the kitchen we go, I guess. Here we go. I sure hope there's no 
uh, cultists in this house now. Ooh. <gasps> I spoke to them. We're safe. Yeah, scared them off. Gather up some ingredients, make the most delicious cookies we've had this moment. <laughs> cookies with that haunch of meat. That haunch of meat. Meat cookies, we call them in the biz. <laughs> Pretty on the nose, some say, but it gets the point across. I'm going the wrong mm -hmm. way. I love the meat cookies. Wow, time. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> Am I get jump scared by a spooky? Aww. Ooh. <laughs> I'm glad you remember where we're going. <laughs> Mmm, this chunk of green ham, just as the story's foretold. <laughs> I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. It smells kind of strange. Is this beef, pork? Whatever it came from, it was huge. <laughs> I should move on before I count the number of legs hanging on the... Okay. Still not acknowledging the... One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> no, you can't do that. Shut up, I did it. You can't stop me now. <laughs> a receptacle filled to the brim with liquid life. B -b -b blood an unsettling amount of it. This is what the ritual calls for. I hope she doesn't mind the, the giant uh, spaghetti o ring in there. Oh, good. <laughs> I can't wait to come back here and get this other shit later. Yeah. Oh, this is strawberry milk. Does this work? <laughs> it's okay. It, I mean, it said it said two percent works, but but does strawberry? This is from a long ass time ago. They're still doing that missing person thing on the milk. They stopped that forever <laughs> yeah. ago. This is the milk of the black goat. It just looks like a regular carton of store bought strawberry milk with a label slapped on it. I guess the cultists would have a hard time getting the real thing from Roxanne now that their relationship has soured, no pun intended. <laughs> this should be good enough. I don't know if this is gonna make it upstairs. I'm probably gonna choke this on my way over there. <laughs> a chill just ran up my spine. Am, am I being watched? Well, it should be really easy to tell because they have glowing eyes. I have everything I need. I need to get out of here fast. Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah. I don't know why I felt the need to heckin' <laughs> tell me. Like, I, I was there. Maybe it's because I have to go through so many of these gosh dang tartar tatami rooms or whatever <laughs> the hell. So it's like a maze. I'll get lost. They're all, like, exactly the same. Ooh. Ugh. You scare the cultists when you go poo. <laughs> they get started and throw their hands up in the air, drop their knife, stab themselves in the neck, and fall over dead. <laughs> 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 I'm like, man, I'm good at this anti cult thing that I'm doing right now. <laughs> you went to the wrong room. <laughs> yeah, I know time. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's fine. We're safe. Okay, I found some strawberry milk. Does that work? <laughs> Is it whole milk? No. Oh, no. Oh. I like how it's 2%. Not whole, it's 2%. <laughs> Just 2% is fine. It was filtered a little bit. It's like, you know, they took out most of the fat. You better not use skin, though. Meat. Milk. Uh, receptacle. Yeah. Chant. Red fire. I think I already said that. <laughs> well done. Looks like you did everything perfectly. Impressive. That was tasty. The steak cooked itself. Apparently. Yeah, it's like chicken. It starts off pink, but turns white. This one starts green and then turns into a nice, delicious, savory <laughs> color. Did we mix the, the strawberry milk with the blood? Is that what she's got yeah, in her Yeah, it turned into there? a vintage wine time. <laughs> Nothing to it. If all the rituals are this easy, I'll have you out of here in no time. <laughs> Perhaps so. I, um, I don't want to leave things as they are between us. Your life is your own. I'm sorry for losing my composure. That's okay. Boop. <laughs> pat, pat. Boop. Pat, pat. Except squishy, you squishy. poke yourself on the horns. Pat. <laughs> ah! I have to like, do a mini game to pull my hand off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? I nearly forgot about that already. I'm a little surprised a literal god would bother apologizing to a human at all. <laughs> I've given it some thought. And while you may be blasphemously abstinent, you're the only person in the world that can help me. It's not like I like you or anything, Bubaka. <laughs> She's here into one of the blushy blushy. <laughs> yeah. You see, if you step within range of my woods, any desire you have that will lead you closer to me is amplified to such an intense degree that it's unbearable. And most of the time, it's lust. Oh, baby. <laughs> Anyone who is led here seeking carnal or animalistic pleasures develops the Sacramento stare and becomes a cultist. <laughs> is... Is it always the Sacramento stare, like every time you get summoned? 
Oh, it's every time you'd have no idea. <laughs> if you are brought into my woods for any other reason, you don't become one of my chosen thousand, and your desire will make you futilely search the woods for what isn't there. Well, fine, I want you then. There, I've decided. I mean, I seem to have gotten here just fine without getting lost forever or anything. These aren't the woods, kid. I, I mean, the town is, like, surrounded by the woods, so it might count as being in sight of it. It wouldn't because we would have already gotten lost. I guess. Time, learn the lore, time. We did kind of get lost in time, uh, missing the person lore, time. Time. I almost got lost in this house, that's for sure. You'll forget to eat <laughs> and sleep. And you'll search and search until you die of exhaustion and become fertilizer for the woods to grow further. You're the only person to reach me without joining the cult or dropping dead. Thanks in no small part to the fact that you don't have lust to amplify. I mean, you're working me towards it. <laughs> My only question is, if you're not here for lust, why are you here? Didn't I already tell you? Hey. Then the, the very first thing I said to her was, I'm trying to get rid of you. Mm. And she was like, cool. I think she doesn't mean why you summoned her, why, why you're like here in town, because... Because we got a Silent Hill letter, right? I wasn't... He well, why am I here in town? Well, <laughs> I was lured here by probably you or the cultists. <laughs> I pulled the receipt out of my pocket. <laughs> the receipt? Yeah, I'm here to complain to the manager about these prices. This is outrageous. <laughs> I came looking for my parents. They vanished somewhere around here a year ago. This used to be a letter from them saying they were here in this house. But once I got here, it turned into a blank receipt and won't turn back. The woods have indeed toyed with your emotions to bring you here. That paper was likely never a letter from your parents, but the woods made you believe it was. I'm sorry. But could they really be in this town? <laughs> could, do, do you think they're here, Roxanne? I th I'm pretty sure my mom said she stole my wallet. <laughs> so they're just still gone. They were likely consumed by my woods no more than three days after they disappeared. Great. Well, darn. Heck. I feel like I've been punched in the gut, but like softly with a pillow. And I'm like, well, now nah, I'll get over it. <laughs> the dust has long settled on my parents being gone, but the grief never faded. Eat. It'll give you your strength back. The woods won't let you feel how tired you are. Eat, she says, splashing me in the face and then trying to shove it down my throat. <laughs> this is how you humans do it, right? <laughs> the, this is, yeah, I mean... Goats just kind of eat stuff off the ground, so... After she splashes me, she starts chewing on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel tired at all, but come to think of it, I felt like I was going to collapse when I made it to this house. I don't think I've eaten since I got the letter, either. I take a few bites, and the tears abate. There, there. It'll be all right, Stardust. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Stardust. How did you know my parents' nickname for me? Anything that dies within my black woods becomes a part of it. A part of me. Their memories of you likely live on in me. Oh, well, that just makes the dating thing even weirder, so... I guess that settles it. My parents really are gone. That's the only way she could know that name. This isn't the... That's not true. This isn't the kind of closure <laughs> I was hoping I'd find here, but I came here to put an end to the disappearances, and that's what I'll do. Um, I hope this isn't an offensive question, but all the missing people, all the people that came looking for them, yeah, 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 you killed them all? It was never supposed to be like this. I came bearing gifts of safe childbirth for infant and mother, hungerlessness, disease immunity. You're not this virtuous and selfless in the actual lore of where you come from. <laughs> no. You usually just squash people or something. <laughs> you're young, go off and just eat them. Oh, look, I'm not Cthulhu, where I just eat 1D12 investigators every round. I'm not Cthulhu. I style my pear with grape flavoring instead of strawberry flavoring. <laughs> but instead, my own worshippers tormented me until it broke my hearts. Now my woods are bloodthirsty, and I'm forced to watch innumerable die. Cool. You as a god couldn't have done anything about this? Well, no, see, there's magic at play where they're bound to do things that the people who summon them do time. I guess. Otherwise, she'd just f***ing f***ed off at this point because she doesn't want to be here. I guess. 
It's funny that these super powerful beings can't just be like, no, and just like leave. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. It's like a genie. Once you find him, it's like, well, I have to do your wish now, I guess. I'll try to be like sneaky about it and give you like half of what you actually want and half of a curse. But at the end of the day, I do have to grant you a wish. <laughs> Wait, I have the perfect idea. I'll just give you this spray bottle, and when they start trying to do, like, weird sacrifice stuff, just spritz them with it. You mean like this? Spritz, 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 <laughs> Just cuts through her, like, all of her fur is, like, matted down and wet. It's like, yeah, like that. <laughs> but why? How could somebody do something like that? How could somebody have so much hate in their heart? Why is it so mean? <laughs> because it's had an eternity to accumulate. What does that mean? What was that? It sounded like something breaking downstairs. Are they coming? Already? No, 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 no! I forgot, Roxanne is just as scared as I am. I need to be more careful with showing fear for her sake. <laughs> it could just be the house. The place is old and rotten in some places and falling apart because of your f***ing tree sticking out of it. So sometimes the house shifts on its own and falls apart because there's a f***ing tree sticking out of it. I didn't put that tree there on purpose. Let me calm you with a quick ballad. <laughs> I take a quick look around my room for the sturdiest thing I can find. They left my bass guitar untouched. <laughs> I'll check it out. It sounded like it came from the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him up with a guitar. <laughs> Swing! Whoa, just lagged to that one, kid. I don't know what that's about. Boom. Whoa, I told you I could just use my guitar as a weapon. <laughs> can I equip my spritz bottle, though? I don't know. Oh, I wish I could just walk through and, like, like a first person student just has a spritz bottle in the corner. <laughs> One hand, yeah. <laughs> like it's doom. Oh, baby. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I can't believe there's going to be combat in this adventurous game. Is my smooch meter <laughs> my health bar in this one? That might actually be what it is. <laughs> it's going up. That might be it. You don't want to get the full smooches. Or maybe I need to keep it full so that eventually I can unlock the smooch meter or the smooch button. <laughs> Every time I get hit, it breaks a hard time. <gasps> but they're already broken. Oh, no, there's no winning. There's no pleasing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a chainsaw. <laughs> Just a preemptive. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <gasps> Hey, I feel like there's one of these missing. Is there? That or I just think there is, because it, it's probably not. Hello. Hello. Nobody's here. Oh. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. It could have just been the house settling, like I said. Jump scare. <laughs> They're in the fridge. Ow. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ow, you mother hecker. <laughs> you got stabbed a little bit. Holy criminy. <laughs> Jesus, kid. I like their little, like, eh, eyeball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that hit knocked them out cold. I wonder if this is a character we've met before. I wonder if this is Trendy M Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that made so much noise I can't afford to stick around, but I don't feel good about letting this maniac wake up and ambush me again. I'll tie them up somewhere I can keep my eye on them, like the fridge. Get in there. Get in the fridge. You fit better. Fit better. <laughs> fit better. Why don't you fit better? <laughs> Why is that knife covered in blood? Maybe because you got stabbed like four times. <laughs> you got stabbed, yeah. You could Oops. also prevent her from waking up by stabbing her with the knife. Well, I, my mouse just clicked twice for some reason, so I skipped some dialogue. Oh. I can't for the life of me find a wound anymore in my body, and I certainly don't feel any pain either. I assume they just said, like, oh, it came from me, probably. I grab a hold of the scruff of her neck and then throw her out the window. Get out of here! I grab a hold of the scruff of the cultist's collar and drag them a short distance. They feel unusually light to carry, but my left arm can't produce any force. Okay, so it's... What's going on with... This isn't my hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, uh, oh, that oh. looks bad. Well, that's not great. What was that? That vision? No matter how much I focus, I can't bring it back, just like the fake letter I received. So I'm f***ed up, but I think I'm okay. Yeah. Are the woods concealing my injuries from me so I can't tell when I'm about to drop dead? That's unfortunate. I sling my bass guitar over my shoulder like a cool guy. <laughs> By its strap and drag the cultist with my right arm alone. I'm sure this would be torture if I could feel pain or exhaustion. Well, now that's how we gotta hit that old dusty trail. She's in your inventory now. <laughs> She'd just be like, just the same picture, but small, like right here on the left hand or whatever. Yeah. 
What's that terrible smell? Can you be Harry Potter? I guess. I guess we're returning to. I guess I'm holding her. I'm gonna go feed her to Roxanne. It's gonna be really cool seeing her eat her. Hey, I got something else for you to eat. Hey, Roxanne, the goat goddess. I found some garbage for you to eat. I say, dropping this stupid idiot on the floor. Mmm, I love garbage. She says, munching away. <laughs> Junk food is my favorite. Mmm. Oh, this is the trashiest food I've had all week. <laughs> Damn, get wrecked, trendy M girl. Okay, I did it. I got fucked up, though. You might want to help me with that. <laughs> I'm back. Welcome back. What is that? What is that? This is called a girl. We have like four <laughs> billion of these on this planet. I figured you know that. A bass guitar. Not that. The dead body. Oh, they're alive, actually. You took one of the thousand alive? And then brought them here? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Just leave them down there? Look at my hand. They stabbed the shit out of it. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. This is... Very good, actually. Now you have a blood sacrifice if you need one. If you were going to be cool with it, then why were you so, like, offended a second ago? What was that about? <laughs> what did you say? Some of these rituals require blood or human... participants. Having someone knocked out and served to you on a silver platter makes things much easier. Okay, so is the is the mechanic going to be that when I need a sacrifice or a ritual, I have to go to the house and just look for somebody <laughs> to bonk on the head with a guitar? <laughs> just to beat someone up. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're cultists, so it's okay. Yeah, nobody cares if you kill cultists. It's like a rule. <laughs> it's not even a crime, I'm pretty sure. Don't kill cultists. <laughs> I think they pay you for doing it, actually. Yeah, it's called a bounty. To show up with their masks and they'll be like, man, you got a lot of them. <laughs> Here's five uh, silver dollars. Congratulations. Get back out there, bounty hunter. <laughs> I didn't drag them up the stairs so they could be a sacrifice. I tie their wrists together behind a load-bearing post in my room. This is where I will collect my bounty of <laughs> goldists to sacrifice. Now, I'm an outer god, so my moral code is completely different from that of humans. But didn't they just try to kill you? Yeah, but I bapped them. I bapped them really good, like on the head with my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> they did a really good job of it, too. My hand is not doing great. Yeah, I might be bleeding out right now, so I might drop dead, like, in <laughs> a few minutes. Maybe, but under that mask, this could be someone else who went missing. It's Trendy M Girl. <laughs> it is Trendy M. You could also just take out off the mask and, like, look. Well, that would be... I mean, that just violates, like, the superhero supervillain code. <laughs> is 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 this in a, a supervillain superhero, like, thing that we're doing? No, magic power and sh Maybe. <laughs> I can never put someone through what I felt when my parents didn't come back. The mask is snug against the cultist's face with a firm yank. Oh my god, it's Trendy M Girl. Gasp, it's Trendy M Girl. Nanny! Nanny! <laughs> <laughs> I like how they pronounce her wrong. <laughs> no, don't let her look. If she sees you, they're like Malkavians. They'll all know. You! Oh, you're that klutz from Missing Person Lane. Why do you sound like you're talking to me through an old radio? Uh, they just sound like that here in Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, maybe I bonked you on the head a little too hard. It's not that. She has the stare. Her lust for the leader of the thousand, Buck has been amplified a thousandfold into blind fanaticism. <laughs> Just spritz. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Buck is going to have a deer mask. Hmm. Hmm. You mean like all the cultists probably do? <laughs> yeah. She had a deer I mean, mask. Some of them are like goats and stuff. Gazelles or whatever. <laughs> goats, gazelles, deer. Same thing. Am I right, guys? I hope same one of them has thing, like a moose. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Four legs, hooves, horns, same thing, am I right, guys? <laughs> big ass moose skull? You'd have to be a big boy to wear a moose skull for a mask. It's just, it's way too big and they have to like hold it up with their hands while they're <laughs> wearing the small, it. There's like a five foot tall girl that's like twiggy thin, they're wearing it. It's like really, it's like wearing it as like a whole upper torso attachment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her name is Nani. <laughs> Apparently. Hey, don't try to wiggle out of that. I will spritz you again. I don't want to have to hurt you. I just needed to make sure you couldn't attack me again. You think you can steal my book, bash me over the head with a guitar, tie me up, and get away with it? 
Oh, you're so dead. Okay, I found this book. You attacked me with a knife, so that was self-defense, and I didn't want you to attack me again, so... <laughs> also, she wants me to kill you, so yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get away with this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did you expect to thank you? <sighs> She's long gone. I wasn't really expecting much, because I just spritzed her in the face with a water bottle. <laughs> It's pointless trying to talk to her. If you're insisting on keeping her alive, just do us both a favor and keep an eye on her. If you have to look away, don't turn your back on her for too long. No, I tied her up real good. No, I have to bap her again is what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. I do insist on keeping her alive. If she has the stare, then she didn't choose this. She's just another innocent person who got tricked into coming here. Her crimes of being trendy M girls still stand, but whatever. There's no changing <laughs> that, I guess. Boop. <laughs> Boop. You yeah, have her tied up. You just start going. <laughs> and she just gets increasingly pissed off about it. <laughs> hey, if you just stay put for now, then I can just let you go after I'm done here, okay? Drop dead. Spritz. Spritz. No, oh, I wish. I wish I could do it anytime I wanted. I say and return her mask to her. First things first, I need to do something about my arm. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why give the mask? <laughs> well, because I don't want to look at her stupid face. <laughs> I How guess. do I prevent my arm from being hacked? What do I do, Roxanne? Perform the rejuvenate virility. Oh. oh. Rejuvenate virility. Oh, to heal easy. injuries, place a ghost skull over your face and light green fire candles. Uh, ensure this symbol is drawn. Uh, face a mirror. If the intended target isn't the caster, this is that end isn't deceased to draw this symbol. Instead, face them. I guess we could heal her. I don't know why we would. If we really wanted to. I mean, maybe that's a step towards getting the good ending or the true ending, which is really well, make buddies with her, maybe. Yeah. I don't really want to be friends with Trendy M Girl, but we could try that, I guess. I wonder if it does anything if you do it facing Roxanne. We should try that. Yeah. Uh, let's get the ghost, the goat skull. Give me your stupid mask. <laughs> like, I just gave this back to you, but actually I need it. Yeah, spritz. I wish I could just spritz her whenever I feel like it. <laughs> okay, so ensure this symbol. That's for me. Uh, so the pointy little pointy one, little candle hour looking one. Not uh, that. not that one. There we go. And then ensure the symbol nearby. Tend to target as the caster is a sea stroke. Uh, the symbol instead face them. And then just. Oh, green fire candles. Green fire, yeah. I know how to read time, God. <laughs> time the backseat gamer kicking in, kids. Look at him trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> and then chant while looking at Roxanne. Let's see what happens, everybody. Ah, Nope. Nope. What does that say? yourself first oh. okay oh okay maybe i'm slowly dying and i just don't realize it <laughs> maybe mirror mirror on a mirror. wall there might be in the bathroom no mirrors in here bonk i'll be back <laughs> in a minute no it's not oh uh oh is that a mirror in the middle between the uh, dressers there oh is that a, i didn't even notice that yeah. I guess I should have with the streaks of light against it. Like a mirror would have. <laughs> All right, that should do her. I inspect my arm, but I still can't tell whether I'm in pain or not. I can only hope I'm not still bleeding out. That about handles my injuries. Hey, Umba. What? Spritz. <laughs> Just every time she talks. Your name is Nani, right? I'm going to give you your mask back so that you can do the ritual, too. I bet that lump aches. Uh -huh. What? The one you gave to me? Oh, yeah, the one I gave you when you tried to kill me. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. You came at me. I was just offended. Did you not see my hand? Yeah. Look, you're hurt. Let me help patch you up, and we'll call it even deal. Like, barf me out. <laughs> like, barf me out. <laughs> oh, my God. Here, now chant. Bottom of the page. I know how to do it. Like, you know, got more green fire. <laughs> like. Clap two Verada. <laughs> Better. This is gonna come back to bite you. Just wait until I break free. Then you're toast for real. I like the spooky voice modulator you installed into this inside of this mask, <laughs> by the way. Mask, yeah. Like a Sith Lord. Very scary. Wait, where's the I mean, mask? Now we can heal. Gimme! 
No, bad. Spritz. <laughs> Be nice. Ooh, nah. no valid target. Okay, well, we tried. Oh, well. Perform Rot Bloom. Rot Bloom sounds good. Rot Bloom. The ritual is required. What, uh, yick, what a gruesome looking ritual. I didn't even get a chance to see it. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, I don't know. I didn't get to see it. <laughs> no, 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 nothing. Just getting the creepy crawlies from this one. It looks like I've got to eat a bunch of stuff in order to make. A seed made immortal by my influence. When you die, the seed will bloom, leaving something good in the world long after oh. you've passed away. Yeah, leaving something worthwhile is a stupid plan, as she says. <laughs> That's kind of beautiful, actually. Really? You think so? I do. While I don't th like thinking about dying, it's kind of comforting thinking a part of me will live on, you know. Well, the same could be said about having children. <laughs> of they carry on your legacy long after you die, too. <laughs> And if you have a bunch of children, it's like living forever. Doesn't that sound nice, too? <laughs> you can hmm? spritz her. Oh, but do I want to? <laughs> do I want to spritz her time? <laughs> do you want to spritz her? You're the one playing. Mm, I'm down for this. <laughs> Sheesh, all this grandkids talk. You're just like my mom. <laughs> I can work with that. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> kidding, kidding. I was only 60% serious. Oh, maybe ish. <laughs> ish. That's still more than half serious. But then again, living forever is something best done through offspring. Experiencing it yourself. You mean like what you did to my Bucky? Who are you again? Spritz. Spritz? <laughs> <laughs> He brought that upon himself. You cursed him. He was your most devout follower, and you cursed him. He summoned an eldritch outer god. What'd you expect? Yeah, come on. And he was evil without my permission. Wait, cursed? One of my followers, the leader of the Thousand, stole a kiss from me long ago and became immortal. No matter what happens, he will still exist. Forever. His name is Bucky? Yeah, the thousand years from now, they're going to be like, oh, ancient Bucky of the thousand years. <laughs> He's already ancient, it sounds like. What a dweeb. How's that? I can't wait for him to be like some kind of like 50s era jock with like a convertible <laughs> car or something. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like one of those jackets, those varsity jackets. <laughs> the varsity jacket, yeah. How is that a curse? I could use immortality right about now. Wouldn't it be nice to live forever? I don't think so. That'd be cool. I'd be kind of lame. Mm. No. No. App. Shame on you. Um, I mean, immortality is certainly not living forever. The pain you feel after fatal wounds becomes permanent, lifelong agony. I mean, you have a healing ritual, though. You could just do that and it'd be fine, right? Oh my god, she says, like putting a hand to her face. I never thought about that. <laughs> How did I never think about that? <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> for instance, if a human drowns, they feel indescribable fear and pain for seconds, maybe minutes at worst, and then are swept away by the mercy of death. An immortal human would continue to drown, thrashing and screaming soundlessly, until hope came, if it came. So, for a mortal human to be cursed with cosmic permanence, Immortality is terror beyond death. Buck realized this, and is tormenting me until I take it back. Oh man, what a messy breakup. This is a really jerk ex she has. <laughs> can, can you not just take it back then? He never asked. Also, he's an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> he didn't actually ask me to. <laughs> and also, he's an asshole, she repeats. <laughs> that too. <laughs> How come you don't just take it back then? Wouldn't they let you go if you did? If cosmic permanence was something that could be undone, it wouldn't be permanent, would it? I guess that's true. I guess. When Bucky finds you, when he gets his hands on you... Spritz! Spritz! <laughs> Buck is already here. Oh, oh my god. Spritz! <gasps> A voice from the other side of my bedroom door. I didn't hear him coming. <gasps> quick, Bucky. quick, get the base. Uh, once I am allowed to attack things, I will bash her first <laughs> so she shuts up, and then I will use the base on Bucky. Buck! He opens the here. door and you just bonk him on the head and knock him out. Hello in there. 
Immortal didn't say anything about not being able to be knocked unconscious. It would appear that you have my book, my nanny, and my god inside the room with you. <laughs> nanny. My nanny? My nanny? <laughs> the good news is, you're holding all of the cards. As long as Nanny is unharmed. She's a little drippy, but you know, whatever. <laughs> she, 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 she's fine. I just tied her up. Is that so? Then it looks like we can make a deal. If you let us in, we'll take Nanny and go. What? No way. Once that door is open, I'm going missing for sure. <laughs> what if we make this deal? I'll throw Nanny out the window and you catch her. <laughs> yeah, go out there. Get... Uh, get get all your guys to hold like a blanket between you so you can catch her. <laughs> and then bounce her back up here and when she's in the air I'll bash her in the head again with a guitar. <laughs> Do you realize the situation you're in? We can storm in and take the book, the girl, and the god by force. Then why didn't you start with that? Because it's a video game time. <laughs> then <laughs> how come you haven't done it already? Because it's a video game, Stardust. <laughs> you might get a lucky shot on one of us before you died, like I assume you did, Nanny. And if the injury was serious, we'd be stuck for the next who knows how many years <laughs> with it. All of that is too much risk over you. Nobody here has any reason to want you dead or even harmed. That's not what the subtitles say. That's not what that subtitle says at all. <laughs> Right, and so you'll just leave me, let me waltz on out of here, like do a nice, do a beautiful piece of music, just waltzing away. <laughs> we get dozens of people trapped in our woods every week. It means nothing to us if you escape. But I won't escape because the woods won't let me escape. Even if I go straight to the police and tell them everything? <laughs> the police are already here. Oh my god, are you telling me that the police are corrupt in this town? What? No, no way. The last Impossible. bastion of law and order. <laughs> Open the door, and you can keep Roxanne and the book. And if you don't, you know what will happen. You have 20 seconds to make your choice. Don't what? Make your choice. Wait, what's my choice here? What? What was my choice? I forgot. <laughs> Like, do you give him Nanny back? A trendy M girl? A <laughs> trendy M girl. No, <laughs> you don't get her back. Stay, get out of here. Shut up. Box hand for life. <laughs> you should pick up the, uh... I don't know what you're talking about. All I have is a go girl in here. You should pick up the base, though. Oh. This won't be enough to protect oh. me. Come get me, big boy! Oh. Stop! You'll hit oh. the book. <laughs> also, your girlfriend's in front of that wall. I think she's dead. I think he's yeah, shot her. Unfortunately. <laughs> I quickly leap back from the door, awaiting the onslaught of cultists. But instead, I hear footsteps retreating. Stardust! Are you alright? I'm fine. She's fing dead, though, I'm bad. <laughs> I pat myself down quickly. If I got hit, it wasn't enough to make me lose consciousness. That'll have to do. I guess we can just heal ourselves again. Well, what gives? Why are they running away? Did I do something to scare them off? They know you have to leave this room eventually. So they're waiting to ambush you. Don't let your guard down. They could be anywhere. She definitely got hit. <laughs> I guess I'll try to heal her. Arrow. Oops, I already had it on the arrow. And then it's just look at her, right? Yeah. And go to her face, green fire, candle, and look at her and do it. Green fire. No, be better now. Get healthy. Yeah, she's fine. You're welcome. <laughs> she's still alive. The thousands. Tenacity is just something else. What have you done? Why did you heal her? <laughs> I mean, we might need her later, you know? I mean, you were just talking about how, how much it sucks to be immortal and be, like, severely injured the whole time. So. That and also you said we might need a live sacrifice later, so I mean... <laughs> Yeah, that too. Like we're going completely different angles for this. <laughs> he knew I was in here with you. And fired anyway. Yeah, he's a cult leader. Yeah, he's an evil cultist. You heard it too, right? He said to stop shooting because they'd... 
hit the book. He hasn't called me that since we first started dating. <laughs> oh, I love you, book. <laughs> oh my god, I've, I'm so in love with him, she says, like, floating with New Eldritch power. Laser beams of me and escapes. <laughs> oh. Oops. Oh damn, book hits like a truck. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupid, stupid girl. Stupid girl. Is it just me or is she acting different? The spell's been broken. Look, we fixed her. Yeah, we turned you her eyes off. You can close your mouth. You're going to catch flies, kid. <laughs> well, she's a goat. It's fine. Yeah, I'm waiting for it. Nom, she says. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me back. Or whatever. <laughs> or it's not like I care anything, babaka. Huh? Thanks. Did she just say thank you? Roxanne, what's happening? I don't understand this new world we've entered. <laughs> what is this gratitude? Was what drew her into the woods. Now that her desire for Buck is zero, there's nothing to amplify. That's all. So we fixed her? So we fixed her. At by bat? letting her get shot. Cool. Man, I'm okay with that. <laughs> really? She's not one of them anymore? Hey, if I untie you, you won't attack me, right? No, Stardust. Think. <laughs> Crisis of faith or not, she is still with the Thousand and just tried to kill you. She literally has your blood on her hands. She does literally have our blood on her, on her hands. Think, Stardust, think. <laughs> I slip the guitar strap off from around her wrists. There, how's that? And then she mauls me. <laughs> I'm not going to say thank you for releasing me, too. You're the one who tied me up in the first place. Because you stabbed me. <laughs> Whatever trendy M girl. Also known as Nanny, also known as Book. <laughs> I'm leaving. Bye. Well, don't get shot again. Later. <laughs> yeah, don't. Or just immediately captured by the cultists because you're not brainwashed anymore. I got my purple contacts for that, she says, putting them back in and they're all glowy. <laughs> they won't oh, get me. You, you just had some of those on you? We all have that. What do you... Were you not saying? <laughs> what do you think we were doing with our eyes? We just glow. That's stupid. And she's like, I guess they, I guess they just fell out when she got shot. <laughs> yeah, they shot her really good. I had to fix her up for like a whole few seconds. Stardust, <laughs> we're going to regret this. Eh, it's fine. Whatever. Have a little faith in me. It'll be all right. God. <laughs> well, I do feel a little better that she is not here with us anymore. Nanny not being around is fine by me. We don't have a separate sacrifice anymore, though. I can be sacrificed for the both of us. I'll do double <laughs> duty. It's fine. Uh, wait, hold on. If you sacrifice me and then we do the healing spell while I'm being sacrificed, that you like cancel it out and fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you have like one of the immortal people and you cut their heart out for the ritual and then you do the healing, can you use them for a sacrifice again? Yeah, as long as you can keep them conscious so you can put the heart back when you do the spell, it'll be fine. <laughs> there, I did it. Perform Rob Bloom. Yeah. This ritual is required to safely approach the heart of the woods to perform uprooting. The effects are not reversible, even in death. Find and consume the following in order. The pot of a plant which grew underwater within the black woods. So there's that, uh, the, the bathroom had that uh, uh, bath that we have to, that, that plant, yeah. remember that? So that's where that is. Raw meat. Okay, we have to get the meat again. And the petal of a flower that grew from the soil of the black woods continued on next. Oh, there's more time. Bust out that uh, uh, phone with the notepad <laughs> attachment to it. Bust out a marker and write this on your phone time. <laughs> write it on my phone. Yeah. Out of a plant which grew underwater. So the bathroom plant meat flower petal, no lit candles and face a plant with my spawned partner. Where was a flower plant? Also, I can't take the guitar with me like at all now. This won't be enough to protect me, they say. There was a flower in the other bedroom, maybe? I keep, like, just from habit putting my other hand on the keyboard on Wazzy, like I'm going to be using that at any point ever. <laughs> this is all just with a mouse. What do I do if I get attacked? Yeah, what if the cultists come back? I guess I'll spritz them with my spritz bottle. Oh, uh, was this the bathroom? This is the bathroom. Yeah, this is the bathroom. The bathroom. The beer. Oh, I have to eat them in order. Okay, so it's this one first. Found one. I think this thing's a plant, so it probably counts. Don't eat that. It's a, a seed pot. It'll explode in your gut. 
like swallow it and then you just hear like a boom and their tummy gets big for like a split second and it goes back to normal. <laughs> like, it's like, wow. Like a cartoon. <laughs> My bath ceramic, I think. Nothing a plant would grow on, so I can only imagine that the plants are actually growing out of under out of under the murky water. And then you belch and smoke comes out. <laughs> yeah, like a little jet flame comes out too along with them. <laughs> The leathery seedling tears off with little resistance. I try to chew it, but it's hard as a rock. Something is off about the taste, too. I managed to force it down, whatever it was. I don't think it was poisonous, but I feel kind of sick now. I'd better get a move on. Oh, no, am I timed? I might be timed. It doesn't seem like you're timed. You had a timer the last time you were timed. I might be timed, like, but in secret ways. <laughs> it might be a secret that I'm timed. Or hustle so that I can get clonked in the head with a knife. Not stabbed, <laughs> clonked. Like with a flat just... end. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. No, no. Let's go around. Hello? <gasps> Hello? Looks safe to me. Should have brought your your bass. Should have brought my bass guitar so I can uh, boost that bass, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Looks like uh, we should boost the bass of me clonking that guy, the trendy M girl in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm supposed to eat it raw this time. Yuck. I tear off a dripping morsel of strange meat, pinch my nose shut, and imagine it's beef tartare as I force it down. It leaves a metally aftertaste in my mouth, and it feels like something didn't go down quite right. I feel very sick all of a sudden. My stomach immediately starts to churn. Oops. And other things. Huh? What's that incredible smell? A rich, warm scent clouds my senses, settling my stomach almost instantly. I follow my nose wherever it goes, and it leads back to the meat. Could it really be? Did I just get a bad first piece or something? I hesitantly take another bite and a wave of satisfaction washes over me and my- I played the first game, I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a wave of satisfaction washes over me and my appetite kicks into overdrive. I've never tasted anything like it. I eat a third piece, then a fourth, then a fifth. It's like I've got- did I, I did this in the right order, right? It's meat next, right? I think so, yeah. Did you write it down? Yeah, it says me second. Okay, well, I didn't hack up, so... Then a fifth, it's like I've gone my whole life uh, without eating until now. The seconds between bites feel like an eternity of withdrawal. Eventually, my hunger abates, but only after I stripped it clean of the marrow. Or to the marrow. I ate the ball and I left the marrow. <laughs> I need to get one last ingredient, the petal of a flower that grew in the black woods. I walk away, gnawing idly on the bone. I guess that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, it just tells me where they are. Yeah, it wasn't the other bedroom. <laughs> Hello, any spooky cultists in here? Hmm. Will I have to judo chop you in self-defense? I swear off so- ah! uh. I opened it too fast, I guess. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Missing. Oh no. Dork, they stole your eyes first. <laughs> well, that's how you don't survive. <laughs> yeah. Spawn partner ate feast, brought Nani upstairs, healed self. Survived Buck, didn't survive Buck. I made the right mm. choice, everybody. Ate past Nani alive, so if she's dead, that's the other route. I'm assuming yeah. this leads to the true ending saving her, so that she can show up in the next chapter as, like, your friend. Yeah, probably. I ate that meat, kid. Oh, baby. <sighs> Not very many choices in this first chapter. I wonder if they spread out more or if it's mostly going to be straightforward. I don't remember yeah. it being that complicated in the first game. The... Mm -hmm. There was something in, like, the second chapter where you had to do stuff in, like, a weird order or something, wasn't there? The final chapter had a whole bunch of, like, stuff you had to keep track of. Ooh. No. <laughs> I see you there, peeking. <laughs> Must have been the wind, they say. <laughs> so here's the mechanic time. We gotta be sneaky. Yeah. I like how this is the same hallway, but they just won't notice me on this this far down. They just didn't look. Idiot. He'll just be really fast. Just. <laughs> Good idiot. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Must have been the wind. Whose footprints are these? <laughs> Whose footprints are these? Oh, what? Oh this no. This game's impossible. Game broken. This game's hard. Maybe I go around. It's blocked on the other side by something purple I can't see clearly through keel either. Oh, there isn't another way around. Where's flowers on the wall? Unless there was... Was there another flower There somewhere? was a hole. Oops, I went the wrong way. Maybe I can climb, because there was that... No, there wasn't a balcony. Can I go through here, maybe? No? No. Mm. The balcony was in the bathroom. Can I, like, sneak up behind them and choke them out? 
Why are you saying the guitar? It worked the first time. Just bash him over the head when they're not looking. I guess if you go in slowly, you can sneak, maybe? I guess we'll find out. If I die, it's time's fault, everyone. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> Look, they're distracted. It's fine. Just sneak in. They're like actually just distracted. <laughs> what a bunch of dorks. I've never seen a lady before. Whoa. <laughs> Look, you can kind of see her naked almost. Wow. There's other plants around, but none are as radiant as this one. I'm pretty sure this is one of those roses that keeps beasts alive. <laughs> this must be a flower growing directly from the Blackwood soil. This is the I like the little sparkly star background. <laughs> yeah. This is the last thing I need to eat before I can complete the ritual. I pluck a petal quietly and toss it in my mouth. It tastes sweet like honey. It leaves a numbing, unfamiliar sensation on my tongue, as if I'm tasting the very nature of the Black Woods. That seems good. Suddenly, a sharp, bitter taste seizes me, and the sweetness vanishes. Oh, it was one of those sour gummies all the whole time. Whoa! <laughs> it's a reverse sour gummy where it's sour on the inside and sweet on the outside. <laughs> I try to spit out the petal, but I can't move. All I can do is look back at the flower and see how it and the surrounding plants all seem to be growing, all in the same direction towards me. They all love me, I say, falling over. The horror. <laughs> Blah. My heart begins beating again and my consciousness returns suddenly. I'm curled up on the ground in the corner of the room. <laughs> my face is wet with tears and I feel like several hours have passed. The flower is gone. Nothing remains of it but my vague memory and an inexplicable sense of dread X collection. <laughs> and the cultists are still just there staring at them. Jeez, Roxanne wasn't kidding about their <laughs> lust being magnified a thousand fold. Can't believe I'm saying this, but thank the stars for smut. I guess that makes sense. I like the one on the bed doing the kicky feet. <laughs> He's like, whoa, this is the closest I've ever been to a naked lady before. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Roxanne, I'm back. The, your followers are a bunch of dweeb dorks. Did you know that? <laughs> They're very dumb. Okay, so uh, next no candles. Girl, no candles. Look in. What well, was it a plant? So this yeah, tree plant. probably works. I assume the tree, yeah. Uh, Thou, that, 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 oops. Theranak, it was an affabian. Well done. We're so close, I can taste it. This feeling of hope welling in my chest. So unfamiliar. Blushy. <laughs> I'd hate to disappoint you, but we're trapped in a pretty terrible situation. I'm not sure if escape is realistic at this point. We just gotta do it. I have no idea how many of them are there are, and I know they're armed. I can't safely get out of this room anymore. We just got out of the room safely several, t like for a while. <laughs> Unless we have like, I don't know, a chest full of like bikini posters we could put up as we go. <laughs> that might distract them. We have to sneakily take out the three in that room and then relocate the bikini posters to the top of the stairs so they'll just get stuck if, if they try to come up here. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> The chances are that I'm going to walk into one of their traps eventually, even if I'm on guard every minute of every ritual left. I know what ritual is next. We may yet make it out of this. But now that Nanny is gone, I fear the worst has yet to come. Let's hope that letting her live wasn't a big mistake. Mm. Mm. Summon firstborns. Oh. Oh, it's one of the thousand young, kid. Uh, yeah. Like, actually, though. <laughs> <clears throat> well, they don't have faces on them. The... The actual thousand, not the cultist thousand. No, the actual thousand, not the thousand. <laughs> the actual thousand and Cthulhu lore don't have faces on them. They just look like tree roots. This ritual will call upon any and all firstborns within the Black Woods to gather a prodigious amount of fresh blood. Vital for many rituals, including uprooting. If you are death shy, follow these steps to avoid being targeted. Chant near your spawn partner. After chanting, immediately leave the room. Do not return early. Do not collect $200. There's nothing else on the next. What? Continue on I next. I guess you do the next. What? After you leave the room, I assume. Well, then I guess I just chant this, right? Lunagya, Yagagnor, Lefwenifinibnivida. Wait a dork. Okay. <laughs> okay, see ya. Okay. Immediately the room did not return early. 
Nowhere within the Black Woods is safe except for the heart of the woods. The hearts will hide your scent from them. To avoid firstborns on your way, avoid making eye to contact. They will know if you saw them. Move quickly, but do not run. You will attract their attention. Be observant. Do not look at the next page until you have reached the hearts. Where is the hearts? The basement. The uh, basement. Don't run, so I guess I'll wait a couple seconds before I click. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. I don't know why I turned around and I go straight. <laughs> Is there any eye contact to be made here? Mm, I'm not seeing any eye contact. No, I'm not seeing any eye contact. I think we're good. Let's just go straight. Just go straight. Is there any eye contact to be made here? <gasps> ah! Oh. <laughs> scary. <laughs> this game's spooky time. They thought they got you. They thought they got me. They were coming to give, give me a little smooch. Very many smooches. <laughs> I couldn't handle that many smoochies. Uh, safe. Safe, says the umpire, telling the multi-faced uh, horror, no. Go back, no, bap. <laughs> Newspaper, bap. Get out of here. No, no more. And they just look really sad and leave. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, yep, that's a heart. Uh, do you want Okay, I'm pretty sure this is a heart. Whoops. Wait for the can. Wait for the candles to go out. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go out on their own, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. Return to the room where the ritual began. Find out what they left for you and chant three times to end the ritual. Do not leave the heart of the woods until the candles go out on their own, no matter what you see or hear. Once the candles go out, leave immediately. Uh, I guess we're just waiting. We're just leaving. We're waiting. That's a really big heart for supposedly a human heart. A goo goo baba. <laughs> well, we've got a body on the right there, too. I don't care, whatever. That guy's a dweeb. If he was important, he wouldn't <laughs> be dead. So we turn around, leave, go back to Roxanne, and then chant three times instead, right? Yeah. Okie dokie. It didn't say I couldn't look around, it just said not to leave. But I have to leave immediately after they go. Oh, there they go. Whoa. I'm done. Get here, dork. <laughs> Didn't say I couldn't run, so I'm leaving, nerd. I assume the eye contact thing is no longer in. That was like a million years ago on the last page, kid. Just. We're done with that. That's like last season. <laughs> Look, it's nothing. Ain't nothing. Ain't yeah, no thing. Easy. Ain't no thing. Ain't but a thing. Okay, I rock sand. Uh, Chandler said, bu -bu 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 -bu. Oops. Bu -bu -bu. Oops. <laughs> Get the gift. Oh, the gift. There's a thing here. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, it said that it left something for us somewhere. Oh. oh. Maybe it's this giant disgusting flesh bag. <laughs> it might be that giant disgusting flesh bag. <laughs> Got it, but what exactly is it? I open the sack. The contents are a dark red liquid thickly mixed with another darker fluid. It smells kind of like fresh wine. No. Oh. Yeah, this is why wine's disgusting. Time you're drinking bodies. <laughs> I close the sack up, ignoring the sight of two bright red fingers floating to the top. Ah, normal. No time to recover from all this excitement. I've got to end this ritual. Where's my Whoops. How wonderful. With all of this fresh blood, we're as good as home free. Soon I will finally leave Sacramento behind. Hopefully, wherever you spend the remainder of your reality will be greener pastures as well. Bad, bad. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Wait, what do you mean remainder of my reality? I know it's a lot to take in, but because I'm an outer god, everything in this reality is my dream, including you. Sometime after I'm uprooted, I will wake up, and this reality will end. That's fine. You're an elder god. I'm sure it won't be for many, many years. D survived that last time. Yeah, he was fine. <laughs> he just kept getting dreamed about. <laughs> but what happens to me when my reality ends? Well, permanent entities like myself and Buck continue to exist between dreams. But as for non-immortals... Can I be an immortal? <laughs> Stardust. Occultus asked me the same exact question once before, when I gave him my answer. At first he laughed as if I was joking. Shortly after, he was disappointed and confused, as if dissatisfied with my answer. But then, 
As he began to mull it over, it slowly began to drive him mad, until finally he ran shrieking into the woods, and I never saw him again. He ran shrieking into the woods where he began streaking into the woods. It was very <laughs> embarrassing for everyone. Well, he was a cultist. And I guess shrieking isn't very effective when there's nobody out there to see you, but... <laughs> I mean, whatever, he's gone now is what's important. Your answer was really that terrifying? I've got to know what happens to me once my reality ends. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm gonna run shrieking into the woods. Ah! <laughs> Star just starts ripping her clothes off and jumping to the window. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Someone's coming. <gasps> is it Buck? Did Nani spill the beans and say how close we are to finishing? I ready my bass guitar. This is it. <laughs> Whatever happens, I can't fail here for my sake and Roxanne's. <gasps> Swing bass guitar. Approachy. <gasps> is it going to be Nani again? I'm not going to swing it. <laughs> <laughs> Taking their sweet time about it. Do I have to press this? <gasps> okay. Hey, I'm. <laughs> Why yeah, the hell her. are you being so goddamn slow about it? <laughs> she wasn't nervous. What, what the hell, trendy M girl? What's that about? Nani came back. <laughs> Hurry, get in here. Jeez, I almost took her head off, kind of, but even though I didn't, like, for a second, even consider throwing it, because I knew it was going to be her. <laughs> pat, pat. She's back? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I just like this, like, surprise, like, bit, like, what would you describe this look <laughs> time? Like, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, kind of exasperated. Exasperated a is a good word for it, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm leaving too, and the only way I'm getting out of here is if you finish your rituals. Trendy M girl? Leveling up to Trendy F girl? Oh. I gotta get back to my folks. And you do too, so... Actually, thanks to the thousand, that's no longer a possibility for her. Oh. Mm, no. Oops. Whoops. Were they, you know, did we... Probably. Whatever you're implying, yes. <laughs> Just anything, whatever it is. I take a deep breath and force a small smile. I swallowed hard, forcing the familiar lump in my throat back down. And you saved me anyways? Eh. You were like brainwashed and stuff, so like. I mean, I just learned how to do magic, and it was kind of cool. It was, was kind of fun doing it again. <laughs> I don't know how I could even begin to thank you. Well, you can start by helping us escape. Having an ex-cultist on our side evens the odds greatly. When you close your other set of eyes, it looks like you have big bags under them, like you're tired. <laughs> She's been here a long time, and the cultists keep bothering her, so she can't get a nap. She's like, yeah, half of me is sleeping right now. <laughs> if she doesn't sleep for long enough, do you think both sets of eyes get bags under them? I think what happens <laughs> is she sleeps half of them, and the other half sleeps afterwards, so she's just always awake on some level, you know what I mean? Oh. Makes sense, yeah. Use your brain, kid. <laughs> Makes sense. Eldritch God's got to get that shut eye, but if they get shut eye all the time, like constantly forever, then they're always awake at the same time. Yeah, get in <laughs> It does? Whatever you said, I forget. I was talking about the bags on your eyes. Since she has children, she has the same superhuman strength and tenacity as the rest of them. Oh, well, we have a, we have a gosh darn Kimiko on our team, kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she can do all the fighting for us. I don't have to swing a bass guitar anymore. Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? I do not have kids. Well, never mind then. What do you mean? <laughs> You've been Buck's girlfriend all this time. Inside my aura of desire, no less. How haven't the two of you had kids yet? He has eyes only for you, <laughs> Roxanne. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell me? 
you're the space goat with magic powers or whatever. <laughs> How come instead of bringing me and Bucky closer, you ruined everything? Why do your lines sound like the acoustics are different when you recorded them? The... They were in a different room, I guess. They probably are like, they probably just recorded them like at their house or something. That's how people yeah. do voice acting they usually for these things nowadays. Ruined everything. You two seemed pretty close before he shot you. I mean, I guess we'd be close if I ever got to see him or have any time alone together. I mean, that was what I thought all of this was going to be. B. <laughs> he told me that the black goat of the woods was like some goddess of love or lust or whatever. So I was all like, OMG, that's totally hot. Let's summon her right now. <laughs> God dang book, you have a way with words. <laughs> but like, as soon as we did, he stopped talking to me. Because he only cared about uh, her and the amplification thing that he just like only cared about her. Well, I'm trendy um, M girl. I'm only like fashionable once every once in a while, and then I fade out and then I come back. <laughs> Between you and all the other girls that wander into town, it's like I'm invisible or <sighs> whatever. Guess that explains why Nanny Nanny thought I was here for Buck when we first ran into each other. Wow, look at her. She's like, what the? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> For a second back there, I thought he'd realized how much I meant to him. Back when he said you can keep the book and the god if he just got me back. Yeah, he was lying. Duh. Yeah. He was just trying to trick us into opening the door. But I guess I'm like... Hey, don't get yourself down. There's plenty of other violent cult leaders out there. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find the right one for you. <laughs> Thanks. But I think I'm swearing off of skulls and robes for a while. After we do these rituals, that is. Here's everything you need for the next one. Saved you the trip. Oh. She just cannot wrap her mind around this. <laughs> what? She's like, this is, this is, this is impossible. There's no way. <laughs> I like that her cre creepy skull mask has like cute flowers on it. Well, she has to be trendy. Also, so you know it's her because of the flower on her wrist. <laughs> yeah. Really? To think she risked returning just to help me? And so after this, reality will end eventually? <sighs> yes. And I'm part of this dream, meaning I'll probably vanish too until I come back for at least two more episodes? <laughs> most likely. But not most definitely. How... How long could it really take, though? Like, you're an eldritch god, and I'm sure time has, like, no meaning to you. She's just like, reality's gonna end when I wake up. When's that gonna be? Like, five bazillion years from now. <laughs> you don't have much time left. <laughs> it's just like, it's like tomorrow for me, but, like, forever for you. So that makes me your dream girl, technically. <laughs> Well, that's one takeaway from the existential atom bomb I just dropped on you. But yes, I suppose so. Blushy. You, you and every other girl on the planet. <laughs> that's the exact same thing that I think <laughs> D said in the first game. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my god, 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 no capitalization, no period. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool indeed. But it's about to get very, very hot. Oh, Uprooting baby. will cause the entire black woods <laughs> to burn down. Oh. So you'll need to run. Uh, While well, I retract the baby. If the woods were able to lure you in all the way from wherever you were living, it means its roots have grown that far. That will burn too. Well, just how far am I supposed to run? Or just how far am I supposed to be running? Sorry, I didn't read the line correctly. This is why I don't get paid. <laughs> just how far am I supposed to be running? I would say 60 miles just to be safe. Oh, only 60 miles. I have to run for 60 <laughs> miles? That's going to take me an hour at least. You can find like a car. You can, <laughs> you can run a one minute mile. <laughs> 
yeah. 60 miles an hour, kid. I'm really good at this, <laughs> says Stardust. And then she, like, takes a running sprinter pose and just... <laughs> <laughs> Doing this is going to burn everything down within 60 miles. It's a small price to pay to excise the woods from your planet. Left unchecked, they will envelop the whole Earth, turning every human into either a cultist or fertilizer. Just think of it like a widespread forest fire. And not even the worst one you've seen. Humanity has dealt with far larger wildfires before. Your towns will heal. I'm sure it will be fine. As George Carlin once said, the planet will be fine. We're f <laughs> So I just gotta run for it once the fire starts? Don't stop running, and leave the book behind to burn. If the Thousand ever recovered it, they could seed the Blackwoods again. And this will all have been for nothing. Well, it's a good thing I saved Noni, then. Are you ready to be my mount, trendy M girl? <laughs> well, wait, you're the one who can run 60 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to. That's, like, tiring. <laughs> but what if they save the book before it burns to ash? You're never going to make it out anyways. The Thousand are ready to die for Buck. They'll mob us as soon as this place starts burning. Here, if you take my old robes and mask, you can, like, slip right past them. Hmm. I'll stay behind and make sure the book burns. You're going to sacrifice yourself for me, Trendy F <gasps> girl? Gasp. Oh my god, you truly are Trendy F girl. <laughs> but what about you? Won't they kill you if they see you without your cult stuff? As if. They know my face. If they see me running away, they'll let me go. Oh, she'll be fine. Hmm. She also can run 60 miles an hour. Oh. Here, try this on. That's why if you were my mount, we could just double up and you'll run 120 miles an hour. That's how that works, right? That, that's how that works, right? The, speed the movement stacks. speed stacks. <laughs> yeah, the movement speed stacks. <laughs> I slip on the robes and tuck my head into the goat skull mask. It fits snuggly. It fits. Do you know what that means? We're soulmates. <laughs> that the disguise will work? Well, yeah, but more importantly, it means we're the same size. Oh my god, cute. Oh my god. That means we could try each other's clothes on. <laughs> we're gonna both be trendy F, girl. <laughs> oh, baby. Can I totally raid your closet on my way out? Because, like, I didn't want to say this while we were trying to kill each other or anything, but I <laughs> love your pass off look. So cute. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Boop. <laughs> just with this face. Uh. <laughs> we can't let her feel left out. And she's just like, I'm sick of this stupid idiot. <laughs> I can't believe this is the one that's saving me. Oh yeah, take whatever you want. It's all burning to the ground anyways. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Boop. Beep. Beep. Stardust, no. We're so close to escaping. You can't throw it all away now by trusting her. The book doesn't burn. All of this will be for nothing. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Beep. If you trust her, and then she hands the book over to the thousand, both of us are going to pay for it. She already switched sides once today. It'll be fine. I got us this far, didn't I? We won't let you down now. <laughs> but she... <sighs> Alright, I just... <laughs> I want this so badly, and I don't know if I have any hearts left to break. She doesn't have the glowing purple eyes, so it's okay. Speaking of, I didn't get a single heart for my smooch meter. Yeah, they're all just broken. I wonder if it's like true ending gives you one, and then true ending the next one gives you one, true ending, and then the smooch is the final episode where you get a smooch. <laughs> oh, maybe, yeah. Oh, baby. Come on, let's head on down to the root room and finish this. To the root room, everybody. Gotta get to that deep root room. To the root room. Pat. Pat. <laughs> pat, pat. Oh, look at Trendy F Girl over here. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and go to the root room and do whatever we're doing there, I forget. Oh, oh we have to perform uproot heartburn down there. We gotta do a spell, everybody. We gotta burn down the the city and the surrounding 60 miles. We gotta burninating the countryside, burninating all the people. <laughs> How many times have you burninated the countryside to him? Mm, only like... It's okay, you can say it, I won't tell anybody. Only like a couple. Only a couple times? That's pretty cool. Just a few. I'm assuming this is the root room. 
I think it is, yeah, because we got the... This looks like... I mean, I unless I went the wrong way. This looks like it. Yeah, this is it. All right, time to burn an eighth countryside, kids. Unless I need to go get something because I didn't even look at the spell. Wait for the candles. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Uproot, heartburn. If your relationship with Roxanne, Selva, Askira has soured or you no longer wish to have the earth consumed by the Black Woods, this ritual is the only way to rid your reality of them for now. This ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn to ash and the hearts will return to their dormant state. This will allow you to escape from the Black Woods, but be warned. You can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods once you've entered them. <gasps> Have all of the following, whoops, on the following on your person, the blood of at least 10 human sized living things. You've got the blood bag, so you're fine. The seed of rot bloom within you. I have that. A common flame accelerant like flower. She gave me the thing I needed. I have everything. Yeah. Nail polish, whatever, hairspray. <laughs> In this ancient book, it mentions nail polish and hairspray. <laughs> Go to the heart of the woods while facing the heart chant. You actually did it. You really actually did it. I said I'd do it, didn't I? God dang. Always doubting. Always exasperated. Always just looking at me like you can't believe what I'm doing. <laughs> God dang, Roxanne. How are we going to work if this is how you're always questioning me? <laughs> so the Black Woods have been destroyed. May something green and good grow from its ashes. I am so... So proud of you. I can't thank you enough. It's ironic, isn't it? The day I get my wish of never having to see a human again is the same day I finally meet one worth knowing. You're like weirdly <laughs> like virtuous, Roxanne. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there she goes. It's like an oven in here already. Now throw the book on the ground. I hear frantic commotion. They must be coming. Toss me the book. A uh, catch, I say, backing up and then pitching it. <laughs> I look down at the virtual ritual at the virtual ritual book. I look down at the purple ritual book, hearing Roxanne's worries echo one more time through my head. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Here, haha. I didn't imagine the night ending with me willingly handing the book over to you. Oh my god, right? Like totally not what I expected at all. You know, Buck really wants this book. And now that the woods are all burning down, he probably <laughs> did anything to have it back. Trendy F girl, don't revert back to Trendy M girl. <laughs> you don't want to do that. If we went back to the thousand together, we could have- No! <laughs> 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 this is the same face she had last time, too. <laughs> yeah. Nani? Nani? Kidding, kidding. I was just kidding. <laughs> Jeez. Well. Mostly. Uh, like 60% serious. 60% serious. <laughs> she takes a long look at the book before tossing it into the fire. Yeah. Hey, this is like so embarrassing to say, but I think we would have been besties if things were different or whatever. You're so cute. See ya. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Her smile's really pretty. I wish we could have met somewhere else too. Time to go. Hopefully this disguise is enough to escape. Okay, time to get out of here. Trendy F girl confirmed. Yeah. We did the trendy F girl what? round. Oh. No knee? Yes. Shoot, I wasn't expecting to have to talk my way out. Look at these spooky, grippy fingers this one has. <laughs> Only that one has them, though. This one hasn't upgraded yet. <laughs> yeah, um, totally. It is her! What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down! What are you still doing in here? This place is coming down! Do I really have them all of them full? Was it that simple? I guess. That outsider must have completed the upper ritual. If we rush her, we might be able to save the book. Right. Yeah, you should like totally go down there after her. There's no way the book has burned all the way yet. I need to buy Nani more time. Wait, I'll like totally get the book myself or whatever. <laughs> you gonna fucking go then? They say. <laughs> Just sits on your side. Really? Nani, you're amazing! Nani, you're amazing! What's with these accents all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. You're a true believer! I can't believe you sacrificed yourself for all of us! Oh my god, you should be the new co-leader. We're gonna vote you in next. <laughs> Come on, guys! Let's get out of here! Right! 
Goodbye. <laughs> Morons. <laughs> Not very smart. <laughs> Can't believe they were dangerous. <laughs> oh, it's all burning time. It's all burning away. No, oh, no. Oh, Graham Graham's house is burning away to ashes time. No, not again. This is oh. not the right way to go. But yeah, it is. I'm leaving. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're in the other building. That's right. Time. I can navigate all these tatami rooms, kid. <laughs> I've learned the secret tech to figure it out. <laughs> I sure don't remember. I know exactly where I'm going, time. <laughs> I just, I'm entering the Genkin now. <laughs> I guess that's entry hall. I don't know. I made it. I survived the night. The crater with the blood in it on the wall is not there anymore. What? Oh, may I probably just didn't look far enough to the right. Oh, maybe. I never looked back. There, I did. I survived. I've got a long way to go before I'm clear of the wildfire, but I'm ahead of it for the moment. All I have to do is start my sonic speed boost and I'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> I'd better be sure to ditch the robe and mask. I don't want to be mistaken for a cultist once I'm home free. I lower my mask solemnly as I watch my childhood home burn to the ground, then I dramatically turn my shoulder and walk away as it blazes behind me. <laughs> then the credits start rolling over the flames next to me as I continue walking towards the camera. <laughs> and I don't look back. I've already looked at it, but now I'm no longer looking back, which means that I'm dramatic. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> and then it zooms into my face, and I just look at it, and I say, seen it. Seen it. And then it cuts to black and says, date to die for. The house crackles loudly as the wood foundation splinters. Large sections of the house begin coming down in cinders, burying any cultists unfortunate enough to have been trapped underneath. This should be the end of the disappearances. Hopefully, Nani? Uh oh. Wait, what's that? That must be Bucky. That might be Buck. Yeah, it might be Buck. Sit tight. Another episode of Sucker for Love at Date to Die For is coming up. Sorry, I ended up not giving the book back after all. Guess I've got to get involved now. The book is mine. Next time on Sucker for Love, House of Wax. I can't wait. <laughs> House of Wax. This is a good season so far. <laughs> Yay. Yay. We got Trendy Nanny F Girl. Nanny has left the thousand. <laughs> trendy F Girl confirmed, everybody. Trendy F Girl. <laughs> True end. True end. Boop. Boop. Beep. Beep. <laughs> bah. Bah. I did it. I got the true end. And now we have to we fight it. Big Lady. Oh. Big Lady. <laughs> the endings for chapter one and two to unlock. Okay, so you, you have to get the true endings to complete this game. Oh. I like how 999. <laughs> one, two, 999. The grand finale. Uh, we're skipping just a few. Well, let's just go right into episode two, everybody. Chapter two, House of Wax. <laughs> House of Wax. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Did something scary happen? Whoa! <laughs> In the book you're reading, did something scary happen? You're as pale as a sheet. Oh, uh, no. No, I must have nodded off and had a bad dream. What was it about? Goat ladies. Oh, that sounds like a good one, she says. <laughs> oh, I love the kind with goat ladies. I can't remember, but I saw something or someone, and then I passed out. Uh, woke up, I guess. Hmm. Either you were awake and passed out, and now you're dreaming, or you were dreaming and got scared awake. Either way, you're on the other side from whatever you saw, for now. Are you just Roxanne, but in human form? <laughs> Maybe. Whatever I saw. Oh, wow, book lady. That's deep, book lady. Damn, book lady. You're deep. <laughs> These dreams will be the end of me. I better find my siblings soon. A year ago, all nine of my siblings vanished into the woods during a string of disappearances. They were never found. Nine? Earlier, yeah, their parents got busy. <laughs> Earlier today, I received this picture in the mail. It's a photograph. Every time I look, it makes me laugh. Of all of them together, I hate, I fucking hate that song. <laughs> it's a photograph of all of them together at my grandmother's house here in Sacramento. It was taken recently. 
This photo is the whole reason I came here, but now it's making me uneasy, like there's something I'm forgetting about. I can't wait for this to just be a cat picture or something. <laughs> if yeah. you're having trouble finding a book you're interested in, may I make a suggestion? I think I need to get going before it gets too dark. I'll quickly hear her out and let her down gently. Sure. I believe you'll find this one to your liking. Oh. Mm. We're just getting handed this right now, all this time, huh? This is just Roxanne. <laughs> it's definitely just Roxanne. <laughs> hmm? Smells funny. This book is... <gasps> <gasps> Roxanne! Her name was Roxanne. Where is she? A flood of fragmented memories is rushing back to me. I'm back at the beginning of the nightmare? Am I just starting all over? Mm. No, think me, think. Some of my memories don't line up. I remember my parents going missing, but my parents are alive and well. I just talked to them the other day. Something has changed. Mm. Well, what's happening to me? Having trouble remembering what you dreamed about? That's perfectly normal. Humans forget 95% of their own dreams. I imagine they forget even more about the dreams of others. Don't you think? I hate that we just forget our dreams. That's stupid. Our brains are stupid. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'll I'll be having a dream that I think is interesting and cool, and then I'll just like hear my cat jump on something and look up and be like, what, what, uh, whatever. And then I'll lay back down and be like, damn it, I lost all of it. Yeah, it's just gone. Like It's all gone out of my brain. It's just like a sieve just drained away. <laughs> like 10 seconds after, your, after you wake up. Boo. Who, who are you? Shh. It's all right. You are safe here. I am Moo. Oh. I made the oh. book you're holding. You're not Roxanne. Yeah. By the way, both Moo and Roxanne were re mentioned in the first game time. Was Roxanne mentioned? Like, as an offhand, like, my aunt Roxanne or something from one of the characters said it. I remember oh. hearing that at one point while editing, and I was looking at, like, the original Steam listing for this game, and I was like, oh, I remember that name. I, I remember seeing that. And then Moo was the one who made the other books. Yeah, Moo made the book that we had in the first game. I guess I just made all the books. What an odd, uh, romantically <laughs> interesting bookseller. <laughs> then she's the reason this whole damned mess even exists. The Black Woods, the disappearances, all of it. You caused all of this? Ah, uh, you blame me for the misfortune befalling the Black Goat. Because I made the book to begin with. That's fair. But I merely created a means of communication between humans and gods. Am I truly to blame if someone else uses it for <laughs> evil instead? You made a bunch of evil books and then gave them to people, I assume. <laughs> How is she just talking about gods like it's nothing? Are, are you another eldritch god or an immortal human? I am neither of those things, but I am a friend here to aid you. You've regained a portion of your memories surrounding the book after looking at it, yes? That should lead you where you're trying to go. Hmm. Thumbing through the book, Roxanne's face is coming back to me. If I recall correctly, I should be able to get to her through Missing Person Lane. <laughs> Thanks for giving this back to me. Don't thank me. In time, I hope you'll come to forgive me. Bat Bat? Bat Bat? Bat Bat? Bet bet. Just completely derail her moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're leaning forward because you want to give me a better angle to pat pat, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. This feels familiar. I'm getting some killer deja vu right now. I've definitely been here. Do we have to make friends with friendly M girl every single time to get the true mm, endings? I think it's going to be a different girl this time. Oh, okay. And then we just convince this group of girls and then we can have our Girl Scouts <laughs> defeat the big bad guy at the end. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> Why do you think there's a thousand uh, seasons? Every single season is us befriending a different one of the cultists. <laughs> we just convert them all into being <laughs> That might actually be a time. That's why there's a thousand episodes. You did it. You figured it out. But even still, this alley feels unfamiliar. Like it changed completely from the last time I was here. Sorry to spoil the entire game. Time just ruined the game we've everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I quickly pick a direction and break into a brisk jog, but no matter how hard I look, I can't find my turn. Backtracking, hugging the walls, nothing seems to be helping. What was my house number again? I bet it's somewhere in the photo I got in the mail. Oh, oh 
my god. Wait a minute. Same this. receipt. <laughs> it's a fake. It's a trap. Just like last time. <laughs> but nobody's there. Mm. Huh? But isn't this where I was supposed to run into that girl from last time? Instead, I'm all alone. Something is wrong. Things are repeating themselves, but they're different. I won't be able to rely on what fragmented memories I have. Even stranger, I managed to arrive to my old house, undetected this time. I better rush to my room and summon Roxanne. The Black Woods are back. Roxanne. That's purple in here this time. There's the butterfly. Butterfly caught in the web, strange. Same as last time. I wish they, I guess they kind of wiped their boots, but I mean, they did it on the wood floor instead of the welcome mat behind me. That's kind of annoying. Yeah, not great. Oh, oh no! I've been grabbed! <laughs> Cultist D. Oh, baby. Oh, there are a lot of them this time. What are they all doing here? How'd they know I was coming? My head. You? That's it? <laughs> I was so worried about you. Big lady. Oh, big lady. <laughs> <laughs> huh. I was wondering what raw strength you must have had in order to scare Buck into calling me and for this. And I was looking forward to tearing you apart. <laughs> but you're just one scrawny mortal girl. I was promised you'd be an actual threat. This is overkill. Just do it yourselves. I'm gonna be the final boss at the end of this dungeon. You guys kill her. <laughs> I hear the sound of steel unsheathing and heavy chains dragging towards me, but the sounds halt a short distance from me. They're hesitating? Is it me, or do they look afraid? I also like how this is just the same two characters we saw earlier. This guy's also lower <laughs> res, and she's still got her gribbly fingers. <laughs> They're low res because they just upsized them. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? What are you idiots waiting for? Buck says that in a previous reality, she somehow managed to kill all of us. Hello? Yeah, that was a good reality, I say, playing into it. <laughs> yeah. That was really fun when I did that. I look forward to doing it again. Come at me. And it was really easy. The cultists are muttering uneasily amongst each other. You couldn't win a fight a thousand against one in your own base? Dorks. It's my house, too, so I get the home field advantage. Then she grabs them like clonks her heads together. <laughs> Three stooges. <laughs> Somewhere behind that mask, their cruel gaze is sizing me up. As if. I don't see it. Come on, think. I need to break their confidence. Buck was telling the truth. I did beat you all and then burn the Black Woods down with everyone in it. Notice how Buck, the one who knows the most about me, isn't here? Actually, I'm right over here. Uh, notice how he's behind all of you to so keep distance. <laughs> he just like raises his hand above the crowd. You <laughs> didn't want to risk it? She's that dangerous? <gasps> they look visibly rattled. None of them want to risk their precious long lived bodies. Now for the biggest bluff. Don't think I'm a threat. Don't think I can wipe the floor with you and your friends even now. Go on. <laughs> underestimate me. Make the same mistake Buck did before he lost. <gasps> All right. I've heard enough. I'm interested. All right, now we're going to one-on-one punch each other until one of us starts crying. Let's go. <laughs> I got him. Every single one of them dropped their weapons except for the big dangerous one. Yeah, she still has her guns out. Yeah, uh, both, both of them. Look at them. <laughs> However, you're wounded, unarmed, and outnumbered. I'm not about to live the next thousand years ashamed of myself for killing you now. Go lick your wounds. If we get wounded. Uh, I'm, I kind of stubbed my toe when we were leaving the bookshop earlier. <laughs> Billy, now is the time for playing around. Billy Jean, eh? <laughs> Shut up. Form a perimeter outside. No one gets out. No one comes in. Keep watch in case any other of them, any more of them show up. Um, patrol. We got watch. Rotate. Warn me next time if you see a protagonist coming. Buck isn't gonna be happy about this. 
Well, Buck's not gonna like this one at all, Chief. <laughs> Buck will have his book. And her hair. Buck will be. The cultists begrudgingly depart, retrieving their makeshift weapons from the ground. None so much as look at me as they pass. After all that talk, what you said about beating the Thousand had better be true. Because if you can't prove your strength to me, <laughs> I'll destroy you. Oh, baby, my character says with a blush. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did they break your arm? Did they? My arm. Whoa! Whoa! When did that happen? Uh, well, I can't <laughs> feel it, but it is kind of gruesome. <laughs> My arm, it really is broken. How am I going to make it out of this now? I won't let an unfair advantage hollow my victory. When did that happen? I really, I stubbed my toe on the way to the bookstore. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> I hit it and just sent that jolt of pain, but it like centralized my arm and snapped the bone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I... whatever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Did they just break their own arm? <laughs> My expectations for you are high. I believe you really did beat the thousand once. But that ends here. Uh, 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 you have advantage, I'm not armed. Yeah, let me go get my bass guitar. Yeah, I need to duel you so we can do like a samurai duel. <laughs> that V guitar as it was meant, as it was written in the ancient texts. <laughs> you have one ritual. Then? I'm coming. <laughs> and don't think I'll stop at a couple broken ribs when I find you. One ritual. Hmm. Well, it's definitely not the healing one that'll just get me killed. Mm, yeah, I mean, you'd have two arms, but... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they could kick my ass with one arm. <laughs> yeah. I bought myself some time, but what did I just get myself into? I'm going to hang out here, come back when you do your ritual. My arm's fine, by the way. <laughs> You're doing that with your broken arm, yeah. Also, I need a mask to do the healing spell anyway, and I don't have one of those. Oh, yeah. You can talk to her. Go. I won't be denied my glory. Ah, uh, okay. Man, you just, like... Every time she stops and leans against the wall, she, like, cracks her bones back in place. <laughs> Look at how cool she is. <laughs> She's so strong. Oh, Bucket of Blood's playing tonight, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Big lady, did you hear Bucket of Blood's play? <laughs> you can be my plus one. We go together. <laughs> oh, this night's turned out really cool. Uh. Hmm. I wonder how different the layout is. Mm, I don't know if the layout's going to be any different, but I assume we'll have to go to different rooms. Mm. Oh, it's raining this time. Oh, I hate the rain. It melts my skin. <laughs> oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it's not the best. Good thing you're in here instead. Yeah, let's not go outside. Rocks. This looks the same. Uh, no, don't forget to get the spray, spray bottle. Oh, the most important thing. Also, it won't let me unless I pick it up. <laughs> Uh, douse any candles, ensure there's an idol, blah, 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 blah. No candles. This is the only ritual we can do. Well, it says perform, and it seems to be the only oh, ritual yeah, we I can guess. do. Yeah. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Oops. Well, then this is the only ritual I get to do. Mm-hmm. Well, why doesn't Roxanne show up and just, like, flicker in the nose she falls over? Wow. <laughs> Oh, what? oh my god. Oh, there you go, you got your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one step closer <laughs> to a smooch, everybody. Yeah. Stardust. Oh my, senpai. Me. It really is you. I can't believe this. It's me, <laughs> Roxanne, the black goat of the woods. Don't worry, I remember. Really? You do? Kinda. Um, mostly. When I saw the book, I remembered everything. Well, 5% of everything. Most important parts. <laughs> I remember her all right, but what happened to the standoffishness? I don't have any memories of being so close. She wasn't really very standoffish at all, ever. Well, the first like, time we met her, she was like, I'm a fool, I'll destroy you, or whatever. <laughs> a 
literally the first, only the first thing she ever said to us. Well, then afterwards, we were like, I don't want kids. She's like, well, then I'll destroy you. And she brought out her, the darkness tentacles again. Remember that? I guess she did do that. Stardust. Oh. Stardust. <laughs> it's been so, so long. Oh, my God. Oh. What button moves the thing so I can get a oh, whatever? <laughs> oh, my God. Your fur is so fluffy soft. <laughs> so long. It feels like I just saw you. This is so different. She's completely lost her composure over me. For me, it's as if hundreds of years have passed. Not that you would have noticed your reality beginning anew. Only cosmic entities still exist in the space between dreams. It's fun. Hmm. Wait. Us meeting. That happened in a completely different reality? This is <laughs> terrible. I know it's a lot to take in, but... You mean I wore the same thing to two dates in a row? <laughs> That's not the part I thought you'd get stuck on. You're completely unfazed by the fact you haven't existed for a millennia. I mean, they didn't exist the first time for a millennia either, so... I mean, reality got reset like six times in the first game. This just kind of <laughs> happens. Kinda. What were you doing all that time? Trying to avoid falling asleep again to keep from creating new nightmares. But now that it has begun again, I'm so, so happy that I'm dreaming about you too. Just kind of happened to be the same exact, exact dream again, I guess. She's brushing my hair with her hand, like a mother coddling their child. It's nice, but I just realized something terrible. What has Buck been doing all this time? Floating in the space between dreams, strategizing against you, likely. After all, he had nothing to do but reflect on how you beat him. He brought out the big lady this time. Whoa, I'm gonna find the biggest lady, he said, for like a few hundred years. <laughs> biggest ladies bend her in half like a folding chair. <laughs> Shoot, I'm going up against someone that knows all of my moves, studied all my moves from a parallel reality. That explains how I got ambushed. He knew I was coming. I should hurry. I want to hold on to this moment for a bit longer. We might actually have the time for it. Only one cultist is after us this time. Really? Who? I think the other said his name was Billy. Billy? Oh, Stardust. <laughs> Billy G. <laughs> also, you said his, I think, which yeah. it's very clearly a girl. Yeah. Billy Jean. Oh. <laughs> what is that, babe? Very bad. Oh, this is a nightmare. I couldn't bear to watch if Billy catches you. Wake up, wake up, wake up. But if you wake up, I'd disappear and I'd no longer exist. You really want that? <laughs> but, but you won't suffer because Billy got to you. But then I won't exist either. <laughs> he didn't seem so bad. She. And the fact that you met her and lived is a miracle. Also, you're kind of stupid. It's very clearly a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. She seemed different from the others. The rest of the thousand act like mindless zombies, but it's like she was fully conscious. The thing Billy is lusting for is blood. A challenge. Combat. A worthy rival. <laughs> well, I suppose it's possible that even with her bloodthirst multiplied a thousand times over, that she still has a desire stronger <laughs> than that. She was one of your tormentors, right? Do you have any guesses about what that desire might be? She has a very odd honor code that she follows to the letter. Her strict adherence to that code is probably the only thing strong enough to overpower my influence. From what I gather, it's essentially the law of the jungle. Big fish eats small fish. Might makes right. Might makes right? But that can't be right. She takes orders from Buck. There's no way Buck is mightier than Billy. Have you seen her? She has a baseball bat. She probably considers Buck stronger than her because he's immortal. That's a fair assessment. I mean, does immor being immortal really matter when she can fold him into a pretzel, though? Hmm, so even though Buck is physically weaker than Billy, she still listens to him anyways because she's essentially undefeatable? Or because he's essentially undefeatable? I could use that to save all three of us. All three of us? Ugh, stardust. I upgraded her to Trendy F-Girl, remember? It worked. 
<laughs> she's gonna she's gonna be Billy Fiend by the end of this. You got one of the thousand to have a change of heart and join your side. But Billy isn't like the rest of them. The only way to get through to her at all is to speak her language. Well, I'll just start pumping weights. <laughs> yeah. I'll make sure that I make a bunch of noise before I do it so I can force someone to pay attention to me so that they can see me do it. <laughs> <laughs> And then I pick it up and then I drop it. And then nobody's impressed. Are you watching me, Roxanne? See how cool I am? Look at how strong and buff I am. Wow, I can't believe it. You lifted a weight at a gym, says somebody from across the way. That's amazing. Who would have guessed? I'm counting on that. I just have to think of something. I suppose I could beat her by finishing the rituals while she's hunting me, but I doubt that she'll just let me go if I succeed. The house is surrounded. Hmm. There must be some other way to convince her I'm stronger than her. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, next, we have to do Epicurean Feast since we've summoned Roxanne, but that means we need to go downstairs where Billy Mean is hanging out, and we're going to get beaten up really hard time. It's it's fine. She's go it's going to be fine. Well, she said we can only do one ritual and we use that to summon Roxanne, so now she's probably hostile. We just won't tell her that we summoned Roxanne yet. We're like halfway <laughs> through our cycle of rituals and we're like, ah, oh, we just haven't done it yet. We're still thinking about which one we want. Well, I believe you. I have no reason not to trust you, she says. <laughs> You know, since she has a broken arm, I wonder if something, like, funny happens if you heal her. <laughs> We're gonna try this. <laughs> oh no, I don't have a mask, I can't do it. Oh yeah. Remember, I you see. need a mask, you need a goat mask to be able to cast that spell, so we can't do it. You have a heart on you? My heart, I guess. I... I don't remember that before. <laughs> Wasn't there a spell that required a beating heart? Uh, is up to go? What? Well, I can't, it's one of the ones we don't have yeah. yet. But I'm pretty sure one of those spells required a beating human heart. And didn't we pick one up or something? Did we? Last time? I don't know. It's been like five years since we played that game, kid. I'm working <laughs> on internet time. That's like old school. That's like old news. You need to grow up time. That's in the past. <laughs> you can't just stay up watching Pokemon in the morning hoping that your parents won't wake you up to go to school. Maybe they'll forget this time, you say. Maybe if they forget, it's their fault and I get to stay <laughs> home all day. But I wanna... I'm not sure if I'm in danger. I love watching Pokemon in the morning. Before I used to do that as a kid. I used to pretend to be asleep and hope that my parents would forget and just let me stay asleep. Because <laughs> if they accidentally forgot, then it's like, well, f**k, he just gets to stay home, I guess. <laughs> they knew I was lying. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we already did this. this is... uh, we have the mystery. Yes, we do. Just to get the most important item, we have this. <laughs> just we got to double check to make sure we have that one. Uh, milk, meat. Uh, blood. Blood. I'm not sure which is making me more uneasy, the volume of blood or the fact that this feels familiar. I tear a hunk of meat from the hook. This should be what I'm looking for. I don't know why it's green. <laughs> uh, well, it's been here for a while. I don't remember being this spoiled for choice last time. All this meat, the thousand, really were really out for blood this time around. It looks the same to me. What are you talking about? It looks like the same volume of meat that was here before, yeah. It's still six. I, it was really important that I didn't count that last time, but I did it, like, twice. <laughs> Hello? We never used the spices last time, so those are probably going to come mm. up this time. Or this bleach. I think the oil was something that we didn't have to get because... Oh, we would have needed to use that to burn the heart, probably, because... Yeah, but... Okay, but I we see. Had a... I see. But we had a trendy F girl help us. She gave yeah. us her hairspray. This must be the milk I need, right? Better grab this and go before Billy hears me. <laughs> That's everything. Roxanne, here I come, oh baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sound? It's her clanging the bat against the floor and the walls, which should make more of a thumpy sound because it's a Tommy house, but you know, whatever. No, it... She's just doing it really hard. Uh, uh, ah! Ah! No! <laughs> well. <laughs> well, I guess she saw me. She's a little sharper than the other cultists were. They just kind of immediately forgot. I guess. I'm not sure what you're supposed to do there. Just... Uh, probably just close it and wait. It's probably just close it and wait until she walks away. Because I don't have anywhere else to go, so that's the only way to do it. 
I get it. The game's trying to tutorialize this time. We go here. <laughs> we open the door. We see her. Or don't. No. This time, I guess. <laughs> her patrol path is randomized. Oh, no. That's bad. Because now I don't know yeah. if I'm safe. This game, it turns out, is a spooky time. <laughs> She's going to be waiting for you uh, <laughs> on the upstairs landing. She's going to be just sitting on the stairs. That's the most effective way to kill me, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, a kitty. Hello, little darling. Uh, oh, hi, Sailor Moon Cat. <laughs> Hello, Sailor Moon Cat. Can you speak? <laughs> it's, she's going to be like, run. Uh, Billy's a ghost and a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing must be terrified with all the commotion co going on. Come on, let's get you somewhere safe. I hope that Roxanne doesn't. Oh, appears to not have a face. Yeah, <laughs> its face is missing. What's wrong? Never seen a Russian blue before. Oh, it talks. This is Nyan Lothtep. <laughs> oh, is it? That's the same voice. And she was a cat. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. know Nyan <laughs> Told you. Yeah, there she is. She's not blue this time. Well, she's pretending to be a black cat this time, kid. Yeah, I suppose. Roxanne only gave me lightheadedness, but this, my sanity is slipping through my fingers like grains of sand. Coarse and rough, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> Pardon my intrusion, but when my niece didn't awaken, wailing and clutching at her sheets, I knew something was amiss. I had to see the source of her pleasant dreams for myself. Oh, baby, Roxanne, you got some competition. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard much about you. The way my niece spoke of you. Why, you think she'd learned nothing from her eternal torment at human hands. Is it really eternal? I thought it, I mean, wouldn't it's, for her it'd be like a weekend because you live forever? It's just like only when she's asleep, basically, it sounds like. Oh. Um, your niece, Roxanne, you're her aunt? How the hell does this furry family tree go? <laughs> Many call me Ant. Others call me the Crying Chaos, the Haunter of the Dark, the Mind Eater, the Unknown that pushes back. The Bloody Tongue, the Black Pharaoh, the Faceless One, etc., <laughs> etc. Et but you can call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. Right? Is that going to be an next line? I've earned many ominous titles and aliases that I don't much care for. But you may call me by one I do quite like. Auntie Nyan Nyan. Called it. <laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan. Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> I'm being driven over the edge of my very sanity thrashing towards its watery doom amidst the unimaginably thalassophic... The, 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 thalassophobic void. I didn't think what? I'd have to say the word thalassophobic today. What is thalassophobic about it? She's a cat. I don't know, maybe she's good at swimming. You ever see a tiger in water? They swim really good, actually. <laughs> You'll be out in the ocean, and then suddenly a, cat, a tiger will just pull you off the boat. People are like, what the f***? How'd that happen? <laughs> That's scary, uh, though. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there and help them. Uh, uh, the sea tigers. <laughs> the sea tigers. Watch out, kids. You don't want to buy that packet and put in your little water thingy. Like the, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to buy sea tigers. Those are dangerous. Sea monkeys are still okay. They should stick with those. Oh, having trouble there. Where's that indomitable human spirit that I've heard so much about? Well, maybe I'm domitable. You ever think about that, eyebrow waggle? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Pathetic. Uh, if Roxanne could see the state of you now, she'd know she was wrong about humans. No, we're in love. I'm her dream girl. <laughs> Foolishly believing that humans and gods could be anything more than livestock and butcher. That admirable, worthwhile traits like kindness and perseverance are just in human nature. Uh, so, 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 like, what happened to the the guy who you were in a relationship with, who was a human? That. Well, where they were really in a relationship, he was just haunting their dream. He was haunting their wet dreams. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's true. <laughs> He's probably like every time she takes a nap, she's like, "Oh God, not again!" Oh. <laughs> I know how uh, Roxanne feels. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, because when she woke up from that nightmare, you could hear D. Just like in the distance, <laughs> calling her name, because he's ascended oh, to becoming a, like Lusgar or something. 
<laughs> That's right. Oh, also, since D ascended as a, a lust boy, you'd think that he'd be hanging out with Roxanne a lot, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe buddies. I guess he's no longer a human anymore, maybe? Oh, that doesn't change. I'm pretty sure Roxanne doesn't care. <laughs> that silly. What if he is Roxanne? <laughs> so old and yet still oh my God. so naive. <laughs> Alas, I was once her age, and she has yet to be my age. Her torment will help her grow up. She's only like five bazillion. Still a child now in Lothtep says, rolling our singular <laughs> eye. Just a tiny baby goat. How? How dare you? She's suffering. I've seen how much damage this has done to her, and I'm not even halfway through healing any of it. Is this some kind of joke to you? This is gravely serious. <laughs> That's why it's so damn funny. I mean, I can't lie. It is pretty funny, the situation we're in. <laughs> it's very silly, this thing that's been happening. <laughs> She's got me there. It is pretty silly. Come now. <laughs> the very same humans that she lent her power to use it for the sole purpose of inflicting as much suffering upon her as possible. Classic comedy. Ah, the cosmos is always laughing and never smiling. But then you had to come along and muddle the lesson I'm trying to teach her. You will pay dearly for that. You were trying to teach her a lesson? Whatever, Nyarlathotep's based off of Nyarlathotep. Whatever, he's just a... He just kind of <laughs> fucked around and amuses himself. I guess. <laughs> like, he's just an ass... <laughs> <laughs> if she's going to say we pay for dearly for it, she's going to tackle us and start doing bunny kicks. Oh, bunny kicks. Not the bunny kicks. Oh, no. Aw, not oh, the no. bunny kicks. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> did, 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 did you come here to, 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 to kill you? You're not immortal, so death means nothing to you. You aren't around to see it, and in the next reality, you won't even know it happened. All my creativity would go to waste. Besides, I never feel so threatened by a human to step in first. Wow, <laughs> hitting you with that hard M, are you? <laughs> so I guess they have more of a hard you, you know? <laughs> human. Human. I'm here for, oh, what is the human expression of victory lap? Wait, isn't it because of you that she's stuck here? Is that what this whole conversation was and I just wasn't paying attention? I, I guess she's the one who made the cultists uh, be like this, I guess, maybe? I visited them in a dream and told them, hey, check this shit out and showed them a book with Roxanne <laughs> and they were like, I need to get in on this. <laughs> I'm here to watch you die when the thousand takes back the book and Roxanne gets what she deserves for consorting with humans. The thousand. But I'm gonna actually just befriend all of them, every single one. What are you gonna do then? Hypocrite, you can sort with a human every other night. <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> I won't let you say something so awful about your own family in front of me like it's nothing, ellipses, exclamation point. You won't let me? No, I say, just slapping <laughs> duct tape on her face, stop. <laughs> oh, she's got fur, that's gonna hurt really bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> I like that the music always stops when we do that. <laughs> she's a cat, so she's especially weak to spray bottles. This yes, isn't like arches her back and jumps out the window. <laughs> you must have completely lost your mind, schoolgirl. I'd revert back to my suppressed form to spare your sanity, but that rebellious glint in your eye is really pissing me off. You see this, Mom? I'm etching a permanent tally, counting the number of times that you've been made humble at the bloody hands of the thousand. This one's a given. Well, that's only happened twice so far. <laughs> but we won last time. We got the true ending, the first try. <laughs> well, she doesn't care. She remembers the first time, I bet, so she's still going to keep a tally. I guess we did just get killed by uh, Billy a second ago. Yeah, Billy Mean kicked our ass. <laughs> I wonder if you need to beat the whole game without dying once to get the true ending time. Oh my god. Mm. That'll be tricky and also take me like 15 minutes once I know what I'm doing. <laughs> that seems like it'd be a bit annoying. This will help you keep perspective. The next time that you think there is any hope, any hope at all, take a good look. 
your memories of its significance will come pouring back. Enjoy resting your head on Roxanne's shoulders while you can. Soon, it won't be resting on yours. Oh my god. <laughs> Oof, bamf. I haven't died three times. She just is like a ninja man. <laughs> yeah, she left like a little log, like a stump behind. And if I turn around, she's like scurrying down the hallway. But like on all on fours, all, like a cat. On all fours, yeah. <laughs> when did we die three times? I'm pretty sure we only I died twice. We only died. Unless it counts just the fact that I finished episode one as being a quote unquote death because reality ended. Maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Bathroom. When did we die in the, of the, the, uh, I thought we only died twice, uh, oh. then. Oh, what are you talking about? Uh, to Billy just now, when did we do it otherwise? When we were first introduced to the cultists in the rooms, I opened the door too quickly and died. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Yeah, get with it, kid, learn the lore. <laughs> Roxanne, I'm back. Pat, pat, boop. Beep. <laughs> ah, that smells wonderful. You're such a good follower of mine. But is it ready? It may not be hot enough. <laughs> 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 oh, such decadent, indulgent food can be so messy, too. If only we had something to eat off of. No. <laughs> 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 Always ready spray for bottle is the best inclusion of, to this game. I'm enjoying it every time it shows up. <laughs> I shovel a small handful of morsels into my mouth. Well, I wasn't prepared to meet your aunt. My aunt? Auntie Nyan Nyan? <laughs> you saw her? <laughs> what is she doing here? She laid one finger on you, so help me! Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> No, no, I'm fine, really. She just said she was here to spectate. Spectate? What a sick old witch. I'll give her something Whoa. to spectate. <laughs> Claws are out. Well, who fingers are out? Who <laughs> fingers, yes. You know what do you really make her angry? What if we made out? No. I was being serious. <laughs> it really would have gotten to Auntie Nyan Nyan. <laughs> she seems nice. Does she? I to say you hate my family. She seems... Nice. And after? After I get to know them, it'll be too late to hate them. I'd love to hear about your family, Roxanne. <laughs> if I ever have a dream where we aren't in so much peril, I'd be happy to tell you all about them. It's a date to die for. Yeah, a title drop. I look forward to numerous more tallies as I work towards that. <laughs> You just die so many times it fills up the whole base bar of that window. Spritz, 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 spritz. Oh. Oh, we gotta go all the way to the basement. I have to perform Wild Evolution, which sounds new. That's not one we got last this time. This is different. Okay, no! I found a shortcut to uprooting. There's only three rituals that need to be done first. Should be faster and easier. What, did you not? I I guess I just the pages were stuck together. <laughs> These fucking freaky ass cultists. You know what I mean? I guess. Uh, oh, what's her name? The book lady added a new page while we were gone. They just like glued it in between the existing pages. They're like, well, it's like I put the bought out their soldering gun, which is like on the book. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Drink directly from a healthy. Beating heart of the woods, like the one on my chest. Chant while near your partner. <laughs> uh. Wait, I, I have to do this. Yeah. Well, I only have the one heart. Uh, it's the heart's in the basement, I think. Oh. Uh, healthy beating heart. Interesting. Well, I have to do it in front. I have to drink from it and come back. That's it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I know what I'm doing. Whatever. Which means we we need to avoid Billy. Uh, some more. Billy Mean. Oh no. This is the oh, wrong way. No. Off to a great start. <laughs> okay, so if I'm lucky, she won't be here and I could just quickly round this corner and be Dunsies. Hello? Nothing. Nothing, me. Clear. This house is spotless clean. <laughs> it's not 
either of those at all. This house is clean. <laughs> she should be down here just like, just bouncing the bat <laughs> on her other hand. Just... <laughs> She's waiting by the hearts, tapping her feet. That's the one we want. Well, I'm just looking at the other ones. Calm, calm down. I got it. <laughs> I know what I'm knowing. How many rituals have you performed today? Zero. That's what I thought. <laughs> As soon as I touch the heart, a large quantity of blood spills out onto the floor in front of me. I cup a handful and drink it down. Gross. It's strange. Well, I mean, I was drinking that blood wine from before. <laughs> yeah, I guess. It's strange, but after losing so much blood, the heart appears to have grown slightly larger. Mm. I feel a little funny, but it looks like I did it right. Neat. Well, back we go. Back we go. Let's not get baseball bat to do the Fajo. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Uh oh. I don't know where oh, what I'm listening for. Where are they? Yeah, I'm not sure. Bangs oh. nearby. That's not good. Like here or there? I guess I'm probably supposed to go the long way around. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's like a you just wait in one spot until she goes away thing. I guess I'll just stand here and wait and see what's going on. We're trying to learn the mechanics, I guess. Yeah. Oh, do I want to go in tatami room or in tatami room? Hmm, you want to go in tatami room. Oh, obviously. Now that you said that, it's like, clearly that's the strategic <laughs> choice. Whatever, I'm going. I'm like, sit here all day. You think I'm some kind of coward? I'm not uh, bloodthirsty growling. Oh, there oh, she is. Well, there she is. Okay, so I know she's there. So let's rush on over this way, kid. But wouldn't that mean that she's in this hallway? Well, I'm not even in the hallway uh, yet. It's probably in here. Hello? Nope. Are you scared? Are you as scared of me as I am of you? <laughs> Later, dork. <laughs> See ya. Nerd. Wasn't even worried. Wasn't even worried. <laughs> She's inside the bedroom already. Oh, she's inside me, and then my chest explodes. She's just there. <laughs> oh, that was very sneaky, B Billy Mean. You did it. How did you even get in there? Whoops. Face the, is the statue. Statue? Oh, the statue. Oh. Me. Oh, my. This I like. Oh, baby. Seeing you in my dark image. <laughs> Warms me to my roots. Now we are the goat lady. Oh, I'm not. Look at my hands. It's normal. I don't see any <laughs> fingernails. You just have normal people hands. Hmm. Dark image. I don't feel any different. What changed? So let me check my reflection. Stardust, I wouldn't look in the mirror so soon. The shock might be a lot to take in. It should just be that we have, like, goat ears and a nose now. <laughs> it's that's literally it. just... That's it. That's the only difference. <laughs> it's like, oh, and then they start booping their own nose. Boop. Beep. <laughs> okay, but now I basically got a look. Phew. Deep breaths. Be a strong... It's just horns. Oh, it's, it's just horns. Whatever. I could get used to that in real life. That top is a uh, very... Um transparent. Shut up, time. Stop looking. <laughs> Why are you looking, you perv? <laughs> I have goat horns. This isn't so bad. All in all, I think I actually look kind of cute with these. I wonder if they're real. Can I touch them? They <laughs> just fall off. Oh, okay, there we go. There's the full goat. Uh, whoops, it's fine. Maybe we could turn off reality and go back to fantasy. That'd be nice. <laughs> I... <clears throat> What was that? Was that me? And was that my voice just now? I sounded hoarse, like I've been screaming at the top of my lungs for hours. Hmm. But more importantly, what I saw just now... What's happened to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? <laughs> ah. What was that, a tin can? <laughs> a tin can! <laughs> <laughs> Munch, crunch. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Here, take this. It'll calm you down. <laughs> Something is very wrong with me. Mm, I'm not hungry anymore, though. That was kind of bugging me. Can go Goats can't actually digest metal, right? They could just chew no. it. And swallow it. <laughs> it's like you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't let our animals eat metal. Mm. That's a bad idea. A hot take. Don't feed your goats metal. 
They chew on the labels because of the glue? No, I don't oh. know that. I thought they just ate literally anything that you threw at them because they're dumb animals. <laughs> Face toward a device capable of producing sound from a radio signal. Ensure that it is on. Chant three times. The, that this, but like the top part of the text <laughs> is cut off because you can literally see where they copy paste oh, in the yeah. thing. Or not copy. This is the button here, and you can see like the edges of it. That's kind of funny. This ritual will amplify all animalistic behavior of those within earshot, including uh, estrus and aggression. Uh oh. Mm. Don't worry about it. Just go straight to Roxanne as soon as possible after chanting. Trust me. Haha. -ha. We probably don't want to increase aggression in Billy. Or Estrus. <laughs> or Estrus. Okay, let's go watch TV, kids. Oh boy, I hope Pokemon is on. Metal bat <laughs> banging distantly. This is the wrong way again. Uh -oh. No, stay back. I'm just trying to watch Pokemon and hope that my parents don't realize <laughs> I'm faking being asleep. Hello? It said distantly, so she's probably not in the adju uh, adjacent rooms. Well, then I'm just going to be heckin' brave about it, time. And if you're wrong, then it's on you. <laughs> oh, I can't. Ooh, what the hell? Uh, that wasn't there before, There were, like, candles and stuff here. No, it wasn't. It was just empty before. Oh, so we can play the music again. <laughs> Chant three times. Ooh, wah, Oh, she's oh. What are yep. they supposed to do? I don't know. Like run away? And come back? Maybe. What the f shut up, Neon Lothat's head, you're lying. Uh, you can Oh, can I look at it? Is that what you're gonna say? Yeah, you can look at it. I well, was uh, shut up, Billy Jean. You, but... These are the tally marks that Auntie Nyan Nyan have been leaving for me. She's been adding one for every time I've lost. Doesn't really prove much as is. Well, I mean, there's no mention of the fact that there's like, what, 40, 50 extra ones on there? <laughs> She's clearly cheating, so why should we pay any attention to it? Well, whatever. We've been doing this a bunch of times. It's fine. Hello? Oh, oh. Roxanne! The sticky ass heckin' door won't get off my hand. <laughs> my Roxanne. Be nice to me, Billy. Damn. <laughs> yeah, come on. Okay. I don't. I, I don't. What do we do? Uh, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> what do we do? I have no idea what's going on. Like, it gave me no time. I guess she's good at what she's trying to do. She's kicking my ass pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong is the problem. Yum yum. Here I am either beating it or at least figuring it out and understanding it. <laughs> yeah. Unless I'm supposed to just like beeline it and just run and do it like really fast. Maybe. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. No. Uh, damn it. Uh, no, she's going to get me. She's about to kill me. No, I'm escaping mm. you. Shut up, Billie Jean. <laughs> I guess I was supposed to just do it fast. I guess. Later, dork. <laughs> oh, the sexy sax is coming in. Why are there so many? These are the time marks. Oh my god, wow. Look at all the times I kicked the bucket. <laughs> Jeez, I had no idea I've died so many times and yet I'm still here. Wait, that's it! If I show this to Billy, I might make it out of this. Why? I should wait here. Why would showing this to Billy let you make it out of this? Look, killing me doesn't matter because you've already done it a gazillion times. Why bother? I, I guess that's the case. I just accidentally, by looking at that, at that again, found the answer, kids. <laughs> I found the answer, the secret trick, the true ending, I guess, maybe. <laughs> we did it. You already, like, got away from her this time. <laughs> no, I did it. I got it. Well, it's probably, like, the, your, your character maybe doesn't say that unless you've done this ritual and like on your way back you see those because you come back through here or whatever maybe it gives you oh, two yeah, chances cause... to notice it because when you leave you might see it and when you come back you might see it uh and uh the reason she respects buck is because he can't she, he can't be killed so if off. she sees that killing you doesn't matter i was clear what would happen if i caught you there is no dishonor in killing you now Actually, I can prove I'm stronger than you right here, right now, without throwing a single punch. Take a look. 
You're bluffing. Is this some kind of a trap you set for me? Not a trap, a scoreboard. Scoreboard? I guess you have to get caught a few times for this to work then. I guess that's why it why was it's building so up so much of them. Crazy aggressive, maybe? <laughs> Is what you meant to say? Why it was so hard for a second when I didn't realize I was supposed to just run through real quick? <laughs> I guess. Uh, you broke your arm like 50 gazillion times. <laughs> a 12 foot tall cat girl in high heels from outer space carved these notches into the wall. All right. Come on. She just <laughs> she gets in. I mean, she's part of a cult that worships Roxanne and Junk, so. <laughs> I guess. Really? I haven't already lost you? That makes sense to you so far? I work for a cult that worships a four eyed goat tree from outer space. Your story really isn't outside the realm of uh, believability. Yeah, <laughs> literally what I said. <laughs> I like how the mask is just like, it's just another image over the front of her. It's kind of clipping on the bottom, actually. No, no time, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I can see it, this line right here. <laughs> I know this, I wasn't going to say anything, but there it is. <laughs> she made these notches because she wanted to discourage me. She makes a permanent tally mark on the wall each time you kill me. She left this to prove I'll only lose against you, but actually, it's the only way I could have ever proven I've won. So, I've beaten you to death countless times. That's your point. My point is that my tenacity is infinite to all those times I've lost, and you've not any, and you are not any closer to defeating me. Ha <laughs> ha <Dweeb>, loser! <laughs> you say, like, flicking her in the nose, but you hurt your hand because it's a bone mask. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> Ouch. Ah. That was a dumb idea on my part, but, I mean, considering the tally marks, it's not my first one. <clears throat> you see, right? This may be the number of times I've fallen, but also it's the number of times I've come back. Huh. You're telling the truth, aren't you? Would I lie about the space cat that's, t like, 12 <laughs> feet tall or whatever? Any of the tally marks, would I lie? In high heels? <laughs> no, baby. However, all you've proven is that we're in a stalemate. If you really believed I'd spare you because we're tied at the moment, <laughs> I'm sorry to say, you still have to die. I'm not really tied. I'm just going to come back again. <laughs> Why is your arm unbroken now? Uh, you said that, and I got really pumped about killing you again. <laughs> it just healed. <laughs> it just healed. Your personal honor code means you only listen to someone that's stronger than you, right? Damn, girl, your arms though. Yeah, big lady. <laughs> <laughs> and you listen to Buck, that must mean that he's stronger than you because he's immortal. Even if I manage to break him in two now, he could beat me the next time we met by already knowing what I was going to do. That makes him stronger than me. But he'd be worse for wear, right? He keeps the mental and physical trauma from all of your previous attempts to kill him. Yeah, he, we've established that they don't like get super healing they keep they stay injured forever so if you just like break both of his kneecaps he's gonna continue to have broken kneecaps well i think he probably comes back from it but he just feels like his knees are broken maybe is the point because it, the, the example given was if you drown it'll feel like you're drowning forever but you're not drowning currently you just feel like you're drowning i suppose yeah and i don't i come back good as new every time without even remembering how i got my head handed to me if Buck and I fought, I would eventually win because his injuries would accumulate and mine wouldn't. <laughs> that makes me stronger than Buck, which makes me stronger than you. Just zooms in, you can see the gerbil wheel running in her head. <laughs> Hold on a second, let me put these numbers together, I'm gonna crunch this. Oh. It's going really fast and there's smoke <laughs> coming out of it. <laughs> well, what does she think? I, I, I like to think she's holding this pose the entire time. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's a pretty cool pose. <laughs> now, is that a good laugh or a scary laugh? <laughs> oh, proving you're stronger than me without throwing a single punch. I see your strength. I won't come after you anymore if you spare me. She doesn't care that her arm is broken. <laughs> she just doesn't care. She yeah. just doesn't. She's just so big, strong. She doesn't care. <laughs> Spare her. She. She really does believe I'm much stronger than her. I mean, I guess eventually I'd figure out a way to kick her ass, right? Yeah. If I was given a million tries, even I, like in real life, if I was given a million tries, I could eventually beat somebody who's stronger than me, right? Or, or like just from pure luck, she'll trip or something. 
Or if you just run up the stairs after a million times running up the stairs, you know the exact <laughs> moment to just shove her where she breaks her neck on the steps or something, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I was telling the truth, but I didn't expect her to submit like this. She must take that honor code of hers seriously. It's a deal on two conditions. What's the first one? Could you maybe take off your mask? Fine. Wait, her eyes, they're beautiful. Oh, they're not purple. Oh my god. You don't have the Sacramento <laughs> stare. I forgot about Sacramento. <laughs> no, I'm not one of the thousand. I'm not even from here either. I'm just the anime character that's just looking for a good fight. I just go around looking for a good fight. <laughs> so, what's the second order? Once I finish the uprooting ritual to set Roxanne free, I want to escape alive with the book. Done. Cool. Okay. <laughs> that bad. Thanks. Later. Yeah, I'll, I'll just <laughs> beat up the entire thousand cultists that are out there and we can go. Easy. I've already done it a few times just for fun, she says. <laughs> like, you know, I get bored sometimes. <laughs> While I was waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, when when I said you could go do your one ritual, I went outside and just beat up a bunch of cultists for fun <laughs> and came back with my broken arm, by the way. Really? Easy as that? That's a huge relief. But be warned. When Buck sees me helping you, there's no way he'll let me meet you again in the next life. I'll either be dead or somewhere far, far away. If I do this, this is the only time I'll be able to help you. This reality is your only shot. Oh my god. Well, I have the power of loading a checkpoint, so that's not true. <laughs> so this is the only time I'll be able to count on Billy? I'd better make it count. All right, once I finish the last ritual, we're going. Good answer. I'll watch your room until then. Cool, now she's not only helping, but she's like guarding this place. Yeah. Oh man, are you la busy later maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> After we finish vanishing Roxanne. Psst, I'm back. We have to whisper because she's outside. She might hear us talking. She's not going to hurt us, but I just want to keep this secret. <laughs> I like to pretend like we're in a secret club, Roxanne. <laughs> Suddenly, a floral perfume like scent washes over me. Oh, stardust. Oh, my God. I was just thinking about you. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately with the spray bottle. <laughs> I just like using the spray bottle. <laughs> <sighs> It's awfully drafty in here. <laughs> Got you covered. Got you covered all. <laughs> Always in the mm, cow. The cow. <laughs> the mood. Oh. <laughs> this is a real low point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that shirt, shirt fits her. Oh, uh, well, don't think about it, time. Magic. It's fine. <laughs> it's a really big shirt. It's like too big for her, actually. Look at the sleeves. Yeah. I, I hope she's wearing this shirt the in the next couple episodes also. <laughs> this is just what she looks like from now on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that old thing. I basically only used it for pajamas. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hard tilde. <laughs> oh, I should reciprocate. Come here. Let me do your horns for you. It won't take long. Hey, your horns don't have the golden tips anymore. She, she took the caps off of them, I guess. I guess I guess she showered while I was gone. I see that you're <laughs> taking this seriously, Roxanne. <laughs> I sit down while she gently preens and decorates my new satyr-like spikes. Oh, look at you. So pretty. My sweet Bofinopad. What? what? <laughs> I feel the top of my horns. The tips have been adorned with a... Oh, she put them on mine. Yeah. Uh, the tips have been adorned with a lustrous metal. I shake my head a few times. The fit is perfect. Wow. Was that Billy? It sounded like a bat. Guess she didn't like the music. <laughs> that was fun, but I'd better get back to the rituals. Pat, pat. <laughs> pat, pat. Be careful of the horns, though. Well, I have horns now. I know how to navigate from experience. Hey, sucker for love, a date to die for. I'm Cape Lee's time. We're gonna go ahead and cast this next spell, Labyrinthine Roots, so that we can burn away the heart and solve episode two or chapter two, whatever. Step one is we have to go to the bathroom over here. Hello, Billy. Look at this <laughs> anime character. <laughs> Look at this anime. Boop. Hey, I was wondering, what exactly is your honor code? How long do you have? 
Uh, 29 minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> We're surrounded by a thousand people that won't be dead. I'll give you the short version then. I only listen to people stronger than me. For example, I don't follow any law written by somebody who benches less than 415. This doesn't make sense. What do you mean by strong? Like, physically strong? How, how do you would like, you know? Why don't you go to the woods and like just go ahead and do whatever a gorilla tells you to then? Because they're pretty strong. <laughs> Yeah, go live with the gorillas, Billy. <laughs> or do you mean like strength of character or strength of like uh, morals? Or, like, these characters never make sense to me. God, the anime's stupid. <laughs> I only listen to the strong. It's like, what do you mean by strong? Like, you mean physically strong? Because uh, that's just dumb. There will always be someone bigger than you. There's probably somebody out there who's like seven feet tall and jacked, and they can kick your ass because they're just bigger. Somebody who like writes a law but can't bench. 415 pounds can probably hire like a bunch of people who are that strong or have guns or something. Does that mean she just, I guess you just don't follow any law then, by the way. <laughs> Isn't that basically all of them though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If some dusty old fart could force me to return my shopping carts in person, why do I have to do it because of a law they wrote while wearing a dress? What? You're wearing a dress right now. No, I ripped the sleeves off. I'm really cool. <laughs> also, these are robes. Full. <laughs> robes complete with a turtleneck. <laughs> it's not illegal to not return your shopping carts. It's just kind of annoying. It's just, yeah. <laughs> really? It's not? <laughs> no, but it's kind of weird that you don't anyways. If you can't move a shopping cart from one end of the parking lot to the other, I owe you nothing. But if you don't return it, does that mean you can't move a shopping cart from one end of the parking lot, parking lot to another? She just like drops her arms, just falls to her knees. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Billie Jean. You wouldn't be the broody, I only respect strength character. <laughs> no! Get out of here, door. I guess I'm just safe, and unless I screw up and look at the woods. Yeah. Okay, so step one is we have to do this on the porch, facing away from the woods, and not look at the woods again. I did it. Ooh, almost looked by accident. <laughs> All right, Billie Jean. I'm sure these don't count as the woods. Uh, Open. Oh, I can't fit through this. There's no way. Also, this is different. <laughs> that is definitely different. Don't look at the woods. Uh oh. Um. Oh, don't look at the woods. Oh, those are the woods. Oh, the woods are over there. Those are woods. <laughs> okay, so I, it's a good thing I didn't go down and look because they moved the whole level. Scrambled everything. What the What the hell? Uh, I guess I have to go back. No. Is it, oh, oops. Um, oh, my mm. God. <laughs> okay. Oh, there it is. I just had to give myself a bit of a spin a rooney. <laughs> Just keep on trucking, it seems. Gotta hit up that old dusty trail. <laughs> the woods jump scare. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around because that's what they probably want me to do. Yeah. Or maybe it's just a really long hallway. Maybe it's a really long hallway. Whoops, there was a door. It was a good thing that this was not. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned without even thinking about it, and it turns out that this was a, not a woods window. Hey, Roxanne. What the heck was that? Uh, uh. Okay. Okay. Is it looking at I the think mirror? If I, I think it's... Oh, don't look at the mirror, I guess. Don't look at <laughs> the mirror. I don't know why, but don't do it. Kids. I am the woods now. I am the one who woods. I just looked at the woods. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't. I probably should have read the rest of this. <laughs> Do not directly view the woods in any way. Windows and doors included until the ritual is concluded. Avoid looking into any mirror. Whoops. Find your way back to your partner. Chant to hide the roots from your sight. Okay, so we did oh, it. Well, I said we... to go back to Roxanne. We did look at, at the mirror and the woods. Whatever. I figured it out. I didn't look at it long enough. Shut up, time. Unless it's not counting the second floor as looking at the woods, maybe? Shut up, time. <laughs> uh, hmm. Roxanne, I did it! That was the last ritual before I can uproot you, oh baby. Oh, that's great news. <laughs> or whatever, I guess. 
Mm, it's not <laughs> like I like you or anything. I wanted to stay with you for a while. There's a lot less shock on board than the first game in this one. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? It's nothing, but if there's any loose ends left to tie up, now would be a good time to do it. Before uprooting me, that is. The hell are you talking about? What else could it, what, what did I miss? Chase makes waste, after all. I don't know, maybe if we wanted to spend a few dozen years in here together, I don't know. And maybe befriending Billy is, like, available throughout this whole thing. Yeah, probably. She's probably hostile until you look at the thing and invite her up there. Yeah. I've already gotten Billy to join my cause. That should be everything. What? Uh, get with it, Roxanne. You're living in the past. <laughs> Hello. Now we should be fine. You can't stop the signal. Here I come. <laughs> well, uh, let's head down, Billy. Billy Mean. Billy Freed. <laughs> Billy Freed. Right. Be on guard. <laughs> Buck might be surveilling us. Just duel oh. him with your baseball bat. He did bring a shotgun last time. Just parry all the buckshot with your baseball bat. <laughs> you seem like the kind of character would be able to inexplicably do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Time we're doing it. We're doing the video game. We are. We don't have anything to burn it with this time, though, so we probably need to go get something to burn no, it with. No, time. The whole point of this ritual was allowing them to burn without an accelerant. Oh, okay. Yeah, pay attention, kid. You got to take notes. Also, how come it looks like the like light? What, look at the center of this. Mm hmm. See that? Oh, yeah, it's got a seam. Why does it have that? I don't know. It's right here, too, where the light cuts off. That might be a <laughs> box, though. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Um, blah. Chant to hide the roots. Uproot heartburn. If your relationship with Roxanne Selva here is sour, blah, 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 blah. This ritual will cause the Black Woods to burn, but be warned, you can never meaningfully leave the Black Woods. This ritual should have exposed the roots enough for the reasons the rituals are needed to burn them. Go to the heart of the woods while facing the heart, chant this. Well, let's look at the correct heart. I I'm just said it's a one. heart, but I assume we can just do this one because. Oh, f while facing a heart. Well, I want to look at this one because it's pulsating. Yeah. It's throbbing time. <laughs> Wait, don't. Not yet. Oh. Please. Roxanne, I must, you know, this needs to be done. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not ready to leave yet. You don't know how long it's been since I've had any solace in these nightmares. Since my dreams were something to look forward to. Now that you're here. Oh, no. You'll just continue to dream about me and I'll continue to make progress and eventually it'll be gone forever. We'll, I don't know, throw, throw Buck in a really big hole or something and he'll never find his way out. Sucker for Love, the series that builds a pantheon of dream girls and gals. <laughs> Look at the heart and how it's like just pieces of an image. <laughs> yeah, I noticed I that. Go. I don't want to go. How do I know I won't be alone next time? What if you are there to make me feel safe? Is it shrinking? I think that's just because it's pulsing and it's making you think it shrink, because I don't think it's actually yeah. got smaller. Yeah, I don't think it actually is. I think uh, that or it has, and th that might be what's happening. <laughs> that might be why it looks awkward now. <laughs> I don't want to leave. Okay, we can stay. What? I'll stay with you here for as long as you need. But we can't. I know that. If we sit around and wait instead of ending this now, bad things will happen to both of us. We'll lose our opportunity to end things on our own terms. Well, then make up your goddamn mind. <laughs> Which one do you want? Something bad is bound to happen to everyone. That's life, but that doesn't mean it's not worth living through. Very inspirational, Stardust. <laughs> I'd never cut my time here with you short just because it'll end eventually. I'll wait here until someone drags me away. I can't ask you to do that. I couldn't do that to us. I couldn't see what they'd do to you. Yes, you could, you big ol' worrywart. Bad things happen, sure, but they always pass. Plus, you're immortal. Something good enough to make all of this worthwhile is bound to happen eventually. Yeah. Right. No matter what happens, it will pass. I just have to be patient. Whatever our time apart holds, I'll have the heart to face it. Thank you. You'll also 
be awake for some of it and not having to deal with this, so... Anytime, Roxanne. Ready? Ready. Okie dokie. Okay, bye! Thank you. <laughs> That's Roxanne, not the chance. No, I can read. It's just, it's just pronounced weird. <laughs> Look, it worked. All done here, done and dusted yet again. <laughs> done and star dusted yet again, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Easy. The black woods are burning. Buck probably knows now. This is our one shot. Oh boy, it, it's the. Did they give him a shotgun because his name is Buck and he shoots Buckshot? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, time to hit that old dusty trail. Whoops, dusty trail. <laughs> I hope she does parry a shot, his shotgun blast with her <laughs> shot with her bat. All right, what's the plan? Can you get us out of here? Just throw, yeah, my plan is I throw you through this window, crash. You're out now, go away, she says. And they'll yes. never expect you to go through Remember, the wall. The thousand formed a perimeter around the house. If we run out blindly, we're finished. She, she just doesn't care about the broken arms. Like, whatever, I'm too strong, <laughs> I don't care. Just, yeah. The burning roots are invisible, too. So to stay safe, keep your feet on something that doesn't burn, like cement or water. Are they? Did we ever establish that they were invisible? Well, I can see these roots, so... I guess, I guess we did perform a ritual to hide the roots, so that's why... Well, then how come I can see these roots? I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, time. I saw a pond on the foot... Oh, I'm sorry, you're being interrupted by something. <laughs> Bang! What could it be? Bang! Time, you heckin' for you soothsayer, you fortune seer, you future seer. <laughs> you and your clairvoyance uh, b ball, ball of glass. You and your crystal ball. That's what it is, yeah. Well, Never. thankfully, he only hit her in her arm that was already broken. Joke's on you, Buck. This arm's already useless. <laughs> oh. You didn't, uh, irk, but in Billy's voice. <laughs> It's Buck, but where is he? I upgraded my shotgun to a sniper rifle. Oops, it shoots little BBs, little pellets, but it's really accurate. <laughs> Good rag, dork. Whoop. <laughs> it really hurt Billy, though. You think she just, like, flex and the bullet would come out, right? Like, little BB, <laughs> the buckshot would come out? It shoots out. <laughs> shoots out back at Buck. Oh man, you're so strong, Billy. Look at you flexing. <laughs> Whatever, dork. I'm out of here, nerd. How about I get to see a quick shot of Billy just clubbing over the head with a bat? <laughs> yeah. Ow! Grab it, you motherfucker! Oh. Thank God that missed, I guess. Did it? I don't think it did. Oh, hi. Hello, Buck. Look at how bright this eye is. Billy's gonna show up behind him and like club him in the head. I well, bet. yeah, because she's a Billy friend. <laughs> I turn around to see. I turn around to see Buck silently loading another shell into his shotgun. That must hurt. Why is he so burned already? My skin isn't falling off because he burned the first time, kid. He burned last time, yeah. What happened to you? <laughs> Look at how burnt he is. He's got some little like. Black scratchies on his skin. <laughs> Mother reckon Deadpool looked more burnt than you did. <laughs> God dang, Ryan Reynolds just looked like Ryan Reynolds was in makeup. <laughs> Many happened too. This guy's got quite the voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Noni! Hearing that name, that was someone who helped me escape. <laughs> Where is she? Couldn't be trusted. So she's gone this time. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Billy's gone next time. Whoops. Well, after episode 999, there'll be nobody left in your cult. <laughs> it's just gonna be you and me. <laughs> now give me the book. Don't bother telling me it's not with you. Because I'm shooting you either way if you don't hand it over right now. I will block with the book and you'll destroy it. What if I just put my mouth on the gun? I was like, mow, 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 mow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I can't shoot now because it's just weird. Yeah, it's weird. You creep me out, he says, leaving. Ew. I guess we're at an impasse. <laughs> just stick your finger in the barrel. <laughs> it explodes backwards <laughs> into his face. And it's like covered in black soot. <laughs> Over my dead body. Not stronger than me now, are you? Oh, you heard that. Uh, behind you. <laughs> Look out! 
Okay, well, if you're gonna <laughs> let this happen, I guess I will too. <laughs> Bonk. Dork. <laughs> Billy! Uh, oh, oh. As I was saying, hold my rope to your mouth uh, and jump in the pond on your way out. Wait in the water until the fire's burnt over. Man, I got lucky just deciding to look at those scratches again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, bold letters? Go! I will just wrestle the fire, obviously. I'm gonna fight the fire. The greatest battle of my life so far. <laughs> I turn, rushing out the door. There's nobody standing between me and the pond. I've made it through this. I take one last look behind me. Oh, big lady, I'm gonna miss you. I'll get you. Uh, whatever, dork, you say, like, just kind of, like, shoving his face down with your foot. Just shut up. She, she is about to hit him with the bat again. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Stay tuned. Another episode of Sucker for Love, Date to Die For, is coming up. Huh. Looks like she was stronger than me after all. You've got your work cut out for you, kid. Hey, why are we counting on me all of a sudden? Can't you find somebody less famous to get their hands dirty? Next time on Sucker for Love, The Lonely Devil Arrives. Now who wants an autograph? The Lonely Devil. There are like a bunch of boys and gals in the next one. <laughs> yeah. God dang. I see, it's episode... Uh, <laughs> 990. <laughs> yeah, I have to fight 999 people at once. Is that a lightsaber in the bottom right? What the hell? Oh, it's a motorcycle. No, I think it's a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Billy has left the thousand, everybody. There's only 998 left to deal with. <laughs> True end, kid. Yeah, we Whoa, did it. Whoa, and that's the fourth time I died. <laughs> Not counting all those other ones that uh, Auntie Nyan Nyan counted. We're on track to the true ending, kids. We've already, on our first try, uh, this one was pretty easy. This one was lucky. <laughs> we happened to find yeah. that one. <laughs> Keep in mind time that we might just have to look around the environment multiple times. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Looks like we've got four characters in this next one. Uh, this character, this one right here, looks like a character I've seen in like five million animes. <laughs> yeah. It looks the same. Like that particular hair and face shape. Yeah, it's, a it's very... It's the exact same character that's been used a million <laughs> times. Look at it. You've seen this character. Boop. Oh, I think there's Bob. one that looks like that in Sailor Moon. <laughs> All right, time to start uh, TV series 999, everybody. Yeah. Chapter 999, The Lonely Devil Arrives. <laughs> the Lonely Devil. <laughs> I feel like I skipped a couple episodes of this season. <laughs> <laughs> Kia! <laughs> Kia! <laughs> uh huh? Uh huh? A cacophony of squeals and excited <laughs> chattering rushes past the bookstore. The noise must have woken me up. It's time for famous pretty boy character to be in this anime. Yeah. Such commotion. No matter what all the fuss is about, it's far too late in the day to be causing such a ruckus. Stop causing a ruckus. Ah. <laughs> it's gotten late. Shoot, I was supposed to look for leads before sundown. Who's missing this time? For a year now, people, mostly girls, have been disappearing from their homes all over the prefecture. At first, everyone thought they'd just run off together, but as more girls vanished without a trace, panic started to spread. Hmm. They're last seen on the bus to Sacramento. Having grown up here, I can't just stand by while so many people go missing in my backyard. They probably should have avoided going to Missing Person Lane. Wait! That horde outside sounded like a group of young girls. I should warn them, or at the very least follow after them. This could be a lead. And why do their voices sound familiar? Hmm. Wait, don't leave without your books. Wait, don't leave without your lunch. I packed it for you. Ref <laughs> nice and fresh. It's delicious. PB&J. You're a bookseller. I've never met you before. Shut up, whoever you are. I don't know you, Moo. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh... Whoops, almost forgot. Thank you so much. I'm going to eat this up right away. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just books. <laughs> <laughs> I love knowledge. I consume knowledge at every turn. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. Oh my god. Boop. <laughs> Boop. I rush outside, leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind. There's no trace of the girls. <gasps> They've disappeared already. This sh uh, Could they really be in this town? <laughs> this should be about where the bus dropped off the missing girls. How do you, what do you mean by dropped off the missing girls? Why would a bus go to mi Missing Person Lane? 
Well, they went to Missing Person Town and then brought them to Missing Person's Lane <laughs> and soon to be Missing Person City. Man, this is a wacky ass route this bus takes. <laughs> I better hurry and catch up with that group before I lose their trail in this fog. But could they really be in this town? Mm. Uh, it sounded like they were headed into the residential area through GG Alley. Were they chasing after someone? Someone's nightmarish delusions come to life? <laughs> Yeah, they were chasing Pyramid Head over there. <laughs> hmm, did I make a wrong turn? There's no sign of anyone. I can't hear the commotion anymore either. The fog here is oppressively thick with two C's, too. If I keep note of the missing person posters along the wall, I should be able to find my way. There's only a few of them, so I can use them as markers. Only a few missing person posters, eh? Just a couple. Look at them. That few. Was that a footstep? Who's that? What? what? Uh, hello? No response. Was the wind too loud for my voice to be heard? Hello? I take a step toward the shapeless shadow in the mist and hear something crackle under my feet. <gasps> something wrapped up in construction paper. There's various footprints stamped across the surface. It's a photo of an old man eating sketty messily. It must have just been framed, but the glass is broken from being... Uh, that was a good memory, this person said, framing this picture of a guy eating skinny. <laughs> what a weird thing to frame. <laughs> Someone from that group I heard must have dropped this. They keep a framed photo on them, I guess. <laughs> I sprint after them, only to smack right into something else a few steps in. Ow! Oh, uh, you got some paint on your glasses. <laughs> oh, I see. It's the reflection of the alleyway, I see. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Whoop! I'm really sorry. I'm from Wisconsin. Oop. I'm really sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Hey, don't sweat it. It was my fault for standing in the middle of the road. Oh, let me help Stylish you with your voice. boy. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what a handsome boy. I've heard that men are going missing too, but no one really cares about that one. Are you headed for the bus stop? You might have already missed the last one. No, I'm actually looking for clues about those girls that have been going missing. Are you trying to find someone, too? I'm looking for my girlfriend. Oh, so you're taken. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, never mind. Lee just walks off into the fog. Just, like, bumps his shoulder out of the way, walking past him. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't say another word. Poor thing. Was she a part of that mob I heard earlier? What's her name? Uh, you know, I never asked, he says. <laughs> oh. That depends. What's yours? Oh my god. <laughs> Timer being hit on. Oh no. And we don't have the spray bottle on us. Ugh, bleg. That was so corny. Yeah, this guy's the worst. This guy, he says, pointing at himself with both thumbs. <laughs> About himself, yeah. <laughs> hey, this may be a strange question, but do you not recognize me? You, well, I mean, you're wearing a mask and sunglasses and a hat, so... Why would I? Yeah, if you put those on a table, I'd recognize the things on the table, but I wouldn't recognize you. <laughs> Sorry, have we met? I don't usually forget faces, especially ones that are mostly covered up. Ah, that must be it. You must not have seen me on TV yet. I made that one song, Lonely Devil. Unless this is his face that's famous. <laughs> he just wears this. <laughs> like, this is what you recognize him for. And then he takes it off and nobody sees him. And it's like, oh, I could just, I do the opposite of most celebrities. I just take off things and I can walk around. <laughs> this is his brand. <laughs> oh, wait, I know you. You're Captain Kid, right? <laughs> Captain Kid. He's a widely adored local idol that appeared out of thin air a year ago. No wonder he's wearing that disguise. I bet he can't even go to the store without getting mobbed. Hmm. Still nothing. That's strange. Who'd you say you were looking for again? The girls that have been going missing? You're not looking for me? No. Why does it sound like... I don't know if it's just me time, but the voice lines in this sound like they're compressed. Is that just me? It... Maybe? Listen close to when he talks. Say, you are an out-of-towner, right? I mean, you obviously don't live here. I'd know who you are. I know everyone around here like family. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, it does sound a little bit like that, actually. It sounds like they're talking in, like, the, <laughs> you know what I'm talking I don't know if that's the right word for it, compressed, but I can hear it. And it's weird. It's got kind of like that, like, almost a buzzy sound to it. Kinda. Yeah, like there's something going on in the background, or like there's a lot of post effects on it. I heard this when um, 
Trendy F Girl was talking to. Roxanne doesn't have this at all. She sounds great. Yeah. And I think I heard it a little bit with uh, Billy Mean as well, but. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> the games are hard, guys. <laughs> I'm not really an out-of-towner. I used to live here. It's where I'm staying while I'm looking. Show me. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just met. Goodbye, sir. I don't care if you're famous. Off. <laughs> if you're really from around here, show me where you live. No. <laughs> wow, his, his is really obvious. I hear it's so strong. It's, yeah. How about... Go f yourself instead. Well, he's got a he's got a voice modulator behind that mask, also. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a Sith mask. <laughs> if you don't tell me where you live, I'm gonna take my sunglasses off and laser beam you. This is the only thing keeping it back. <laughs> he's what? also Cyclops. I feel eyes. Oh, people time. Oh no. I feel oh, eyes I'm... digging into me from all around. I can't see them, but it can't just be paranoia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing anything, so let's go now. Oh, don't forget your bag. You so, <gasps> you're the one Buck wants. Oh my god. You have such pretty <laughs> eyes, boy. Oh, you're the one I've been looking for all along. I'm suddenly madly in love with you. Time, I, I wish. I, I can't. It It's f***ing with my ears hearing that. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm editing one of our videos and I'm like, God damn it, I screwed up that line. I blew up my microphone or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I'm getting anxiety hearing that. <laughs> He's in love with this time, I guess. Oh, oh, oh no. Just, just hit him with the bag and then run. Is it gonna be that he doesn't attack us, but the fangirls kill us because they're jealous? Probably. Is that it? He's just saying that so that they kill us? <laughs> what a jerk. What a capital R jerk. There are four of them, and one of them has a baseball bat. Well, it might also be a lightsaber. The light's passing through the hilt there. The the lightsaber is in shadow. The 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 glowing plasma saber part. How many lightsabers do you have, Time? <laughs> Twelve. I think you're lying to me. <laughs> in fact, I know it's so soon, but let's get married too. That's absolutely what he's doing. <laughs> eh? <laughs> After all. So long as you're alive, I'll never have eyes for anyone else. Never. <laughs> Very subtle. <laughs> I read you like a god darn heckin' pamphlet, kid. Killer girls. Oh, well, that's just not even subtle. <laughs> Unseen hands desperately grab at me from all around, but I managed to shake off their grip with surprising ease and make a mad dash forward. Behind me are dozens of footsteps. I only see four of them. Well, that's two, four, six, eight. So if there's <laughs> two more people, then that'd be a dozen. And if they're running, then it sounds like a dozen. <laughs> I guess. What's going on? Why am I being chased? Who the hell is Buck? Lag. We don't remember this time. Well, we didn't remember last time either. It wasn't until we were given the book and we weren't given a book this time. Unless it was in my bag, which he took. It probably think. is on the bag. No, he gave it to us, I think. Well, then it's in my bag next to my PB&J. <laughs> I should open it. It's like the PB&J smeared onto it. It's like, ops. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Oh, heck. But this won't make any difference for the Eldritch Rituals, right? Let me ineffectually rub a napkin against this, hoping that'll get rid of it, <laughs> even though it's soaked into the pages now. <laughs> Before I knew it, I'd arrived at my ancestral home, sitting ominously alone in the fog. Could it really be in this town, though? Hmm. Honestly... What was my bag that made them all want to chase me so badly? Why are you assuming it was the bag? Huh? W -w 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 what's this book? <laughs> That's a sound exclamation point, Mike. <laughs> the nightmare started over again, and it seems I got lured into the Blackwoods trap yet again, which means... I get to see Roxanne again. Score! Oh my god, this is very romantic. I wonder if Roxanne laid these flowers out to lead me back up to where I find her. <laughs> She's just already here. We don't have to summon her. Hello. It's... There are a lot of them. We're being chased by fangirls from some dweeby-ass idol or whatever, and I hear ocean sounds. Oh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not that way. Cripes, what a mess. This place has been turned upside down, but nothing is missing. Weird. Hmm. 
Pay no mind to the sexy nurse we saw outside with a knife. <laughs> yeah, don't mind her. She is just always there. Yeah, whatever. That's normal. Finally, something I recognize. I guess it's raining outside. Yeah, maybe it's not waves. It's like a storm. Well, it sounds like it's ebbing and flowing like waves do. I okay, I guess I have to talk to you. What do you want? <laughs> oh, she's gone. Okay, bye. Dork. Scared her <laughs> off. No, she was really spooky. Well, Roxanne with the trouble of putting flowers throughout every corridor just in case I came through like a window or something. You have to be thorough. No, I can't keep track of my death count. <laughs> We're probably going to go into that no door. There is no door. Um. Hello? Oh. Uh, hello? Oh. Gotta get that equipped right away. Gotta get the most important thing, yeah. <laughs> uh, blah, blah, blah. Shut up, book. Some Roxanne's here's real doesn't really count. Oops. Goats here. Shut up, candles. Hello. She does have the shirt. You didn't say that. <laughs> there was no whatever. The day she is, I could stare mm -hmm. at her forever. Mm -hmm. Also, I like how when the first time we see her, it's implied that our character has no lust or interest. Yeah. And then she warned us that being in the woods would eventually have us obsess over her, and now suddenly our character is obsessed over her. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, girl. Hey. In view of what we've been through together, you could call me Roxy. Oh, my <laughs> Roxy. God. <laughs> Maybe if we get even closer, I'll eventually be able to call you Rock My Socks Off. You probably don't <laughs> oh, remember, no, but you called me that long ago. <laughs> and I've grown rather fond of it. Do you think you could call Did me we? that again? No, but it's been like 997 episodes since then. Oh, yeah, I suppose. We do only have two hearts still. Of course, I'm really glad to see you again, Roxy. <laughs> oh, Tildy Heart. <laughs> As opposed to Heart Tildy from before, that means we're even a step closer to affection. Oh. We're putting the heart last for, like, the ten the, the teasing, the build-up. Oh, baby. <laughs> How have you been? Never better. The Thousand are at their last gasp. The only two remaining original members are Buck and Kid. And his legion of fangirls. <laughs> his legion of fangirls, but that's fine. Coincidentally, he has about a thousand of them at any given time. So. Uh, well, once we get rid of him, he won't have those fangirls anymore, so it'll just be Buck. I should have figured that boy I met was involved because he ain't right. <laughs> what happened to the rest? Well, every single person Buck sent to kill you instead joined you. Time and time again. So Buck sees to it that when I dream up a new reality, the traitors don't live to meet you. Why doesn't Buck just show up with a shotgun every time I step off the bus and shoot me? Yeah. <laughs> Buck sends somebody to kill you. They fall in love with you instead. They betray Buck. Reality ends. Buck spends hundreds of years in time out. <laughs> in time out. <laughs> in the corner with his dunce cap. <laughs> then reality starts anew. Buck kills the traitor, then sends somebody else after you. Hundreds of times over. Why doesn't he just come after us himself then? I heard the effect on her voice for like a split second there, so I'm wondering if it's just how they edited the audio files. Maybe. What, I'm gonna stop like... pretending like I know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> wow, sounds like I'm on fire. <laughs> what? I lost you many times as well. I left you in their hands how many times? I'm fine, Stardust, really. This is all nearly over. Soon, the Thousand will just be a distant memory. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, it's generic anime girl! You, you Who's got eating your hair her own in your hair? mouth, that <laughs> seems really... <laughs> her, her, hra, said the girl. Tackle to the ground, there's a sickening sound of wet metal scraping at a dull pressure on my stomach. My eyes shoot wide with shock. Well, that's unfortunate. She's chewing at my clothes and her hair and my neck, hunting for a grip <laughs> while we struggle for leverage until eventually... <sighs> huffing, apparently. I don't hear anything. 
She collapses like a dork. Oh, heavens below. Are you alright? Wow, I didn't know you could spin kick so well, Roxanne. That was really hard. <laughs> she, she must have, like, fallen on the night. <laughs> dork. I gasp and cover my mouth in horror. It happened so fast. I... Roxy, what do we do? Can we do the the, the healing thing? You, 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 you know, isn't there that one ritual? Stardust. She's dead. I meant for me. It was scary, and I feel like I got a heart <laughs> palpitation coming on here. I, I need a little bit of healing juice. What? No, I... That's not possible. It was so fast. Two exclamation points. She was already at death's door from exhaustion and starvation. Falling on her weapon was the final blow that stopped her heart. Wow, I can't believe she actually just fell on her own knife. <laughs> Very effective. What a dork. That normally wouldn't even be a serious injury. Chalk it up as another death by exhaustion from the black woods. That wouldn't even be a serious injury, she says, and it's like fully impaled through her. <laughs> it went into her stomach. It's like, whatever, usually you could just walk that off. That's not a serious injury for an eldritch god. She's weak because she was about to die? Is that how I escaped from that whole world earlier? And if it makes any difference, she had the Sacramento stare. Her conscience was long gone. Mentally, she wasn't here for her death. <laughs> She's trying to comfort me, but even if it wasn't self-defense, it feels like I... Mic check, one, two, mic check. Hey, are you hearing me? Uh, we were having a moment in here. You installed a PA system in my house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that voice, it's the boy from earlier. Well, sounds like you had a bit of a nasty shock, huh? Buck's had a lot of time to reflect on how you beat him. And we've made it so it won't happen again. He presses the button, it goes, and there's just a bunch of, like, solid metal gates just drop in all the doorways. <laughs> oh, what? When did you install these in my house? Well, he's had hundreds of years to, pr to like, prepare for this, I guess, so... <laughs> I guess. You're gonna like what we've done with the place. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this button just blows you up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there's no fun in that. This button causes various different types of laser grids to run down this hallway. <laughs> Number one, we took everything out of that room that we didn't need. No bass guitar, no nothing. You're unarmed. I was unarmed in the second episode. Yeah, I didn't need anything in the seven, second episode. But, uh. Also, you could have just stopped me by taking the idol away. I need that to cast the <laughs> spell. Number two. No door to the ritual room anymore. Nowhere safe. Eh, but you already knew that one. Number three. We begin our attack immediately. No negotiations, no honor duels. Just last bitch standing from the get-go. Right when he says we begin our attack immediately, so just swings around the corner with a gun, just shoots me. It's like, got him! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. No re -G -G. And then him and Buck high five. Uh. Number four, we cleaned out the fridge as soon as you got here. So no ritual reagents for you. Mmm, I sighed at Roxanne like, you know what that means. <laughs> we do have a dead body right here next to us. <laughs> Number five, blast loud music to drown out our movements. That will drown out our movements also. And my, number six, burn this list after doing everything on it so she doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> mm. Stupid. Also, if you really want to stop me, why don't you just all just hang out in this room and wait for me to show up? Yeah. <laughs> like with guns. <laughs> you guys are idiots. Oh. Whoops. Uh. Record scratch. Well, here's number five. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. This has never happened before. I... Nothing like this. Sounds like they're getting serious. Finally, after 997 <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Guess we'll have to get serious, too. Gotta go sicko mode. <laughs> there she is in the corner. Whoops. <laughs> well, well, it looks like your plan would have worked if this idiot hadn't walked in here and stabbed themselves. <laughs> yeah. The knife comes free with a sickening, sucking sound. I can't bring myself to use it against these poor souls, but might need it for these rituals. I wipe the blade on my skirt. Dork. The emaciated body of the girl that attacked me. She looks even skinnier up close, poor thing. I hope, uh... 
we get to spray Buck with the spray bottle at some point. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> we didn't boop Buck when he was here. We gotta boop Buck when we get a chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta remember. Uh, Chrysalis of Rebirth. Oh, baby. Gonna become... Uh, reject humanity, <laughs> go back to goat. <laughs> Return to goat. <laughs> Return to goat. That's not how that works, says Roxanne. Pointing at <laughs> only a finger. Pretty sure that's wrong, actually. Find an isolated location of your choice. Some place where your cocoon will not be disturbed. Uh, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> your organs will be liquefied, so any ew, so any sudden movements will yield tragic results. Do not perform this ritual outside or near an open window. Uh, I guess downstairs, the basement. The basement or the the locked room, maybe. I don't have a key. I, I guess, no, I don't but... want to go upstairs. I don't want to go. Yeah, come here. <laughs> The bedroom, room? Just say occupied? They're like, well, we can't go on there. Or it's occupied. <laughs> yeah. Look, this is going to be the episode four location where we fight Neon Lothotep to the death. Probably. Maybe the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not unless there's a way for me to say occupied. I don't see any way to say occupied on here. Yeah, I guess. Mm. It does have a door and there are no windows. Well, there's no windows in the basement either. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Hi. This is miserable. You're winning this. Whoop. Okay. Well, well. I died, I guess. I was gonna say they're winning the psychological battle. <laughs> This dweeb. Keepsake progress. What am I doing a heart, but like a pointy, like angular one with my fingies? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a weird way to do a heart shape. Wait, what was that? Was that a list of five things I needed to collect? Uh oh. Yes, that was a list of five things you need to collect. Well, heck, I don't. don't remember. Shut up, stupid sexy goat! <laughs> okay, so I died because there was to. an old lady out there. <laughs> Step one, get to the TV and turn it off, maybe. Yeah. Hello? Anybody home? No, this is so much louder than it was before. <laughs> they turned the... Ugh. Are you okay? I kind of want to see what's going on here, though, because it looks like a head. That is just a head, yeah. There's a severed head on the table, a note tied in its hair reads, For you, my love, the ultimate souvenir. The head belongs to one half of that pop duo on the TV. Wow. Oh. What a... What the lengths you had to go. <laughs> she blinks at me, eyes filled with sorrow as I stumble back. Oh, she's alive. I can't pick it up, but whatever. I guess I, I did it. I saw it. Shut up. Number seven. Wait for you to come turn off the music. Whoops. Oh, no, it's a trap. Okay. Here lies Dork. Dead forever. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> Stupid. Put that on my tombstone. Here lies Dork. Dead forever. What an idiot. <laughs> okay, here I am figuring the this hacking thing the f out. Yeah. Oh God, it's so. F I thought you were piping <laughs> the music so in. You just turned the TV on really loud. You liar. <laughs> I guess they did play me, though. They knew that I'd eventually want to turn that garbage off. Yeah, they left the blood bowl here. I can't pick it up. Time! And the bodies. Well, there's nothing here. They said they took everything from the kitchen, but... There's the phone. I usually punch in spices! I haven't used those yet. I missed the call. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Whose phone is this? Definitely not my sister's. I've never seen this number for mom before. More than 30 missed calls. This thing won't stop ringing. Better leave it behind before it gives me away. Hmm. Well, that's Maybe three a... keepsakes, I guess. I guess there will be a point that you have to find them. A point? Like a, some, a certain point in time where you can get them. 
Oh, can I? Oh, a bucket of blood isn't playing anymore, guys. Aww. The bucket's gone. Aww. Aww. That was for the flowers, which they're like, that's like. Uh, 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 oh, hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> he saw nothing. <laughs> Must have been the wind. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm done with you forever. Oh, uh, whoop. Ow. Oh, but she. No, you're not allowed down here, she says. <laughs> well, where the heck do I crystal crystallize I, then? I guess it is the bathroom then. I guess they'd know to stop me from being here, right? She'd just be like in the hallway and they're like, we didn't think you'd do it there. That's uh, honestly, you played us. <laughs> it's just in the hallway. Amazing. That was quite the strategic play. Uh huh, I wonder what that weird chrysalis is. I didn't put that there. Did we? I don't remember I was paying attention. They say taking a fat rip. I was too busy listening to this music. What'd you say? I think I know. It, I was trying to read your lips, but it turns out I don't know how to do that. Uh, uh heck. That's why I tried to go around, but the old lady was there. Uh, okie dokie. I guess we'll just do it here. A test. Isolated location of your choice. Some place where your cocoon will be disturbed. Your organs will be liquefied. Blah, 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 blah. Do not perform this ritual outside or near an open window. That's an Those? open window time. Oh. Is it open or is it? Look, there's a oh, yeah, the vine going through it. going through it, yeah. Okay, so it's not okay. here. In the, the bedroom? The bedroom, yeah. It seems hard. <laughs> that looks closed yeah, to me. just got the window up on top. You think that they know that we do it? Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Please wait 70 seconds. Cool. <laughs> Rebirthing. Time, have you ever done this before? <laughs> oh, all the time. <laughs> Who hasn't? Describe your first time. That's always a fun story, right? Describe your first time mm -hmm. metamorphosizing in a bedroom. I wiggled around too much, so my organs got a little bit messed up. Only a little bit? Like half liquefied? J just a little bit. It was fun. Yeah, oh. Spooky scary. It's perfectly okay. Time, it's gonna be okay. It's just Roxanne. <laughs> it probably is, and she's like rubbing her hand across the loving and like, oh, you're gonna be you're beautiful when you come out. Oh. <laughs> oh, there they go. Say, we're okay. Goodbye. Okay, Why'd you let this happen? <laughs> oh, that's weird. Very scary time. <laughs> Oh, I don't remember this being here, they say, leaving. I mean, they haven't come in here very often, so... At least that's what they think they said, because they're now effectively deaf after that music blared for so long. <laughs> I have now godified. I'm coming back, Roxanne. I'm coming back, Roxy. Get hype. I don't know what turning into a goat has done for us at all, but... Such a troubled sure. look. Are you all right, my sweet? Well, it's just part of the magic, kid. You just gotta go through the, the motions. Gotta get this figured out. <laughs> I'm still really shook, uh, shooken up by the one that rushed in. The one that, you know, I say, like, jabbing my thumb over my shoulder at the dead body. <laughs> you know. Yes. Death can be an upsetting thing to see, but death's shy. It's not that. She's not wearing robes or a mask. She just had the stare. And she was so frail, so unlike the thousand. <laughs> you have already figured it out on your own, haven't you? I didn't want you to find out. But your attackers are not members of the Thousand. They're using innocent people as your assailants this time. I guess they had to outsource because they ran out of people. Because <laughs> there's only hit a uh, uh, Captain Kid and Buck left, so... <laughs> Captain Kid. <laughs> Captain this is Kid. This a bit of leverage they've created. Experience has taught them they can use your humanity against you. This feels so, so different from what little I can remember. How am I supposed to save any of them, Roxy? At this point, I know nothing I can say will stop you from trying to befriend the people actively trying to kill you. If they're under my curse of thousands, then their admiration for Kid has been magnified to the point of fanatical idolatry. The only way to break their obsession is either by finding something else that they love even more, or by removing 
the object of their obsession. Hmm, what could they love more than that guy? <laughs> a picture of an old man eating spaghetti. I mean, that is a pretty cool picture. <laughs> but good enough to draw them away from a hyper-publicized and uh, popular <laughs> idol in Japan of all places. What about the severed head of a different idol? This is his month to be the number one person before falling into complete obscurity. <laughs> and then discarded like waste by the idol industry. So there's no way. But I don't know anything about these people. Where would I even start? I hope I think of something, but that's usually really hard for me. Uh, can I look at myself in the mirror? You Enhancement could. black eye? You could? You could go look. No. no, it doesn't work, time. No, it doesn't work. Your body should be more pliable to change now. Have a knife. Have a kniff on your person. Harvest meat from a mammal that died within the Black Woods within the last 24 hours. This will, will that be the dead body? <laughs> yeah. This works best if it is something that you personally killed. Well, I didn't kill them. They fell on their own knife. Chant twice while standing near your partner. Oh, I didn't even take the knife. Uh, Yikes. Yeah. There was something on the next page, too. If the ritual was successful, you should be able to see something glued between the next pages. What? If so, you can now sense living things on the verge of death. Your map will now automatically reveal dying things within range might show the because they're all like on the verge of like just starving to death or whatever so it might show them on the map now Ooh, if you do what a bunch of dorks what a bunch of loser dorks <laughs> whoops my wrist slipped sorry <laughs> the meat of something that died within the black woods in the last 24 hours <laughs> wait hold on why is her whole rib cage exposed my wrist slipped <laughs> she's already dead so there's no harm in this right I'll be quick about this I promise <laughs> Gross. Gooey. That should be enough, I guess. But carving up a dead human for their meat? I can't remember enough about myself to know if I'm better than this. <laughs> I can't think of any other options we had. A dead mammal? There was nothing else here. Uh, yeah, I mean, there were the legs. They took those, though. There was the head in the, <laughs> the, the TV room. <laughs> What's the difference? It's still a dead person. The line that separates me from the thousand from the thousand is getting blurrier with every go around. Well, it's a good thing this is the last go around then. Well, it's second last, but chant twice. Chant twice. Man. Ow! I guess I guess I just get hurt. Okay. Yeah. Excellent work. Very, very good. It seems we have a fighting chance against their new tactics. Yeah. What's this? A portrait of your grandfather? What's this? Can I keep it? She says. <laughs> this man eating sketty. There's something so compelling about it. He's just destroying that massive man of sketty. <laughs> I'm impressed. He's really hungry. I wish I could do that. Oh, that's not mine. I found it while I was coming here. I figured one of the people who went missing dropped it. Wait. If somebody went out of their way to frame this, they probably cared deeply about whoever's in this photo. What if it's one of the people chasing me around? Oh, we have to find the keepsakes that makes the individual fan people lose interest. Yeah, this probably is the old lady, I would assume. Wow, time, way to assume that the old man's related to the old lady. Well, <laughs> if I could reunite this with its owner, maybe they'll realize they love the guy in the photo more than Kid and leave. Brilliant as ever, my shining star. Well, baby, <laughs> I wish they changed the name to Roxy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but be careful and observant. This photo might protect you from its rightful owner, but it'll have no effect on anybody else. Right. I'll keep an eye out for other dropped keepsakes while we keep going through the rituals. Well, we found a phone and a head. Uh -huh. Oh. Hello. I saw you, you mother hacker. <laughs> I thought I said it would reveal. Oh, there yep, is somebody calling. Well, they're not close don't. enough to be a problem, it seems. Yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's icy. I got a radar ping. Gotcha. Whatever, dork. Ooh. Ooh. She's gonna get me. <laughs> See that? She's gonna get me. <laughs> yeah. Damn it, what the f- How the f- 
How are you supposed to find, like, see her? Uh, you pay the developer the DLC cost to do it. I guess when you if, when you go down, you can look at the radar and see if she's in the next room. Very good. I wonder if this person's a cell phone or something, because they're young. Maybe. Gross. I hate young people. Somebody's breathing down my neck. Yeah, she's on like, me. Right, somebody is, like, right on you. Get away from me, you hacker. Am I just not allowed to turn <laughs> around now? Maybe. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm just not allowed to turn around. Yeah, she is like on. Which means that I can't go to the kitchen because I'll have no way out. Hmm. Hmm. Unless the the cell phone is hers, and then you pick it up and just like give it to her right away. I guess we could try that. But she's also the only one with a weapon, so. Uh, no. The nurse girl or stabbed no, me yeah, like four times. My brain. <laughs> His phone, definitely in my way. Okay, we have the phone. Can we I have it. I guess maybe I could just turn around. There you are. The teen girl has the cell phone, of course. <laughs> the teen girl gets this ancient flip phone. <laughs> I guess this game takes place in like the early 2000s. I guess. Look at this mother hacking thing. What is it, glow in the dark, too? <laughs> I call back the number from the missed calls. I put it on speaker. Erica? Erica? Thank goodness I was worried sick. Yeah, Erica. Mama? I'm looking for my mama. <laughs> well, she's not here in this house. Well, I guess now that I know that, I will leave. Goodbye. <laughs> Apparently, Gen Z and Alpha are wanting old-style phones. Why? <laughs> There's less functionality. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's why. Is because they're like, well, I'm sick of, like, constantly being online. I just want to make a phone call or something. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they're just, like, doing the whole, I'm into retro tech. I want a flip phone and a VHS player. <laughs> Those came out at the same time, right? I think. Yeah, what definitely. To you? Why did you go? Why did you leave? I'll try to be a better mom. I... You didn't do anything wrong. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Fuck off, kid. <laughs> Sweetie, please come home. I'm coming, Mom! Yeah. We cured you. Thank you. It was really easy, actually. You're welcome, I guess. Please stop looking like you're about to bash my brains in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. I give her her phone back, and she dashes off doing speed legs like Sonic the Hedgehog. There's a flower. Uh, Beautiful, yeah. morbid-looking flower. This must be a rot bloom. Cool. Uh, the... The head in the TV room was the idol on the TV, so I bet that belongs to whoever is the other person on the TV in the picture. Hmm. Which I... I think is the pink address girl. The nurse or whatever? Yeah. Good, because she's an annoying. Ah! She's ah! right there. <laughs> Seems scary. <laughs> I didn't look. Okay, whatever, I'm fine. Oh, wait, no, we have hers. If it's the old man, I guess. I can't, lady, Please, I hope you can hear me. Come here, let me kill you. <laughs> well, you did ask nicely. <laughs> Please. I stand a safe distance away and pull out the cracked photo I found earlier. Ooh, what have you got there, dearie? <laughs> I'm an old lady. Ooh. I'm an old lady. <laughs> so, so handsome. <laughs> so handsome. I'll marry this photograph tomorrow at dawn. The way he eats that sketty. Oh. <laughs> I was talking about the sketty. <laughs> is that my... Is that my Angus? <laughs> Angus? Is that my pure certified 100% Angus <laughs> I'm looking at right now? That's his full oh, name. Oh, 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 that's my Angus. Oh, USDA approved. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's his last name. <laughs> you got a long ass name, mister. I say looking at the picture. We get to listen to this for like 20 minutes. <laughs> You're too old to be following this guy. Get the f out of here. 
She turns and leaves as quickly as she can. Goodbye, nerd. Yay, they're all gonna drop dead from exhaustion in like five minutes, but... <laughs> what are they go outside and they'll open their mouths and look up like turkeys and drink the water and get... Oh god, oh my god, no, hush! Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was annoyed, so I turned off the music and I forgot. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, <Bleh. laughs> here I am doing all of that again. Separate head, don't <laughs> turn that on. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that this is just kind of here. <laughs> yeah. I must be looking for. Wow. I guess she brought it with her. <laughs> um, I guess. Hey, lady, come get me. Hey, kid. Get me. Come and get me. Do it. Right Stop here. teasing me. Get me. I'm right. <laughs> Give me. I'm here. Give me. Do it. <laughs> Do it, nerd. I guess not. There we go. <laughs> Why are you so low? F and what, what the hell? <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> what, what happened here? This looks like but, garbage. What happened? But. But, like, not all of her? Her like, left arm is high, high HD. Her part of her face is HD. Her hair <laughs> and the rest of her body is all, like, pixelated. <laughs> you can see through parts of it. Yeah. Oops. I saw you two on TV. Any chance for a reunion to her? <gasps> wow, I can't believe you killed my idol pop star partner. She says stabbing me. <laughs> Tay Tay. That's not her name, that's just the only sound that she knows how to make. Tay Tay. Oh, it's all it's scary. Oh, that's right, the, the, the head is alive still. Thank you very much. Uh oh, they're both doing it. Oh, the harmonizing was cute, though. You, you two have fun. Go out, get out here, you silly kids. <laughs> get up to whatever it is you two get to. They leave harmonizing until they're too far for me to hear. Okay, so we, okay, so we have two more. Two. There's the guy. And the one that's down in the basement. Oh, yeah. I can't think of any other items we've missed, though. Yeah, I haven't seen any. What uh, other locations are there on the map? Is there something in the bathroom or the balcony, maybe? In the bathroom? The bathroom? Mm. See anything in here? The bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. Muffled headphone nope, music. The... Oh baby. Yeah. Looks like someone left their CD player here. It's covered in pink in punk stickers. Through the headphones, I can hear an acoustic song playing. Sounds homemade. Hmm. Must have belonged to one of the folks hiding out around here. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. I don't remember, remember which one was, like, punky. Well, the one downstairs in the basement didn't kill us. They just drove us off, so we can look at that one again. Oh, yeah. Uh, I uh, guess we'll go... Mm -hmm. Yes, time. Hello. I was going to ask, is there somewhere on the map we haven't been to yet, like a specific location? And the TV, the both bedrooms. The hard room? Is just the, yeah, just the hard room and the the foyer. I'm assuming that this is going to be the, because it's a girl down here and usually they go punk girl and the CD player we found yeah. here is covered in punk stickers, so I think it's a safe bet that it's probably hers. I guess we'll find out. Like I wouldn't assume that when people have a punk character, it's usually a girl and things. I found Told you. Her. Yeah, rocker. Told you. I did it. I know yeah. my stereotypes and tropes, kids. <laughs> I found her, and she said, wow, rocker girl. You know, that's not, I'm not a rocker. That's literally my name, rocker. <laughs> Why are my parents? I crank the volume as high as it can go and hit play. An acoustic song starts. That's not very punk. It said it was a uh, homemade, so it's probably music she plays. It should be like acoustic, and it's like really plinky plonky, but then like when the lyrics come in, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> what is that music? It sounds awful. It's yours. I, it sounds amazing. I meant. <laughs> Her voice. I've definitely got the right person. Don't you recognize who that is? Wait, I know who that is. That's me. 
That's my song. That's me. Yeah, I got the first time. Are you serious? <laughs> but it's so good. I. But it's so good. I sound like that. You and your Sailor Moon eyes. <laughs> I give her back her CD player. She quickly puts the headphones on. Wow, I sound amazing. This is fucking, this is a great. This is the best song I've ever heard. Wow, this narcissist finally got her CD player back, I guess. That's really me? I gotta get this published. Whoever this is, whoever is a genius and deserves millions of dollars, she says. <laughs> she crawls away, crawls away, nodding her head along with the music. I guess it's not like standing room down here. I guess it's supposed to be a crawl space. It doesn't really look like a crawl space. It looks like I could walk through this. I thought it was just a basement. Yeah, it looks it looks tall enough. Yeah. There's a green light there. Is that where I need to go? Uh, well, the, I'm assuming that the last item we need is down here then. No, that's where I came from. What the hell? <laughs> Broken game. Whoops. Mm, near the hearts. Oh, there it yep, is. There we go. Oh, a wallet. I'll just go ahead and check for any cash real quick. <laughs> the ID says this belongs to a Kenji Ito. Says here he just turned 22 today. Happy birthday, Kenji Ito. Happy birthday. Either the poor guy's wandered in here by mistake or he's with the ones chasing me. I'll hang on to this. Good coming, Andy. He's watching the front door, so... Yeah, I know where he's at. Go ahead and backtrack this way. Time, how did you survive the last time that you had five crazy fan people trying to chase you down? Uh, well, I just kind of ran away, to be honest. That's it? That's all it took? They just gave up? Well, they got really tired. They were really tired because of the cult thing, so I just, like, kept running until they all dropped, fell over. Well, Time, I can't believe that you inadvertently and indirectly <laughs> killed five people to get away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dork, I found your wallet. Gotcha. It, there was no money in it when I found you, by the way. <laughs> when I found it, it was empty except for your ID. I definitely didn't take $20 out of it. Uh, happy birthday, Kenji. Uh, nobody's ever said that to me before. <laughs> <laughs> he starts crying. <laughs> that's it. That's all it took, just saying happy birthday. He's like, oh, that breaks the spell. It's your birthday today, isn't it? Isn't this yours? No, this belongs to a phantom creature with no facial features, just a black silhouette, <laughs> actually. Oh, wait. That's me. I remember. I cast a ritual to look like a regular human. And the color just drains away from his entire character <laughs> model. Thanks. And then he turns around and leaves. This game's scary, says Stardust. You remembered my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. Yeah, I remembered your birthday, Kenji Ito. <laughs> Someone remembered my birthday. It's literally just somebody remembered, and that's all it took. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Poor guy. He stumbles off, wiping, wiping away his flowing tears. <laughs> hey, don't forget your wallet. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess the money is mine now. I'll drop it off at the police station later, I guess. <laughs> if I survive, I don't know. If reality <laughs> is still a thing when that when the time comes, you know what I mean? It'll be fine. There, I did it. I solved all of them. So now we just do the rituals unimpeded and then tell Captain Kid that he's a dork and I don't like his music. <laughs> just as long as we don't turn the TV on. <laughs> tempting, though. I know the consequences, but it's still really tempting. It's, it's really tempting. I'm going the wrong way. I need to go to the kitchen, I think. Uh, we haven't even read the page yet, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we should probably read this, what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh, time's spooky, scary spider. I'm trying to smack it, but it's invincible. No, oh, no. Oh, man, checking this x-ray. I'm pretty sure the spider has cancer, says the doctor. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. I guess that problem will just solve itself. <laughs> Have a kniff on your person. Chant while facing one rot bloom flower. That is the bathroom or the kitchen. Do not attempt this ritual in a room with more than one rot bloom. Uh, that's the spell. Don't feel too bad. If their rot bloom is here, they won't be needing their heart anymore. Hopefully they don't try to take it back later. What does that mean? The woods fat. We have read that. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Time I'm scared. So so is the the idol guy just kind of like waiting in the TV room? For us to come by. <laughs> He's sitting in his control panel with the monitors next to the dog, being like, man, I can't wait for this. And then James just like knocks him out. He's like, it was you! He's just pointing at the dog. It was you, Zoltai! But in Japanese? Oh, problem solved. 
Uh. Uh -huh. uh. <laughs> there I did it, God. Oh, hi. Hello. Uh, I, I need your heart. <laughs> I mean, you're not using it, right? Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> what? what? Oh, he's got a zombie next to him. Is that like his true form or this is his pretend form? Oh, it might be, uh, it might be Buck. It's like really Buck? messed up because God. we beat him 999 times. <laughs> he got fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. Everybody laugh at Buck. What a nerd. <laughs> what a dork. I hope you appreciate the situation you're in. We can do this forever. Was there more than one Rob Bloom in this room? I don't think so. Tell me who the bookmaker is. I guess we didn't look at the other corner. It was Mew, the Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Over my dead booty. Accommodate that. Cool. I say waggling my eyebrows. <laughs> Giving up? Finally. My arms are getting tired. Did you need to fucking cover yourself up, dweeb? Stop showing yeah, off. Yeah, why are you? breaks. This is a waste of time. We'll have to find leads on our own. She told you she was from here, right? Like, Buck, why aren't you pissed off that he's doing this right now? <laughs> well, he's also shirtless, so... <laughs> That's the point, is, like, he's he can't have that anymore, so wouldn't he be the one most offended? <laughs> Where it's like, stop it, idiot. He says, like, knocking him on the back of the head. Quit it. I hate this. I hate it. I can never have it again. I used to have that. It was really cool. <laughs> 997 episodes ago, I used to have that. It was really good. Yeah, but I think she was lying. I never lie. I like you. <laughs> I love whoever you are. Whatever it is you're popular for, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> In case she wasn't, check every house. Starting with the ones near our base. Find a photo. Something left behind that proves that she lived there. I wonder if this is that guy's actual voice or they just deepened it in post. Mm, they... Mm, I'm not sure. It's pretty bassy. It's pretty deep. What? Oh, that's like dozens of houses, though. I gotta do that all by myself after burying her. Well, I'm sorry to put you out. I uh, hate <laughs> being such a burden. <sighs> sorry for the inconvenience. This is the worst day of my life, too. Boop. Now headbutt him. Beep. <laughs> Bop. <laughs> Bop. Buck wants to know who the bookmaker is and where I live. I guess that was a flashback. Yeah. If he knew either piece of information, he could find me long before I made it to this house, before I know what's going on even. Well, he did know about the house at least. If that happens, why didn't he just put somebody with a gun in the room where I summoned <laughs> Roxanne, like I said before? He's not very smart. Or at the, book, at the bus stop, just shoot me the second I show up. Like every yeah. time, that just solves it, right? If that happens, I'll be out of redos, I guess. I'm just making that rule up right now. I'm going to try to not think too hard about it or about the soft pulsations of my own heart in my hands. Oh, I guess. I guess that was all me. All these flowers are places where you died? Cool. <laughs> I don't remember dying in here, but I guess that happened during the last season. <laughs> One of these, like, 900 and whatever. I probably just, like, every once in a while, I just, like, choked on a peanut butter sandwich or something. It's like, that counts. <laughs> that counts. It happened here. It happened here. Make sure you chew your food, kids, because peanut butter can stick to your throats. PSA. <laughs> now we can put, like, PSA tag on this video. Damn it! Ugh, don't get lost, Whoops. kids. You might eventually waste your energy going up and down stairs and die from exhaustion. <laughs> yes, hey, remember to carry water in you at all times. You're doing so well despite the circumstances. I'm proud of you. Aw, I say with a small smile. They're proud of me. Yeah. Hey. Beep. Thanks, Roxy, bud. Beep. Boop. 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 Beep. Boop. 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 It's like just a comma multiplier going on. They just get like, they're like leaning their head back. They can't handle the boops. <laughs> but what? What's troubling you, my shooting star? I'm your shooting star now, am I? Hmm. I just saw all the flowers I've left. Each one holds the memory of another time I didn't make it. I wouldn't advise seeing any more echoes of past realities. Believe me, I've had my fill. But it's just so strange to realize how many times we've gone around. I was thinking the same thing. To think Buck hasn't given up after all this time. It's strange. 
Why have we only died once in the kitchen, apparently? What else has he had to do? <laughs> I guess, yeah. <laughs> Whenever my followers achieve lifespans so long that it borders on immortality, they usually end their lives within a year. Without the ticking clock, there's no reason to do anything today, tomorrow, this month, ever. Even with my powers, the longest a human has ever chosen to live is 125 years. Buck is thousands of years old now. To think he hasn't gotten tired of this yet. Well, he's immortal. He doesn't have a choice. He's got a goal, I guess. Also, he's immortal. Also, yeah, he's, like, he's immortal. Like I reiterate, what else does he have to do? <laughs> I guess he could just sit somewhere and stare at the wall. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Be like, man, I'm looking forward to that heat death of the universe. That'll be cool in like a million <laughs> gazillion years. Roxy, it's okay. I've made it to the last ritual again. You're almost out of here. What? You managed to get through everything. Sure did, dork. <laughs> also, we're your fans. That's right, you got none, dork. Nerd dweeb. <laughs> were you not paying attention to anything I did? I, I, we set up a PA system. I didn't set up security cameras. <laughs> Well, I guess you should have set up security camera. They haven't invented those yet. We only have flip phones. <laughs> security cameras existed with... Are you just stupid? Uh, you'd think that Buck would know better than this. <laughs> uh, Buck, uh, he doesn't have very much brains left, so... <laughs> yeah, after he got shotgunned in the face a few times, he's just working on, like, the bare minimum. It's like his skull's just empty. It's like, that's all that's left. <laughs> I mean, she's just a zombie going brah, 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 brah. <laughs> Billy hit him over the head a couple times, too. <laughs> Billy was very strong. Yeah. Billy Freend. Ah, oh, well, we kind of phoned it in with the outsourced killers, huh? But they're still useful for just one more thing. Check this out. You're going to love it. Oh, I think I will, actually. <laughs> It'll be oh, great. there's nothing I hate more than people that run from burning buildings. If anyone did that, I wouldn't love them anymore. You hear that? The silence? <laughs> Crickets in the background. The oppressive, crushing silence? <laughs> For an idol, it's probably like, I actually want to die when they hear it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't check my uh, my shitter account and see people saying that they love me. Oh. There's just something <laughs> no. so beautiful about someone who could sing their love for me amidst the fires of passion until they drop dead. <laughs> but like Stardust is actually doing an evil laugh because they know better <laughs> yeah. do you see now if you uproot the woods everybody burns there's nobody here you idiot <laughs> there's nobody here make your choice that's his game turning his fans into into hostages I can't just give myself up, but I can't send innocent people to their demise. It's a good thing there are no innocent people here anymore. <laughs> it's a good thing they all left. <laughs> is there a right move? Remember, there is a third option. If you uproot me and then kill Kid, his followers will flee. The object of their lust, dead. Not sending their best and brightest, are they, says Mazel. Well, this is the only guy they have left, so I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> this is all that the Look, the Buck saved this guy for the last for a reason. <laughs> die, let die, or kill. I know these are impossible choices for you especially, but whatever choice you make, I'm behind you 100%, my Starlight. Starlight, shooting star, stardust. Hmm. I'm behind you, star stuff. <laughs> or how about the option of nobody else is here? Yeah, they're they're gone. Thank you. Boop. Mm, <laughs> beep. Bop. Beep. Bop. Coming at you from every angle. Boop. Beep. Bop. <laughs> you can't defend yourself. The truth is, I can't make any of those choices. They've got me trapped three different ways. Why aren't I saying this thing like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Nobody else is here except me and Kid. I guess this is the last chance to do that. Yeah, but last time we were told this is your last chance, my character just straight up said, well, I already did that. Yeah. I still have a faint hope that being stubborn will see me through this. If I find all of the hostages keepsakes, there's a chance I won't be forced to make the choice. I already did it. We already did it. it. We already did it's it. Done, Shut up, man. game. Dork, dweeb, nerd, idiot, dweeb, stupid <laughs> moron. Shut up. 
ow, dying 900 gazillion times like I have is scrambling my brains. <laughs> Not as scrambled as Buck's brains, though. <laughs> <laughs> there. It's okay, you're gonna burn the music too. <laughs> I'm gonna burn the music really god. Organ donor, have a kind of I already did this. Uproot heat heartburn. If you're a lacy and sip, the blah 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 must be born, never meaningfully, the backwoods. Okay, so we just chant we're dunsies. Yeah. Roxanne. Roxanne. <laughs> Once more. Looks like I really am leaving again. These dreams with you, so long and so short, and never dull. We will meet again, yes? I've started to grow fond of Sacramento. It's a cozy diversion from the outer cosmos, and it kind of feels like my second home. I nod absently, trying to contain my laughter at Sacramento. <laughs> My thoughts are preoccupied with what's to come. Did I make the right choice? The, there's there's nobody here. There's no one else here. It's weird that they went out of their way to add a line of dialogue for achieving this the optional thing in the last episode, but not this one. Yeah. Especially since this one was much more involved and in not just looking at a, a wall and noticing something. Yeah. Once, nothing is worth regret. Memories and lessons are all worthwhile. You're making that up. No, I didn't. Still be <laughs> Even if this chapter ends differently than you'd hoped. <laughs> We've had a lot of times doing this that we don't remember, so maybe I did at some point. <laughs> you once told me, wake me up, wake me up inside. <laughs> you could tell me I've said anything. I would have to believe you, I guess. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a song, but whatever. I guess in that reality, I pretended to be a poet. I thought that was an insightful thing of you to say. She's, next line should be, I don't remember saying that and it doesn't sound like me. <laughs> thank you, Roxy. And thank you, my starlight. Take care. And be good. Later. Yeah. Later. Later. <laughs> Later. Later. See ya, loser. See ya. See I guess ya. we're leaving him to burn to death, though. So, well, that's his fault if he stays and dies. <laughs> Moron, he should just leave. We didn't befriend him, like himself. I thought I there'd be a scene, well, it might still be like he tries to stop me at the end. He's like, oh, everybody left me. Whoa, and he cries and all the purple drains from his tears. Oh, yeah, maybe. He's like, oh, whoa. <laughs> look at him. He's like, I can't believe they left. That's impossible. <laughs> he didn't turn back to look at me. Not even for a second. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> hey, kid, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Oh, you're an idol. You got a bunch of money. You can spend all your time at a gym. I don't care. Get over it. <laughs> you use the Black Woods to warp their desire. Of course their adoration wasn't genuine. I didn't know. When I suddenly got popular, I didn't guess it was because I was brainwashing everybody. <laughs> yes, you, you clearly yeah, you knew. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> all I knew was that everyone I met in Sacramento would become my biggest fan. That's all Buck told me. But if all of it was fake, what was it all for? The killings. So many people died over this. Stop blowing out your mic or whatever the hell I'm hearing right now. He really is. <laughs> his eyes are back to normal. His desire for his fans' adoration is zero. <laughs> <laughs> the Black Woods can't amplify anything as it burns. Get wrecked, nerd. <laughs> he was he was using you to feed the hoods and to catch me, and you only fell for it because you were brainwashed as well. You should go. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Bye. You think I'd save everyone else but you? Come on, let's go, nerd, idiot, dork. <laughs> Come on. And, and we'll find where? you a shirt. If the police didn't know I'm connected to every disappearance over the last year. They know now that we let a dozen witnesses go, and now that the woods are burning, I've got nowhere to hide. What? It wasn't even half a dozen. Like, was... you don't even know how to count. You, you don't even know how to count. <laughs> no wonder Buck left you for last. <laughs> My life's over. They're not going to buy a four-eyed goat from outer space made me do it. Everything I was working so hard for, 
It all vanished the second I set foot in this awful town. If I had any idea. You know, I heard your song on the radio before the disappearances started. C uh, lonely devil, some call it. <laughs> it was pretty good, I guess. <laughs> How good? Hmm. If I have to compliment you to save your life, I suppose I will. <laughs> I didn't want to die completely when I listened to it. <laughs> Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> At least I still have that. Hold on, Buck's holding another football for me to kick. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm turning myself in. I'll take whatever sentence I get quietly. And then, if I ever get out, I'm starting over in earnest. Don't worry, this reality is going to end and Buck's just going to shoot you in the next one anyway. <laughs> yeah. He leaves, disappearing into the fog like his fans before him. I follow shortly after, bidding farewell to my home yet another time. I walk until the house becomes a small flicker in the distance. The Buck wasn't even here this time. Strange, I don't usually make it this far, right? Did I do it? Am I finally free of the nightmares? Oh, look at Zombie Buck. Oh, there he is. Wait. Oh, what's that? <gasps> we did it. Look at this dweeb. <laughs> Kid has left the thousand. Good job, kid. <laughs> what a dork. <laughs> <laughs> Boop. Boop. Beep, beep. Pop. Pop. <laughs> the, the flower. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. We've been blazing through this and getting the best ending every time. This is easy piece of yeah. baby game. This baby game, kid. All nine, 999 of them. You didn't see <laughs> three through 998, but you know, whatever. We did it just off screen. We ground through that real quick like it's a JRPG. We definitely did them. You can trust us. And now we're going to start the final chapter, which doesn't even have a cover. Oh, my God. It's just like a bootleg. Are we even allowed to see this? This looks older than this case, by the way. See all the weird <laughs> Yeah, it does. I'm a guessing without knowing anything about this, that what's going to happen is Buck is going to be the main antagonist, but Nyan Lothotep might be doing some tricksies because they wanted to screw us over and want to sabotage us. They might be there, too. Yeah, probably. So we're probably gonna she have to fight. Me. We might have to deal with both of them, kids. And she had a whole bunch of spells in the last game, like a whole bunch of crazy stuff, a bunch of spookies. She has only appeared once so far in this one, so she's due for an appearance. She was in episode two. She just kind of popped up, and be like, "Hey, you're dying, dork. I'm keeping track of how many times you die." She's left. <laughs> I haven't seen her since. Maybe she shows up again if I don't spritz her, but I spritz her. <laughs> anyway, let's find out. Time. Let's find out. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh no, is this gonna be one of those creepy pasta VHS tapes where it's like that Ed Ed Nettie episode the Ed Ed Nettie episode that was pulled from the live broadcast because it's not allowed. <laughs> Buck is gonna be here, but he has blood eyes. They let Ed Ed Nettie go out there live, like on stage, unscripted, and they said some heinous sh it's like, oh, we gotta pull this immediately. Cut the feed. And Nickelodeon said that day. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <gasps> Something is very wrong. Did I doze off while reading? My daydreaming always turns into regular dreaming when I do. Is this what I was reading? Whoa. I've gotta get home. We've got the book already. I'm sorry for falling asleep in your store, but I've got to get... Oh my god... Uh... Oh my god, time, blur this out. Blur all of this out. <laughs> well, I guess we don't have to blur this out, but I guess we'll have to blur that out because YouTube's stupid. <laughs> Someone that themselves right next to me while I was sleeping. I fucking hate YouTube. That's fine. I don't... Would this even work? Isn't Moo like a weird eldritch being of some kind? She... She does seem kind of special. I assume she's gonna be okay, probably. <laughs> She'll be fine, whatever. I'm surprised Buck was able to do, do this, I guess. But I don't know, maybe she just writes the books. Maybe she just writes the books. If Buck was in here and did this right next to us, why wouldn't he just kill us while he had the chance? 
I don't know. Why doesn't he just hang out at the bus stop with a shotgun, like I said, and just <laughs> shoots us when we show up? Like, why, why well, wasn't he just sitting on this desk and just waits for us to do our good look face and just shoots us immediately with a gun? <laughs> Uh, well, it's because, uh... Because it's a video game Billy, this time. <laughs> it's because Billy hit him a lot in the head, uh, that second time. <laughs> or he should have done that as a whatever. Is that Moo? Did Bug get to her? I feel sick, so... So sick. The floor slips under my feet, and I fall back hard, loudly knocking books to the ground. I assume they're books. I can't see anything. <sighs> we do assume, just because you're in a bookstore a while. <laughs> Everything goes black. And then it opens up with gasp. <laughs> I must have fallen asleep. <laughs> but thankfully, the watermark is still here, so we know what we're watching. Oh, oh, thank goodness. What an awful dream. Hey, hey, no. Yeah, see, she's hey, like an eldritch you. thing. She's a Shoggoth, <laughs> it looks like. Yeah. Little cutesy Shoggoth, everybody. I like how you have this eye up here, but you also have that eye and that eye. <laughs> that eye. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I break the yoke? Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, stupid girl! Stupid girl! <laughs> I like her doing a heart shape with her tentacles. Her little heart shape. <laughs> Are y you an Alamau? Uh, oh. Oh. She's got a little heart in her eye. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm a mysterious, sexy librarian. <laughs> Look past my aloof and distant nature and fall in love with me ironically. I hope that there's like it's an actual puppet as in this is going to whoop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> an alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. An alien is playing with a corpse in front of me. This can't be real. I must be dreaming still. It's not a dead body. Promise. It's just a doll I used to interact with humans. Sorry to scare you. I was just hanging it up to dry, see? Your watch, I'll go into my routine. Uh, how about them political uh, situation? Oh, well, <laughs> the doll says, ah, extremely right-wing authoritarian answer. <laughs> was she just, uh, like, hiding her Shoggoth body underneath the desk back there while she was doing this? I guess. That if she was invisible? Probably invisible or something. Mm, yeah, maybe. Why are ventriloquists all right-wing? What's that about? Somebody explain that one to me. <laughs> it's a weird thing that happened. I... I don't know. <laughs> also, hey! I'm not an alien! Shoggoths are from Earth too, you know! Shoggoths, huh? Plural? There's more of you just walking around on Earth? Well, I don't really walk. We live where all the undiscovered nightmare fuel hangs out. Bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Not my fault you guys went to space before 100 percenting your own planet. <laughs> Dweebs. <laughs> <laughs> Losers. Uh, the Pacific Ocean, aren't they just in any deep part of the recesses? Uh, probably. There's a lot of deep recesses in the Pacific Ocean, though. And, well, no, maybe they hang on the ocean. They don't really care. They're kind of invulnerable, so they can any, <laughs> kind of hang out anywhere they want. We're like 100 miles from the ocean. What are you even doing all the way in the countryside? <laughs> well, one day, I grew tired of the darkness beneath the waves. And upon tentacle and maw, I skulked upon your shores for one reason. <laughs> they should have made it like, uh, instead of it being a Shoggoth creature uh, messing about with a puppet, they should have just made them a Shoggoth Lord. Do you know what a Shoggoth Lord is, Time? Mm, no. What is a Shoggoth Lord? This is only mentioned in like one book written by somebody other than Lovecraft, but it's a thing <laughs> in the tabletop setting. Mm -hmm. A Shoggoth Lord is a particularly intelligent Shoggoth that can pretend to look like a human, like they can focus really hard and then shape themselves into the shape of a person. Oh. And if you break their concentration, they can go back to Shoggoth form, <laughs> but they're capable of speech. They can make creative plans and stuff. So that would have been interesting. Pat Pat. Oh, oh I poked right in the eye. I'm sorry. Maybe she's just really bad at concentrating. Yeah, that's why I use a ventriloquist puppet. <laughs> and a, smut and a sheet over my head. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, you can. I can prove it. The, the ink and paper doesn't work so well. I guess you could, like, carve it into rocks. Whatever, time. Ink and paper works <laughs> fine if you try hard enough. Whatever. Have you tried it? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. What a trivial reason. <laughs> You know, I think that I would have heard on the news that about giant tentacle monsters roaming through the country. <laughs> you think so? But I am a master of disguise and an expert <laughs> on 
<laughs> human linguistics. I've studied your culture extensively from the water, and I've mastered every language and can speak them in any accent. Check out my cowboy voice. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. <laughs> Sorry, Sheriff, I forgot to check in my guns at the gate. Whoa. God, I don't want no Whoa. trouble. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible, Moo. I wish that you were like this from the start, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Just a howdy, partner. <laughs> You're fun. I like you. We do live in Sacramento. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, it's like you're a real cowboy. Thank you. Thank you. Get a load of Jackie Daytona. Time doesn't get that joke, but I get it, Mazel. I get you. I got you. <laughs> Though, to be honest, I only learned to read, speak, and write your languages so I can read your human books. They're far superior to cosmic scriptures. Don't get me started on the localizations. But that seems like a lot of effort. My complex motives are far beyond mortal comprehension. Whoa, you sound like Wink <laughs> drowning. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I thumb idly along the spines of books written in English. They have suggestive titles, oh baby, how have I not noticed? <laughs> You learned every human language just so you could consume all of our smut? Well, I am a tentacle creature, she responds. <laughs> yeah, what do you expect from me? Oh my god, I've wasted my life. All the physics and books. Well, I mean, I guess I know more than you because I'm an alien or whatever. Maybe they weren't as complex as I thought. Oh, you're fine. I like you. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> squish, squash, squish. <laughs> you also make life like human models and learned every language that humans speak. Is this all just a show, Moo? Are you messing with me? Are you <laughs> playing with my heart? Has this entire game just been hand puppets that you've been doing? Has this all been a silly? Have you been thoroughly pulling my leg? Have you been yanking my <laughs> chain? <gasps> Am I just a hand puppet? Oh my god, then it just pans down, you see one of her tentacle arms behind me? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, I have a thing for humans, okay? Oh my god. <laughs> Look, I'm careful with my tags, okay, says Moo. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Looking around the store, a lot of these books are eldritch curios and lore, but some of these books... Big Slippery Shoggoth Girlfriends mm -hmm. Volume 2. My Little Night Gaunt <laughs> Can't Be This. <laughs> uh, what's this? Uh, this one's Shinochi Deathblood. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Deep ones. Deep ones. Oh, oh, oh baby. <laughs> there, um, time, censor this whole video. Just blur this out. <laughs> Just the whole video on it. They're explicit stories about love between humans and eldritch entities. I didn't know these kinds of books even- Wow, Harry, are you just new to the internet? What years does this take place again? Well, there are flip phones. Maybe it's like the 90s. Did she make all these? You do live in Japan. Wow time. <laughs> what do you just- Just throw that out there and make an assumption in time. And aren't you the one who's been writing my ultra-dangerous reality-bending ritual books? Nah. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mainly just write smutty dungeons and such. Like, this is all you do? I mean... I don't think Shoggoth need to eat, so I guess this is just all they do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having trouble wrapping my mind around that. They seem like two completely dissonant skills. <laughs> yeah, those two hobbies are completely unrelated. <laughs> I raise an inquisitive eyebrow like The Rock. Wait a minute. What? So you make smut books fantasizing about humans and eldritch of gods meeting, and then also make spell books that would allow humans and eldritch gods to meet? What does make the humans and eldritch gods meet? Wait, I know what it sounds like, but I can explain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Every single one we've seen has led to a human dating an eldritch god. <laughs> <laughs> I think that what happens is Nyan Lavatep finds out and tries to fucking scuttle it. And she's and then she tries to find an out, which is why she helped D that one time, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Remember they got the book, she's like, I'm not gonna let you die because I I'm into this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, explain. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Just a long, <laughs> awkward silence. Just zooms in on her eye. You see a gerbil wheel spinning. <laughs> Goddamn, I wouldn't have waited this long. I knew it was going to force me to wait this long. <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm a disaster for human eldritch love. Oh, my God. <laughs> At least she's honest about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Like, why'd I run just into this? Heck you. I'm not hurting nobody except for most people. <laughs> You indirectly summoned reality-ending gods to our realm just so you could watch them date humans? I mean, I guess I've got a crush on Roxanne, but what does that matter? <laughs> it's not by my choice. It's fine. I guess it wouldn't be by your choice, would it? That's f***ed up, Moo. What are you doing? <laughs> quit it. Quit being a weirdo. It's worked out so far. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but then you accidentally made, like, D transcend to become whatever the hell he is now. <laughs> Look what you've done. The Eldritch God to an Eldritch God. <laughs> Them, actually. <laughs> I can't get over your voice. <laughs> also, why the heck did you make the rituals so freaking scary? They're rituals for an outer god. They're all scary. All the time. Yeah, that's just how those go. Cool. Well, if you're supposed to be helping me, why did you, why do you put the most important ritual at the very end? For dramatic effect, she will say. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, uprooting ritual? Eldritch rituals are serious business. Doing them out of order could cause who knows what. That doesn't make sense. I've done three different orders of rituals to get there so far. Well, there were different editions. And it's not like I've been asleep at the wheel here. I've been changing the books each time I find a potentially quicker, safer path to uprooting. Yeah. I guess the third one was pretty quick, wasn't it? Wasn't it only like three things or something? Yeah, there wasn't very much. It was mostly... The only thing that slowed us down was... The only thing that slowed us down was getting the toadies, like the fanboys and girls, off of that guy. Yeah. But there's only so many options when humans outright can't produce some sounds needed for many incantations. The voice that she's doing sounds like Link in uh, Majora's Mask in Zora form, getting his ass kicked underwater. <laughs> I haven't had a problem so far. Say Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. 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 I can't. That's an Elgis word. I can't pronounce that shit. Worcestershire. Okay, you've made your point. All I was trying to say is that it's a cryptographic marvel that you can consistently perform these rituals. And that I'm a genius. That's all I'm really trying to say. I'm also super cool. Like, I've got the best Magic the Gathering deck. You don't even know. <laughs> How smart is a Shoggoth normally, Cable? A regular one's pretty dumb. It's basically just a servant. They're told to go somewhere and do a thing, and they do it. <laughs> Shoggoth lords are pretty rare. So she, so she is pretty smart for a Shoggoth, then. <laughs> She'd be a lord, but I just... That's why I said that she should be able to just change her shape to a human instead of <laughs> puppeting one around. Unless they're trying to say this isn't a Shoggoth. It's very clearly a Shoggoth. It's <laughs> clearly a Shoggoth. Oh, is that all? Besides, Roxy loves the rituals. She's a god, she likes rituals. And the scarier they are, the faster you fall in love. <laughs> Whoever did this voice did a good job, good job. Whoever did this voice. That's not how that works at all. It totally worked. Roxy likes you. Like, she likes you, likes you. Oh, she's got it bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> but you fabricated the whole situation, bro. <laughs> like, if we met in a gosh darn Walmart one day, would we just walk past each other? I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. Well, I guess the answer is no, because I'd be pretty confused about an eldritch goat lady walking by, but I don't think we'd fall in love as a thing. Nah, you would hit it off. Meet cute. Meet cute, did you just say? Is that a, th is that a term? <laughs> yeah. Meet cute? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, but, really? Oh, yeah. I'm writing fanfics of the two of you right now. This stuff is hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Behind her on the floor, her other tentacles are, like... Just flailing around, like, knocking books off shelves. With, with like, pens writing down. Let's see. Text. Mining. Slow burn. One-sided. <laughs> just scrivening. She's just scrivening away back there. <laughs> <laughs> Planning slow burn. Are these the tags of the story? Are these the tags? <laughs> the tags, yeah. It's one. It's not one-sided. God. It's not? <laughs> well, I do spritzer, so I guess it is one-sided. <laughs> I wish we had the spritzer now. Wait, I mean, well, she really is gorgeous, I say blushing. And, uh, I ship it. <laughs> 
She did appear when you did the, like, perfect mate ritual thing. <laughs> she ships it. <laughs> she ships it. <laughs> of course she does. So it turns out this whole game is a slash fic, everybody. <laughs> Wait, no, no period, no capitalization. Price difference, age difference, mommy, monster girl. Wait, is Roxy a monster girl or a furry? I'll add them both and let the algorithm work its magic. The kind of both. I think it qualifies as both. <laughs> it just, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's both time. Yeah, I think we're in agreement. Yeah, that's definitely both. <laughs> Roxanne, Stardust. No, oh my god! Your chef name is Rockstar! No! Oh my god! <laughs> The rock star definitely works better. It turns out this whole situation has been fabricated by like a middle school fanfic writer. <laughs> I hate to kill the fun, but a lot of people have gotten really hurt because you made this book, including me and at least 1,000 other people. <laughs> well, 900. Well, no, I guess I guess Buck's probably hurting right now. B B Buck seems like he's pretty hurting. Yeah, at least 1,000 people, kid. It was never supposed to be like this. I thought only good things could come from summoning Roxy to your world. She just wants Earth to be one big happy family. And she's a wonderful mother. <laughs> also, I'm a Shoggoth. I don't actually care what happens to humans. Yeah, I'm going to be here for like thousands more years at least. I don't think Shoggoths <laughs> die of age. Like, Shoggoths are goofy. Like, they kind of just do whatever the hell. <laughs> they can squeeze in any shape. They can smoosh people. They're like uh, indestructible. They live, I think, essentially forever. I don't know if they reproduce. I mean, they must, but I mean, they must live long ass time. Yeah. And she's kind. She's the only one who didn't laugh me out of Astrid's court when I suggested that humans and Eldritch entities belong together. In fact, she agreed with me. Is... Is Astrid this setting stand in for Azathoth? Maybe. <laughs> When do we get to take oh that my one? God. In the sequel time. <laughs> We're going all the way to the top in the sequel. <laughs> just just be very careful not to wake her up. Well, whatever. So far, they just gone back to sleep and just made a new one and you're there again, so. I suppose, but if you wake that one up, all of the everything goes away. <laughs> we'll just dream again. They'll be like, well, I'm awake and nothing else is here. This is boring. I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> We made the book together, an all-in-one ritual book full of spells that would make the perfect date. Plus an abort button, the uprooting ritual, in case the human needed to be rescued from Roxy. We picked the perfect human together too, a young, handsome human man who had already spent so much time and money fruitlessly trying to contact Roxanne on his own. Mm. <laughs> he flew through the rituals, started a huge family in her worship and grew the thousand to such a size that the whole world was under Roxanne's influence. That sounds like more than a thousand, actually. Uh, well, it just depends on how many thousands you're talking about. You talk about just a thousand or like numerous hundreds of thousands? Because <laughs> you can just keep going with hundreds of thousands, even if it goes into millions, you know what I mean? Because that's just more hundreds of thousands, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I never really clicked like I had hoped. But he had his god, and Roxanne had her family. They were so, so happy and carefree. But you should never be carefree when dealing with cosmic forces beyond reckoning. You know, I think we threw this on Nyan Lothotep when she showed up that one time as, like, being behind it. But I, I, I edited that recently, and I don't think she was... I think she just showed up to laugh at the situation. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's actually all your fault, Moo. Yeah. Oh my god. Get out of here. Get out of your show. Get out of your Get out of Get out of here. <laughs> At some point, Buck decided to steal a smooch outside of Black Ceremony, completely out of order and without consulting the ritual book first. Oh my god, and then they held hands and it's like, oh, what, what, the, what are you doing? <laughs> that wasn't part of my fan fiction. Instead of causing some obscure ritual to fail disastrously, Something far worse happened. He accidentally performed a certain ritual perfectly, by pure bad luck. The Kiss of Immortality ritual. It was sealed with the smooch he stole. He probably should have made that one a little harder to do then. What is the ritual? Just kiss Roxanne? 
Just just kiss Roxanne. That's it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Which, considering she's the goddess of lust, would be like, wouldn't that always happen? Or at least everyone <laughs> attempt to do it? Did he, like, catch her when she's turning her head and be like, meh? <laughs> <laughs> He tried everything to reverse his immortality. When nothing worked, he changed. We'll just f***ing erase him from the next draft. <laughs> Can you, like, just choose to not dream about him, or...? Yeah, just well, I guess... do, do that thing where you look in the mirror and convince yourself to do a thing in your dream, but this time it's like, make sure you don't dream about boy. <laughs> I, I guess uh, they said earlier that he just, when the reality stops since he's immortal, he just, like, falls out and ends up in the void for a while until it starts dreaming again, so I guess he just kind of shows up. Uh, next time, dream that there's a box that he falls in and you immediately close the lid and lock it <laughs> and he's just stuck there. Just a box. Oh, damn it. I can't believe he fell into a five-foot thick lead box <laughs> with, like, no air in it. Get f the box. I hate you. You've killed me, like, at least 1,000 times we've established. I hate you. What a jerk. So many people so many humans that Roxanne considered her children. Gross. You think that one day happened and she was like, man, none of these kids look like me. <laughs> <laughs> none of them even have horns. What's up with that? And she's just like side eyes buckling. Mm -hmm. All these realities later, he's still tormenting her. I don't know if it's revenge or if he's got some other plan in mind, but... He's never going away. He's probably got nothing else to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a big fat screw up this was. If Roxy of all the gods can't find happiness with a human, there's no hope for any of us cosmic entities. Between you and me, Roxy is the hottest one in the family by far. <laughs> As a veteran of the first game, I'm going to go ahead and say that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like best? I like Lynetta the best. Lynetta. Is I thought cool. she was cool. Yeah. That might just be because she was the first, though. I will admit that it might just be biased because she was the first. Also, what happened to D? I feel like you just keep writing stories about him. Where does Stardust come in? <laughs> oh, well... Since D turned into an eldritch deity's eldritch deity, she can't like include him anymore. She's like, he just does what <laughs> she he just does whatever he wants at this point. <laughs> I just keep crossing my tentacles, hoping for the best. So that's why I'm trusting you with my books. I hope it's not too weird to say, but I think after seeing you time and time again, that I should have given you the book to begin with. I wish that even though you're in Shoggoth form now, you still had like one lens of glasses on you. Like, <laughs> Just the one pair. <laughs> Just a, not like Just one a, lens of glass, because it's not glasses, because it's only one. A monocle, I not guess. Not like a monocle, being. though. It's still got... Yeah, not a monocle. It's just like one lens of a pair of glasses, but it still has the things <laughs> over the head. <laughs> well, I'm glad the book eventually found its way to me, but it's like a past baton. Every leg of the sprint leading up to me was significant and worthwhile. And if I've got the pass, and if I've got to pass it on again, I think I'm okay with that. But I also think I would really like to be the one that gets to cross the finish line. The one who gets to show Roxy how far we ran together. Okay, that's it. You two are too perfect. <laughs> Sorry, Roxy, you're gonna kill me for this. But you can't expect me to sit through a thousand episodes of Stardust dying before you can admit how you feel. Only a thousand? <laughs> I, I mean, we've had one for every one of the thousands, so... But in the second one, it implied that we died a whole sh load of times. Well, I mean... Remember the wall had, like, f 60 notches in it? Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess. Here you go, you crazy kid! It's the kiss of immortality ritual. Do us all a favor and end up together already! <laughs> okay. We should definitely do this. Wait, that's the same ritual that Buck did. But, like, by accident mm. ways. Maybe I should do it by purpose ways. <laughs> Becoming permanent, this means I'll never die no matter what. Even when reality ends again, will I end up like Buck? Will I? Holding this sinister page fills me with a palpable dread. This ritual is what started all of this. It's what caused Buck to go mad. It's what turned the Thousand against Roxanne. It's what made every reality a nightmare. It's what caused me to suffer and perish countless times. But it's also what brought me to Roxanne. Hmm. I think this is it. I think it's the key to ending all of this for good. 
It's how I can stop Buck and the nightmares. Oh? Fighting fire with fire? Uh, smooches with smooches, more like. No, we'll just do the ritual backwards and it'll turn off his immortality. Obviously. I honestly don't care if this solves the problem. I just want to kiss Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Your smooch meter was at two, two hearts, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god. Once I cast this, my fate will be the same as Buck's. There's no take backsies. <laughs> but I have the heart to live with what I am given. No take backsies in needed. I'm ready to accept that what great highs and lows eternity has in store for me. If you give love, it comes back. That's not necessarily true, but that's cute of you to say, Stardust. <laughs> if I embrace eternity, eternity will embrace me. All right. Now I'm really pumped. No more baton passing. I'm going. Are you coming too? No way, Jose! Buck's scary looking! <laughs> I like that an eldritch being is saying, no way, Jose, as like a saying. Hey, you're a shot. Yeah, you're literally invulnerable. You just like bowl over him, just squish him, you die. You have spikes on you. Like, just get him. <laughs> well, he wouldn't die, but he wouldn't be able to do much about it. She won't die either. Like, <laughs> Like, she can't. She's a shock off. <laughs> well, if I squish him, I'll get, like, undying bits of him, like, in my tentacles. And it'll be impossible to get him out. Yeah, it'll just be there, like, gross and icky. <laughs> I won't, like, get rotten because he's going to be eternal. But, like, it's still weird and gross. And like <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, I know that I'm scary, too. But I can't just run into the unknown like humans can. Shock offs aren't brave like you are. I'm the only one that even left the sea for crying out loud. That's You're invincible. <laughs> blatantly not correct. <laughs> don't worry, you don't have to come. I have your book. That's all I've needed so far. That's all I'll need now. Go get him, Stardust. You go get him, Tiger, she says, smacking you on the ass as you leave. <laughs> no sign of anybody. Oh, there's a... Whoops, we well, died right click here. It. Whoops. <laughs> That's the time where he's like, maybe if I just shoot her in the face, she walks outside and do it. <laughs> it worked pretty well. Shamey didn't do it more than once. Maybe you should have listened to me, the person he was trying to kill. <laughs> by the way, we're being hit by the Majora's Mask moon. That's fine. It's also apparently April 20th. <laughs> this could be the end of my life as a mortal, couldn't it? All in all, I have to say it's been a blast and whatever's ahead. I know there'll be something to love next time on Sucker for Love Day to Die For. We enter the house and try to save Roxy one final time. Yeah, and maybe we become immortal. Maybe, that'd be kind of cool, but not really. But that's fine. Next time, everybody. <laughs> next time. Next time. Hey, Sucker for Love Day to Die For. I'm Cable East Time. We just got back to the house in the final episode of the game, everybody. Can we save Roxanne one more time? Time. Yeah, we definitely can. Last time we talked to Moo, who revealed that this was all just a fanfic shipping <laughs> situation, so that's what's happening in the background, everybody, but hopefully we'll be able to get love and s defeat Buck, who will probably kill us like nine times. Yeah, it's fine, though. He's killed us a lot of times already. It'll be okay. Are these the flowers where we died? I, I think that's what they're supposed to be. They're like, each one of those is a, a place that we died. Wasn't last time there were special, like, more bluish flowers, like whiter flowers that were up that we were supposed to look at? Am I thinking of episode two? I'm thinking of episode two. Uh, I, th I think there was just like a regular flower in the vase upstairs. No, there was a flower on the of? floor that we were supposed to find at one point, because remember we touched it and then we had a flashback to our dead body sitting there? That was one of these. It was in the kitchen. Wow, we died a lot of times, kid. <laughs> Time to enter the tatami room, one of about 12. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh, frames. What the hell? Well, bucket of blood pulled out once they realized, like, we're not going to plant a field of flowers. That's not hardcore enough. <laughs> Even with the, the, the walls covered in dried blood. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... It's all lit up by these pink ass flowers. Like, that's <laughs> lame. Whatever, I'm out of here. Oh my oh, god. That's normal. Yeah, it's uh, 420 Blaze it outside, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, baby. So, I, th I guess the big choice in this one is going to be whether or not we cast the immortality ritual, I suppose. I'm guessing the good ending would be saying no. 
because the bad ending would be like, well, now you're just Buck. Yeah. Right? So let's not go for immortality if given the choice time. We can always do the other ending if we need to. It's also like baiting you because it's like, well, you obviously want to be immortal, right? Wink, wink, right? <laughs> wink, wink, right? It's like, no. I don't. <laughs> oh, frames. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, why is it having frames? Suddenly? Well, I moved and like it hit here with the hand, and then it just stopped yeah. for like several seconds and then let me move again. The go back to the statue for a sec. Oh, man. <laughs> why? Do you see the the back end of it is like a double? Yes, I see that it's doubled up time. <laughs> Stop bringing up attention to the fact that they copy pasted the environment, just added this over when they added the flowers or whatever happened. <laughs> don't don't forget to get the spray bottle. In case anybody accidentally, like from the development team, sees this, you you might want to erase this <laughs> yeah. and like update the game. I mean, nobody's gonna see this ever, but you know whatever. In case somebody <laughs> knows the developer, nobody's gonna find this. Whatever time, shut up, God. <laughs> This section of the book has been compiled from the deaths of your past lives in order to ensure your current incarnation survives as long as possible. Your suffering in this place has earned you this advantage, so adhere to the instructions precisely. To perform a kiss of immortality, simply kiss Roxanne Selva Oscura in the presence of a greater rod bloom. If there is no greater rod bloom presence, stand in a room with Roxanne and at least 1,000 rod bloom flowers. Well, I'm pretty sure that's already a thing. Draw <laughs> yeah. this symbol. Chant. This. The flower will bloom within... I don't have the chant. <laughs> Oh no. The flower will bloom within seven minutes. Eternal life awaits you. Make the most of it. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> cloud of flesh flies. Cloud flowers. of flesh flies. If you hear a lot. Oh, this is going to be like. This is going to be. It's it's the neon moth yeah. stuff thing. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay. Um, <laughs> time. Keep. No, I'm going to read this once and then we'll just have to. We're going to pause the timer and just go through and study them so we remember. <laughs> yeah. If you hear a loud buzzing or a sudden swarm of, these are probably mostly the same as last time. If you hear a loud buzzing mm. or a sudden swarm of flying insects, flee now. Move quickly and deliberately away from the room you spotted the bugs until you can no longer see a single fly. The flies will not follow far, but be wary. Once they've caught your scent, there will likely be another feeding frenzy within minutes. You aren't fleeing the flies. You're fleeing from what they're coming from. Spooky. Check windows frequently. In the events of seeing the flock of crow-like creatures outside immediately flee to an interior room without windows, open or close. They are not crows. Their arrival will be silent, but their number's great. Once you hear loud flapping of wings, they have stopped circling. It is safe to come out. That's tempestuous murder. With four eyes like Roxanne, by the way. Oh, yeah. Cloud of flesh flies, contempt. I, I think it's super badass that crows, like in a group, are called a murder. That's pretty hardcore. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty hardcore. Can you imagine, like, because if you befriend, because we talked about this before, but if you befriend crows, they'll just hang out and, like, keep an eye on you because they think you're their buddy. <laughs> imagine having, like, just a murder of crows, like, as your friend. Let's just hang out in the neighborhood. <laughs> you better not f me. A murder of crows might just harass you if you're a dick. Sometimes they give you things. Yeah, they bring me bottle caps and stuff, and it's pretty neat. Hush. The uh, hush of the deep woods. Uh, if all sound has been stolen, panic loudly. <laughs> Loud noises are your only salvation. Keep a running clock in your head. Oh At boy. least once every... I'm not going to remember any of these times. Yeah. <laughs> At least once every 15 seconds, create a loud noise. It does not matter what it is, only that it is loud. Do this for a full minute. The, the full minute? How much time do you think I have? <laughs> the hush hungers for your silence. Starve it. So if the sound goes away, make noise every minute. Just, like, it says at least every 15 seconds, so I assume you can just kind of, like, grab a door and slam it repeatedly. <laughs> I'll just slam it until the sound comes back, then. Yeah. I'll be writing this down time. <laughs> Summon Ultra Predator. If you feel a sudden sense of dread and your heart begins to race... It is your natural prey instinct. Hide in a room with only one entrance and no open windows. The bedrooms. Okay. Mm, yeah. Once inside, face the only way in. Do not look away. Waiting is the worst part, but stay strong. It will never attack you from the front. Once the dread subsides, it has likely sought prey elsewhere, or it has found a better hiding spot. Spooky. Stygian canopy. If your vision is darkening or you catch glimpses of trees where they shouldn't be, the black woods are forcing night upon all living things within it. This includes nocturnal predators. Mm -hmm. Find any lit candles and stare directly at them. The trees will retreat from its glow. Do not look away. 
The song of morning birds chirping means you survived the artificial night. Call of the seventh knock. Listen carefully for the direction of knocking. Move slowly towards the sound. If another sound distracts you, do not follow it. The knocking is your only guide. Pull the door open in one swift motion. Once the seventh knock begins, do not hesitate. Your timing must be perfect. If the sixth knock comes before you find the source, stay perfectly still. Do not even breathe. It may pass you by. <gasps> this is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. I'm not going to remember any of these. Um, Death of Death. Oh. If you notice corpses rising from fields of rot bloom flowers, the second floor balcony is your only sanctuary. Wait, so this is a ritual specifically about the second floor balcony of this house? <laughs> it is the only room you've ever done you've never died in. Oh, why have we never died there? Um, I don't know, maybe they just never thought to kill us there. I guess. Your deaths have given new life, and they are hungry to trade their fate for yours. They will not last long in this world and will starve quickly. Wait it out. Be warned, there may be stragglers. <laughs> so just run away if I see corpses, I guess. Just go to the balcony, I guess. <laughs> if yeah. bodies start rising from the floor, just run to the balcony. <laughs> uh, if the walls and floors begin creaking loudly, the house itself has been given life by the volumes of immortal blood spilled within and soaked into the foundation. Exit before you are crushed. The staircases are not safe. Do not use them. If you are upstairs, you must leave through a window. Do not use doors that move on their own. They are mouths. <laughs> that was spiteful dwelling. We're getting eaten up by the house, kid. <laughs> a fumigating miasma. A thick mist will fill the lower levels of the house. Seek higher ground immediately. Stand near any open window on the top floor. The spores work fast. Dizziness and nausea will overtake you within seconds of exposure. Not a lot of time to get away from that one. <laughs> well, you, uh, if whatever the hell this is happens, if we see a mist, run upstairs to a window, I guess. Yeah. Or I guess the balcony is another sure bet for this, right? Yeah. Just another balcony, especially since that's like right next to the stairs. Just whatever. Go to the balcony for this. <laughs> oh, Slender Man. Megafauna hum homino hominid. <laughs> megafauna hominid. The megafauna hominid stuck silently and seemingly at random on impossibly elongated limbs. Avoid being in a room with it for too long. Upon seeing it, you will be compelled to scream yourself to death. Note, it does not appear to be hostile, but you may, but you have died many times because of it all the same. <laughs> so, what do you do about it? It just says don't be in a room for too long, but if you look at it, you die. It's probably like if you see, just leave, or else you'll scream, and then that causes you to. I don't. They're, they're probably gonna embarrass. Like, no, stop screaming! I don't know what to do. And then they freak out and like start beating you with their hands. And like, I don't know what to do. Also, it's a, it's a very large humanoid with lo with elongated limbs. So, so it's just, it's just Slender Man. I hope it's just that giant head from Silent Hill Four, like in that room you can find. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Summon Firstborns. Hey, we already dealt with you. Yeah. If you hear the loud cry of a baby, flee to the heart of the woods. Do not emerge until the candles blow out on their own. Be observed. We've done this one. So we kind of sort of know what to do with them. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. We're going to die a lot. <laughs> yeah. I thought we were going to finish this tonight. We might take the entire night to do it. So um, buckle in buckaroos. Okie dokie time. We've just studied up on the spells. I don't remember any of them, but you wrote them down. <laughs> so hopefully we won't die. Yeah, we need to uh, yeah. summon Roxanne. Oops, douse any candles. Oops, come back here. There we go. I already picked that up. Got the thing, and we're good. Okay, so face the tree. Sorry, it took me a while to start dreaming this time. I was too anxious to fall asleep. It didn't make a difference to me, Roxanne. <laughs> I literally didn't notice. So, this is it. Buck is the only remaining member of the thousand. <laughs> Are you ready for what's to come? Well, maybe. I say blushing and looking away. <laughs> we do have three hearts on Smooch Meter. Oh, baby. It's only hitting me just now that this kiss of immort- Oh, that's the Smooch tie-in! <laughs> yeah! We press Smooch <laughs> to become immortal immortality ish <laughs> Oh my god. That this kiss of immortality thing... 
Isn't it kind of like asking to marry her? <laughs> Promising to be with her forever, sealed with a kiss and no take backsies? Oh. I can't believe take backs has been said like four times so far. <laughs> yeah. Holding this book feels like fumbling with an engagement ring in my pocket. Thomas, <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm fine. Um, Nervous? <laughs> you don't even know. The butterflies in my stomach are building to the point of unbearability. Just as I'm about to swallow them down, a breeze blows into my room, carrying a foul stench that fills my lungs. I fall over, retching. My eyes sting and water uncontrollably, and I have to actively fight the urge to hurl. Blah, this is ruining the mood somewhat. Blah, she's like, whatever, I can deal with it. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing I've ever had to deal with, says Roxy. You think this is the weirdest thing I've ever had to deal with? <laughs> I've smelled much, much worse things than this. Wh what is that smell? Did something die? No. Something didn't. Oops. <laughs> if only. He's here. I can sense him. You've got the book? I guess sen I guess smell is a sense, yes. I feel like I'm about to heck and duel this guy with keyblades. <laughs> it's boss fight time. Got it. Now or never. It takes us into a turn-based RPG suddenly. <laughs> I prop myself up on one knee and open the book to the Kiss of Immortality ritual, revealing it to her. <laughs> you don't have to kneel to me for my rich. <gasps> Where did you get that? No. Mood. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> <laughs> But it says you're always in the mood. <laughs> I thought I had something to say planned, but my mind is completely blank with the nerves. Say something. Anything. Stupid girl. Stupid, <laughs> stupid girl. <laughs> Roxy, I... I only exist because you dream about me. Without you, there'd be no me. Mm. And when I look back on my life and all the things that I got to see and do... Aren't we kind of... Already immortal, because she'll just keep dreaming about us anyway. It'd take me forever to say thank you, so I will. Box <laughs> 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 inside the house, I've got to get going. Think about it, okay? I'm going to get started on it, but I won't finish it if you don't say yes, okay? Okay. <laughs> Finally, here we go. One versus one plus checkpoint. I've got only <laughs> one ritual to get through. Let's do this. Didn't? Wasn't there not very much for this? Presence of a greater rod bloom. A greater rod, rod bloom. bloom. In a room with a thousand rod bloom and draw that symbol, which. Is this. There are not enough of them in this room? Hello? Uh, oh, it says survive seven minutes. Oh, okay. I guess I don't have a choice. I see. We need Whatever. To we haven't floor. used this, like, at all. Yeah, we had it, like, one time, I think. I guess we'll just do it here. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say no to eternal life, but I guess that this is the final episode, so there's no choice. <laughs> it's just tech and... Cut, like took the busted out the glue <laughs> stick and just added this page in here. <laughs> yeah, Look at it, it's not even like fully this page. It's like just kind of like over it. <laughs> just kind of like stuffed it in there. Goku, yes, you want you wanna you could dove. Well, now we gotta wait. So what have you been doing today, Tarn? Uh, eh, just been at work. Cool. <laughs> Don't tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you remember the triggers time, because I don't. I got them. I got them. Nothing's happening, though. <laughs> Seven minutes? Hello. We don't have to go anywhere. Oh, faint buzzing. Which one is buzzing uh, time? It's just run away, right? That's, we have to just run until we don't hear it anymore. 
Get out of here. No, stop. Get out of here. Quit it. Uh, oh. This one, it said, uh, might happen again. Well, it said that we weren't running away from the flies. We were running from whatever it came from. Yeah. So I guess I'll just keep running them around. It sounds like it's getting quieter-ish. <laughs> that is his TV playing. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> forgot to the TV. This is going to be seven minutes of me just running through rooms. There, it stopped. Okay, so we have to... Ellipses? Uh, no sound? Uh, How do I make sound? Uh, just, like, slam the door. It has to be for, like, a full minute, though. <laughs> well, this is gonna hurt my arm after a minute. <laughs> just slamming the door repeatedly. <laughs> just... Uh, you this is Super Saiyan 1, and this is Super <laughs> Saiyan 2, and this is to go even further beyond! <laughs> oh, shit, I did that, I guess. What happened? Uh, are we... did we die? I'm apparently alive. I'm not dead. Okay. What was the crows about? What was I supposed to do with crows? Uh, the crows was to go to a windowless room. I get which it. Is this one. It'll I didn't say, take damn. Maybe I get like three hits and I'm done. Oh, maybe. The way to keep track of that, it seems. But I'm still alive, so did I bug it out? <laughs> the will be silent, but the numbers are great. They're not crazy. Flapping crazy. wings. They stop circling. I don't hear flapping wings. Oh, what is this? Whoa. Time help. What is this noise? Uh, what is this noise? I don't know this noise time. I. I don't know this one. Uh, I thought you wrote them down. Time, I'm getting creepy vines on the side. Uh, vines is we have to go look at lit candles. Lit candles. OK, gotcha. We're on this. We're on the case. The That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. No, don't. <laughs> Damn it. No, this game's hard. Time. Time. I'm dead. Blah. Heck. Oh, I'm not dead. Good. I'm still alive, though. Is it just going to be seven minutes of us just hacking around and it's like, you did it. <laughs> the one that isn't dead is the one that survived. Shut up. <laughs> Maybe. That'd be kind of lame, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I guess it would also be kind of annoying if I had to die 15 gazillion times to beat this. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't grabbed that bathroom door, I would have gotten it, kid. Yeah. Oh, it's, look at that Gatorade sky. <laughs> Predatory growling time. Where do I go? I go to the... I go to the... Uh, hide... A uh, room with no windows and only one entrance, and you have to face the door. Okay, it's so the bedroom, I think. Yeah. We've never been in that other bedroom. That's probably going to be the final room. This has a window. Uh. I guess I'll just hope for the best, and if this is wrong, we don't know. Is The bathroom has two doors. The bathroom does have two doors. Um. 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 Unless one of these rooms had a thing. Heavy steps retreating. The, I think we did oh, it. the entrance room. No, unless it counts the front door. I don't know. Undead groaning. Undead is. That's the balcony, right? Yeah, that's the balcony. Oh, get out of here, other stardust from many years ago. Quit it. <laughs> You're losers. You're dead. You're not going to get Roxanne's heart. It's me. I'm the one. <laughs> from many years ago. <laughs> well, probably. Yeah, all, all in all, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you take all the time they spent dying, it's probably like years. <laughs> Whatever. What if I just take like a, a relaxing bath while you're trying to kill me on dead <laughs> knees? What are you going to do then? Be jealous, I bet, because you don't get to do that anymore. <laughs> Dorks. Okay. Even for babies. Have they happened in order so far? I don't think so. Hush of the Deep. That's Predator. Canopy hasn't happened yet. This is the crow thing. What do I do with crows just stay in here with no windows? Uh, windowless room, yeah. It says window. Mm -hmm. What's windowless? I don't remember. The basement? The basement is windowless, you're correct. Whoops. I always think I'd turn around. Stay back, birdos. Does the TV room have a window? This room doesn't or have like windows. Or like just this one, yeah. This room doesn't have windows. Shut up, dorks. 
Oh, now we gotta uh, go whoops. in the basement. We gotta go in the basement, kids. Whoa, frames. Go down here, then turn around, look at the candles, wait for them to burn out. Yeah. And then turn around and leave once they're gone. Dum, 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 dum. They're very heavy babies, the firstborns. The sounds they're making is reminding me of the, the, uh, the, oh, what are they called? The, the bad guys from Siren. Does anybody remember Siren, the video game? I remember uh, Siren, the video game. The, like, the effect they have on the voice and how it's high pitched and like whiny or whatever. <laughs> so like a baby sounds like that. Go away, babies. Get out of here, babies. Thought we heckin' uh, fumigated through these and put like that, <laughs> that pest repellent around the border of the house. We had to put a baby bomb in the house. Gross. <laughs> you remember what I'm talking about, Mazel? Yeah, the time, the time the game Siren had some like baby monsters in it or whatever. They were like really big, but they had like baby voices. <laughs> Sounded like this. They're very persistent, these babies. You don't even know English. Get the fuck away from me, baby. <laughs> Come back when you ought to talk right. God. Hey, babies. <laughs> Show up and they're like, I they're like a Google Papa. It's like, you don't even know English. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> wow, is this just never going to burn out? It's just the rest <laughs> of them. They're just going. First born screaming. Oh. It said no matter what I hear, to ignore it. Yeah. I never saw the canopy thing. Oh, if we're getting, this is probably the creaking, we have to leave the house. Leave the house? Are you sure time? Because if you're wrong, I'm dead. <laughs> I think so. I, okay, you're, you're wrong oh, time. Yeah, I was wrong. That was the babies. Well. We're two minutes in the back time. <laughs> we died because time was wrong, everybody. I was wrong. Where I... the hell even am I? Where are we? Uh... Okay. Oh, damn it. Pretty close. Time. <laughs> I get it now, though. If you die, you gain minutes. Because we were only yeah. like 40 seconds away from winning. And then time was wrong. No, we were 16 seconds away. Time! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn it, time. What was the creaking you were talking about? That noise? This sound is trashy. Do not follow it. The knocking is your only guide. Pull the door open. It's a door. That's not the your time must be right six. That's knocking. How many knocks has it been? It's. Is it knocking? It just sounds like crackling. Well, I'm just gonna yeah, wait. Like I'm just gonna wait. Like I'm just gonna wait. Knocking. And the babies are still here. <laughs> Dorks. Where's Buck? He was also hiding from the babies. Yeah, this whole time he's also trying to get killed by the different things. <laughs> All right, the flower should have bloomed by now. Just need to get back. Was that Roxanne's no. scream? I've got to get back, I say Naruto running. <laughs> I must save my goat waifu. <laughs> no! Don't destroy my well-endowed love interests. <laughs> Stay away. She's an eldritch god. Can she be destroyed even? Well, she'll wake up and I'll be gone. I'll do this again. That'd be annoying. Mm, I guess. <sighs> Roxanne! Whoa. Oh. Hey, I'll fight you. Ooh, baby. Oh, hi. You've got something in your everything. Is that like your like off button there in the center of your face. Can I just press <laughs> just, that and turn you off? <laughs> His immortality just shuts off and he falls over. Just boop and it's like, oh man, this program's preventing me sh from shutting down. And like halfway through saying <laughs> down, it just shuts itself down. <laughs> Stardust? Me. Just smooch him again and suck the immortality out of his face. <laughs> That's how it works, right? What are you doing to her? Scaring her awake. Now that you're here. Easier. Now, not only do you have a cool, deep, gravelly voice, but also it has like an old TV filter over it. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. interesting. How do you get your voice to do that, especially when you don't seem to have lungs? There's like a walkie talkie in his throat. <laughs> he's got, he's just got somebody else. <laughs> yeah, somebody else is talking for him. That's fine, too. 
I want to be so angry, but I can't be angrier than I am, frustrated and confused. The light is there because that's a recording uh, symbol. They're watching what's happening through a camera in his fa- in his forehead. Buck's like brain dead. Look at him. <laughs> He's just like a husk getting puppeted around through robotics. <laughs> robotics has gone too far. Why? Why would you do this? Tormenting us isn't going to change a thing. Why can't you just face the reality that you're immortal already? God, get over it! (laughs) The reality is that I'm immortal. I couldn't care less. If the eternal sleeper wakes up, the end. Immortality or not. But, but that's not her. That's... This is, that is a completely different god. What does that have to do with... Also, you're too, like, fucking, like small potatoes to even be relevant <laughs> to that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop Azathoth, this dweeb says. Okay, good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> have fun. Y- you're talking about ending everything? Everything, everything? The Mr. Deccan Albuck? <laughs> How is torturing Roxanne supposed to do that? Why are you punishing her? To make her scream loud enough that the sleeper hears it. If she doesn't, maybe another god will. Wait, so you want to wake up the god, but then you'll be gone too? Like, well, he wants to be I gone. I mean, I guess he wants to be gone, so yeah. that makes sense, whatever. I guess he thinks waking up the, the, the god god is the only way to make that happen, I suppose. Look at my ribbed cage, he says. <laughs> it's so hecked, it's neon at this point. <laughs> How did you get it to be that color? <laughs> I don't know. It's been that many <laughs> times through, he said. <laughs> Any god that learns that I exist will start having nightmares, too. Are you sure about that? That doesn't sound correct. Once I'm in their head, it's sheet clutching nightmares forever. I'll never stop. Now yeah, Mathotep knows about you, and she seems fine. I hope D just like dive kicks him in the face. <laughs> just like drop kicks him from <laughs> off screen. <laughs> I only need one screamer. I'll find them eventually. I'm human. The ultimate persistence predator. Sorry, I just rolled back my brain to try to determine if this character could possibly be D, and I'm pretty sure no. I, I just, want, I just want to make so. sure. I just want I went back and thought about his face and like, nah, it's not him. <laughs> I just want to make sure. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't we just, like, cut his arms and legs off and then he literally can't do anything? You can't stop my power of charisma, he says. <laughs> what if we just cut your head off? What happens then? <laughs> well, I'll... I'll, I'll, bite, I'll bite your finger. I'll, I'll bite your fingers. <laughs> He's reduced to just his skull. And, like, when we get off the bus, he just, like, pounces from a bush, just gnaws at our throat. <laughs> <laughs> have gotten away with it too if it weren't for this meddling cat <laughs> oh my hello God. auntie nyan nyan i guess auntie nyan nyan was maybe trying to draw this boy out and be like get ragged dork she was playing the long game uh, oh my god also are you busy lady or auntie nyan nyan <laughs> no yes i have a date already with somebody <laughs> Damn it! I mean, that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> right in front of Roxanne. <laughs> Look at this, Dak, and you're gonna be my next summon in Final Fantasy. She says. <laughs> Anti Nyanyan. I guess she's a good guy, actually. I guess. Sort of, kind of, but not really. You know what I mean? <laughs> she has paw pants. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's a cat. Yeah. Need to terrorize my very sisters and granddaughters the way you so tortured my niece? Hm. I respect that. My silly flock of hands could use a good brow leader. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have just like flat out said what I was trying to do, says Buck. <laughs> oh. oh, well. But trying to speak to the eternal sleeper? Come now, that is the duty of a god, not a human playing pretend. I will articulate to you the difference. I mean, I'm pretty sure that every single one of these god-like beings would be like, hey, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. That's like, don't. <laughs> We're really not okay with that, actually. <laughs> we, we really don't want you to do that. <laughs> Even the ones that like just kind of f- around and sit around doing nothing all the time would be like, hey, don't do that. Quit it. And like, bap them. Be like, stop. I guess because he's immortal, he's like, they can't really actually do anything about me. 
Well, I mean, once they know his plan, couldn't they just every iteration be like, oh, yeah, I got to spend five minutes chaining that dork up, putting him in this, <laughs> yeah. this like, eternal <laughs> torture pits that he learns his lesson, you know what I mean? <laughs> this is the music that's playing. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a battle? Are we about to bust out swords and duel him or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure nyan has got this under control with her <laughs> kind of clipped off looking chains. So that's fine. <laughs> What a lucky break. I can complete the kiss. Smooch me, Roxanne. Mm. Now is the time. Marry me forever. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. <laughs> That'd be hard to do with a goat. <laughs> Wait a minute. If Auntie Nyanyan drags Buck into a dream, she's going to start getting nightmares too. She's like, whatever, I can deal with that. I got to deal with this D motherfucker that's been ruining my nightmares forever. <laughs> <laughs> I will... Buck will be actually helpful to me. <laughs> I'll make them fight before you can heck and try to woo me. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a couple nights of decent sleep. It'll distract both of them. Buck's going to end up in the mind of the god who talks directly to the eternal sleeper. Uh -oh. <gasps> That's exactly what he wants. Oh my god, you're playing oh no. right into the, mind, the hands of this dork. <laughs> he doesn't even have a brain left. No. <laughs> Good, he's free. It's now or never. I've never had a bad dream in my life, but I have had dreams so wonderful that it woke me up right at the best part. I hate that. That sucks. <laughs> and if I become immortal, I'll survive through her waking up this time. Roxanne, I don't have the time to say it now, but will when I... What? But will when I have forever to say it. Oh, but will when I have it. That's an awkward oh. sentence. <laughs> Like, it's grammatically awkward, correct, I yeah. guess, but it's awkward. Oh. Uh. I'll censor that time. <laughs> I guess it does work fine with a goat. <laughs> I guess, when it's a cartoon goat. You've already said it. Time after time. I love you, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, what? now we're immortal. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I'm glad that previous me's put that work in, I say. <laughs> yeah. So you, you're okay with this? <laughs> We're going in for a double immortality. <laughs> was was that a second kiss of immortality negating the first? <laughs> My God, I melt. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, just a regular one. No, I'm pretty sure we're double immor immortal, so we'll stay alive even if the, the sleeper wakes up. Neat. <laughs> Stardust, since I met you, I wondered how I could be so lucky. How you could have appeared so suddenly, like a bright star in the darkest sky. Moo is like outside the window just popping off right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's because, despite everything, I never stopped believing in good. That someone like you had to exist somewhere. Okay, but what are we doing about Buck? He's still just kind of there and immortal. Eh. <laughs> He's like really embarrassed. He's like, oh man, she broke up with me, I guess. <laughs> Heck. And you did. You are the good that I knew had to exist somewhere in this infinite cosmos. Stardust. You're the most wonderful thing I could have ever dreamed up. <gasps> oh, and then she woke up. Wow, oh, the best part of the dream, she says, just like I said right before it happened. But we're immortal, so we'll just like pop out into the the the, the Eldritch God world, right? I hope she has a journal where she like sketched our faces. Like, remember, this is what your true love looks like. Or dream of her. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my twinkling stardust. Gram-Gram, you're crying. Hey, Lynetta. Oh, hi, Lynetta. Bad dream? <laughs> Welcome to your cameo for this game, Lynetta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, child. Do you want to hear about it? What? But you never want to talk about your dreams. She like a baby, uh, Lynetta, this time, though? So only 5 million instead of 75 million or whatever? <laughs> So D has not happened yet. I guess that would explain why D is not floating around being like, Hey, Roxanne, why bother with that dork? I'm here. <laughs> I had my reasons. I didn't want to fill your head with fear of humans. Now, I can tell you about love. Oh my god, oh my god, it was a prequel! It was a prequel! 
I guess this is why she's dateable. Cool. Because Roxanne, like, told her, hey, humans are pretty cool. Cool. <laughs> Love. For humans. Oh, you're here too. Okay, so this is like a gazillion years in the past, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that Date to Die For was a prequel, everybody. You heard it here first. <laughs> People who haven't played the game like three months ago when it came out. <laughs> what? what? It, hello? Hard to believe, I know, but I believe in time you might just might come to love them too, says Roxanne. You must have skipped the dialogue on accident somehow. My, I think my control my my control broke and I haven't had time to rest. So I didn't have time to practice game. Also, I'm tired and hungry. Ew! Eee, that would never happen to me. Both of them say. Never ever, and especially not to the same person. Icky, gross. Oh, keep it down, ladies. Sleep well. Uh. <laughs> We're just in a big space castle. I guess this is their house. <laughs> Here we are. Us and Buck. You know, out of every stardust I've met, you've been the biggest pain in my ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had no say in this. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> just floating in the void. <laughs> this is immortality, guys. Just be aware that if you ever get the Dragon Balls, this is what you get to look forward to. <laughs> Where are we? Space between dreams. Get comfortable. Oh, that's kind of cool, I guess. <laughs> are you going to try to kill me? You wish. We just get to sit here and stare at each other until the next dream starts. <laughs> hey, Bucky, busy later? You want to play I Spy? I Spy with my little eyes, something black. <laughs> I'll get the bookmaker. Or I'll get caught by Nyanlithotep. Or I'll go back to my original plan. You can't do any of that now. I'm here, and I'm not going away ever again. <laughs> you want to play Dungeons & Dragons for the next six billion years, says Mazel? Do you even know what you're in for? Infinite... Cool. <laughs> Eternity. I think in a truly infinite cosmos, you find exactly what you're looking for eventually. You looked for cruelty in a cosmos of infinite volume and found it in no short supply. But you know what, Buck? When the dream starts again, I'm going to run barefoot through the grass. I'm going to watch scary movies. <laughs> I'm going to love, be joyous, move, learn, cry, and feel so much that all of the bad is worth it. <laughs> That's what I did when I was mortal. That's what I'll do now. That'll end. The clock is ticking on how long you'll still be able to experience any of those things. The clock was always ticking, Buck. And when it runs out, ashes to ashes, Stardust to stardust. <laughs> <laughs> but there's things out there worth seeing before that happens. Things that make it all worthwhile, I swear it. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> you know what? Come on, she says, sailor scouting away. <laughs> this void is infinite, right? Then I bet there's an infinite number of things that make life worthwhile, too. <laughs> Even out there. D How are you moving? Stop me when you see it. Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing that, Stardust? I guess this is kind of cool. I never thought about going places during this. <laughs> you know, I. it is a void, so I didn't really think there was anything here, but I guess we can just fly around with stars somehow. Uh, I guess it's interesting to be doing something instead of nothing, I guess. I am stuck as a zombie for the rest of eternity, though. <laughs> oh, this game is dedicated to the game creator's brilliant wife, Caroline Hunter. You make me a real sucker for love, they say. <laughs> Created by Akabaka, and then the credits roll, everybody. Yeah, we've got there some planets. 
<laughs> so what if we're not dreaming about this planet right now? There's like a bazillion other planets in the cosmos, idiot, she said. And <laughs> yeah. Buck's like, oh my god, like, oh my god. <laughs> How did I not think of this? I'm so stupid. How did I not think of doing this? <laughs> and he has a mental breakdown. It just becomes <laughs> like inner. He just stares at nothing all the time. Man, really, Billy really hit me in the head hard that one time. <laughs> That was really cool, says Stardust looking back. That was a really good one. <laughs> that was fun. Next uh, next reality, let's go befriend all thousand of them instead of kill them. Well, that's sucker for love date to die for, everybody. <laughs> Time, did you enjoy the sequel? Well, I guess prequel, it turns out, game. Yeah. To, yeah, it was pretty uh, fun. To, I don't know if I should change the description of the videos to prequel now, but whatever. I won't. <laughs> it's a pretty fun game. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. It was a little bit more... Like ac actual gameplay, a little bit. Eh, kinda. I mean, not like actual gameplay, I guess, but sorta, kinda, I guess. I guess we had a little bit more to do, but that last segment, this final episode, was way easier than the last <laughs> game, kids. The yeah. last game, if you died, you started over. In this game, it just rolled you back a couple minutes. Oh, the time the credits are almost over. No. Oh. Wee. <laughs> Are they going to do anything, or is this it? Uh, next time Roxanne goes to sleep, uh, Stardust and Buck are just, like, hanging out as best friends suddenly. <laughs> it's giving me option to stop, but I want to see what happens if I let the whole song play. <laughs> so, uh, if nothing else, <laughs> we're cutting to that right now. Oh, Stardust says stopping. Turns out there's nothing out here. <laughs> okay, whatever. The song done. Stop. Kiss me. I'm speechless. <laughs> I can't believe I never thought about doing this. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> stupid, stupid buck. Stupid <laughs> buck. Stupid. And I'm not any closer to seeing it all. That's not what the subtitles say. <laughs> oh, looks like a new dream is finally starting. Ready to go duke it out again? Maybe later. I think I prefer to stay out here. It's peaceful. I mean, we don't have to fight even if we go in the dream. We could just be friends. It'll take me a while to see everything. Thank you. <laughs> or maybe I should use this immortality thing to, like, go see everything forever. <laughs> Roxanne, I can't wait to see what you dream up this time. That's not what the subtitles say. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's gonna be Sacramento again. I hope so, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh? Oh? Uh, brown, I say, swinging my base card. Brown. <laughs> Do we have any items? Uh, just my heart, oh, my beating heart bottle. for Roxanne, and my spritz bottle. Can we go in the locked room? Give me one more chance to spritz somebody. <laughs> Whoa, frames, what the hell? Mm. Blocked from the other side by something purple I can't see clearly through the keyhole. I Maybe mean, this is a secret. Maybe, yeah. This might be some kind of like special, you have to do something special throughout all the series to figure it out. <laughs> Nice and sunny out. Gross. <laughs> Close the curtains. Oops. Ugh, ugh, look at the outside, <laughs> ew. Uh, 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 all this nature. Heckin' uh, introvert gang rise up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hate it, I'd go outside and there are people out there and I want to talk to them and I'm like, ugh. I'm just a door to the talk, I was like, what? Oh, hi, Nanny. Oh. <gasps> Nanny? Nanny? <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. I also died of a heart attack. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm immortal. I can't die of a heart attack, but I can continue to have a heart attack forever. <laughs> I tried to do it again, but I'm just going to copy paste the first one here. <laughs> Oops. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Well, I guess if Buck isn't in this reality, then none of the thousand died. So I guess we just have like a bunch of friends now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Time, can you imagine having 1,000 friends? Uh, the human brain can only keep track of like 400 social connections at one time. 
That's a lot of friends. <laughs> I thought that's all. That's over twice as many people you can like accurately keep track of as like social connections <laughs> in your brain as a human being. So it's fine. Manny, how many times have we ambushed her? Of course she'd be jumpy. He's still not wearing a shirt. <laughs> I'm still not impressed. What a coincidence that the only three that we had to deal with throughout the series, aside from the <laughs> 997 others that we had to deal with, or 96, I meant, are just here to greet us. Wow, oh my God. Well, well they're outside. Uh, Nanny gets in because she was the first one. Billy gets in because she's Billy. And Kid is famous, so of course they have to let him in. I wish Billy G Billy Mean would just grab them both by the ass and start like lifting them up as exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I said he was sorry. I couldn't think of anything better to shout while I jumped out. Why did you have to jump out at all? Nani? Billy, kid, you're all here. I guess they all they remember the previous realities still. And none of them have the stare. <gasps> like, of course, silly. Where else would we be? It's not like we can just leave the woods. But now that they've pretty much covered the whole planet, we can go everywhere. I can finally go shopping in Paris. Cool. They're, they're nice woods this time, so it's okay. Well, now it's a woods where instead of it being a psycho cult that kills people in order to worship the lust goddess, it's just a bunch of friends with one particular member worshiping the lust goddess. <laughs> and I'll be able to go on a world tour. My fans will love it. And oh, Billy, you simply must come with me on tour. I'll need a bodyguard, and you're perfect for the role. I laughed at the start of that because he said, and I'll. <laughs> I'd rather eat my shoe. But then you'll be sans one shoe, I'll eat the other one, she says. It doesn't matter. My feet are much stronger than any sharp rocks. My feet crush the stone neath them when I take a step. Billy, stop being cranky. Sorry. I didn't get enough violence out of my system before peace broke out. <laughs> Ew, peace, gross. You could fight, kid. Oh, yeah. You should see outside, Stardust. Everything's different. It's a whole new world waiting to be re-explored. No reason to ever come back to this old place. But, I mean, I like but it's nice here now. This is where I met my beautiful love, Roxanne. Yeah, it's all peaceful and stuff. It was like tweety ass birds or whatever the hell those animatronics are. <laughs> I did. I only died here like a couple like million times. I mean, what's more home than the place where you've died five gazillion times? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You get nostalgia for it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ugh, can we please get out of here already? The wallpaper's peeling, the floorboards are rotting, and I'm pretty sure I just saw a rat the size of a chihuahua run by. Had enough of this gross old house to last a lifetime. Are, are you are you in a small tunnel? What was happening with that audio just now? <laughs> yeah. Am I just wrong? Was I the only one who heard, her, who heard that? What was that about? No, it was definitely really weird. So. What? Ha why is it like that? It's so strange to me. <laughs> this is her childhood home. Oh, I mean, uh, it's uh. Nice. Remember that time it burned down like four times? <laughs> well, it, it's fine now, and it wasn't even trashed by cultists this time, so. Yeah, there ain't even a single headbutt mark in the walls. <laughs> Billy. Wait, you knew that she lived here? I spent forever trying to figure that out. <laughs> Why didn't you help me or, or leave me a note or something? I was your boss. Two things. By the time you were the main antagonist, she was killed on purpose. Second... You can't even count. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's your one rep max on bench press? Guys, if it's all the same, I might take a moment to say goodbye to this place. I'll be outside in a sec. <sighs> no worries. The rest of your family already got their chance to pack up and say their goodbyes. Only fair you get your turn. Oh yeah, they wouldn't have gotten eaten by the woods this time, huh? My family is here too? Gross. Oh, yeah. They're totes outside. Your folks are, like, really hitting it <laughs> off with Roxanne. God damn it, the competition! <laughs> we don't We don't need to summon her this time? Well, nobody's, like, she's not hiding or whatever. She can do whatever she wants in this one, right? Mm, yeah, I guess. Everybody's like, super positive about it this time. Color me shocked. 
Who could have possibly expected that a goddess of fertility and a married couple with 10 kids <laughs> would get along? None of you have your eyes open. What is this anime weep shit? <laughs> Look at me when you're talking to me. <laughs> no. But, like I said, no rush. Especially if you don't want to get caught in the crossfire of their grandkids discussion. Oh my god. <laughs> Take all the time you need. We'll wait for you. I like your freckles, uh, Billy. <laughs> yeah. They're cute. Good job. Good job being born with that, Pat Pat. Good job. <laughs> Good job. You did it. The trio steps out into the daylight, leaving me to what will likely be my last goodbyes to this house. I mean, we could come back at any time we want. Oh. Bell jingling. Mmm. Is Moo in here doing something? Jingling gets louder. What do you think you're doing, Stardust? Well now, aren't you just full of surprises? When you first stumbled into these woods, cheeks wet with tears of rage, your only desire was to see these twisted trees burn. For a moment, I thought you'd forgotten your quest so easily in exchange for a flutter of lashes and a flash of thigh. It seems I may have misjudged your resolve, a mistake I do not often make. Those seeking to destroy the Black Woods inevitably become compelled to worship it. That boastful promise is printed in every version of this contemptible book. Will you prove them liars and burn them down in a fit of mortal defiance? Time, if you recall, our initial objective was to... Oh, yeah. Banish Roxanne in order to free Sacramento of their influence. Yeah, that's right. But now the woods are... And now we are in love with Roxanne. Yeah. And she warned us at the jump that the more time we spend there, we will come to worship her. Yeah, that's right. So... Hmm. Time. Hmm. Our initial objective Gosh. has resurfaced. Should we <laughs> banish Roxanne... As we, we wanted to do at the beginning, or should we just go outside and be happy about it? Mm. Fulfilling the obsession worship that we were warned about. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I mean, we're going to do both, but like, which one do you want to see first time? Yeah. I mean, we are right here already. Or will you prove them right and spend your immortal days simpering at my niece's cloven hooves like a love-struck fool in the very Eden you swore to raise to ashes? She did tell us she was trying to prove a point to Roxanne that humans are jerks and she shouldn't care about them, which this, I assume, would do. And she's encouraging us, basically. Hmm... The agony of indecision suits you, little matchstick. Though I do hope you choose to burn it all down. I've never cared for happy endings. Or goodbyes, for that matter. <laughs> Ta-ta. Well, time, I leave it up to you. Which first shall we do? Will we f complete mm. our initial objective of banishing Roxanne and saving Sacramento, maybe, sort of, kind of? Or going outside and just giving in mm. unless we're not giving in and this is all just a joke Mazel already said do the bad one which they believe is this one first I guess all right kids we're gonna go ahead and burn it all down the first time and then we'll do the other one so don't worry <laughs> unless this affects the subsequent ending kids Mm, yeah, unless they remember I, it next time. Unless they remember us doing this next time. Yeah, I don't. Because we're immortal now. I don't know if we, like, get to... Would you like to... Time, would you like for us to go get the come outside, start us, and then next time do the burn it all down? Yeah, let's do that, I guess. Okay, time's a romantic. He wants to have the... <laughs> I'm totally 100%... Uh, <laughs> I'm totally 100% uh, uh, consenting to this love that we have, Roxanne, forever. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with this ending first. Yeah, I guess. <gasps> Whoa, it's too bright out there. Ah, my eyes. I'm burning this house down. <laughs> no, just I'm just kidding. Okay, here we go. I wonder what the butterfly up there is for. 
A butterfly caught in a web, strange. Don't see a spider around. Wonder how that's been there. That's the same as every time of the time I've looked at it. Well, yeah, but what's the deal? Maybe it's supposed to be you've been trapped in the web of Roxanne, kid. Maybe. Whatever. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. True end, everybody. <laughs> Look at how happy everyone is. <laughs> Look at how happy everybody is. Yay! <laughs> the people in the cultist costumes in the back. <laughs> Look at a tiny little shotgun running around. <laughs> and the cat has a... Oh my god. One eye and a mouth on it. Spooky dookie. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pan to the left. And once we get the full... Uh, the full scene, we'll continue on. <laughs> Look at this dork with those stupid cultish. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> oh, oh, Billy, you should be careful that... That bog, like, shattered every rib. Man, I wish I could have seen the episode where all these other characters were involved. <laughs> I think the the non-cultist ones are your family. What the f*** oh, is this hi, thing? hello. What the f***? <laughs> that guy doesn't even know. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> He's friendly. It's okay. That's the true end, everybody. This is how it ends for realsies. That's the true end. Here I come. Well, now. Cool. Anyway. How? <laughs> okay. Um, Heartburn. Common flank, got um, it. Blood, seed rod bloom within you. I haven't eaten that yet. Uh, I think you just always have it. I think that's what the heart is, maybe. Are you sure? Yeah, it's kind of got like... I guess I'll do it, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Wow! <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, that guy in the the center there kind of looks like he's doing a fist pump. Cool, he says. <laughs> Kabloom, wow, blah, that's, blah. A... Wow. <laughs> that's a real big tree. Truth. Truth and end end. time. Okay. I think this might actually be the truth end time. Otherwise, it would just completely <laughs> recycle every time, kiddo. There, I did it. I for realsies broke off the Connexion. Remember the first <laughs> time that Stardust found Roxanne? They said they had zero lust in their... Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, psyche, I guess, to manipulate and uh, multiply by a thousandfold. Yeah. So maybe that... <laughs> It turns out we were just eventually coming to worship Roxanne and that this was in fact the truth, everybody. Maybe. The truth end is that we weren't <laughs> in love. We were simply falling prey to the woods, everybody. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. I got to smooch a sexy goat girl. That was kind of cool. I wonder if there's anything that says anything online about that. Uh, the room. The, the the locked room upstairs. Oh, yeah. What's that about? Look that up. Google that, kid. Now that we've beaten the game twice. It, it looks like for the door, the dev has said it has a purpose, but it's not uh, openable and it's not a DLC. So look forward to learning more about it in the future. So it's going to be something related. What? <laughs> I it's, guess you, we can't open it and there's no DLC. So it's just closed forever then. It, they say look forward to learning more in the far in the future. So I guess it's related to like a third game or something, maybe. OK, I don't know. Well, apparently we can't open the door and the developers said look forward to it. But there will be no DLC. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So yeah, in like three years when we find out what the hell that's about. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, probably more like two years. <laughs> Whenever it happens, next time, kids, on uh, yeah. maybe uh, on video game channel, we play another video game, everybody. <laughs> next time. Next time.